I'm red. Perfect. Big bucks and Irish chant. Oh, it's a zombie horse, but he's not hostile. I can ride the zombie horse! No! Alrighty, <clears throat> morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be, how y'all doing? <sighs> Hope y'all had a good, uh, Saturday? Yes, Saturday. Yes, hope you had a good Saturday. Oh, man. Fucking exhausted. Never got enough sleep. Back to it, though. More perma, more pistols. Good old shenanigans. <clears throat> uh, what up, Nurem, Human, Dengus, KG, Malther, Pseudo, Loaf? How's it going, y'all? Hope y'all are uh, chilling this weekend. 
Things are going good for you. And yeah, we back at it. Um, <clears throat> where did we leave off yesterday? Let's see, how are we looking on weight? 174. No, we got shit to sell, clearly. Um, let's go hit up a vendor real quick, y'all. Go to the train station. Yeah, I might be distracted for like the next about, ooh, 40 minutes or so. Because uh, I woke up like right at the end of game four for LCK and uh, apparently they're going to game five. So they're about to start. So it's like I kind of want to watch this because it's finals. But it's on my other monitor. I'm muted, so. Big fella. Dude's got some HP, man. He's tanking. All right, today we need some fucking serums. That's 247. Jer Zerbit. Zero, 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 zero. He's 84. There's no way he has fucking serums. Um, I don't think we're heading up that way anytime soon. I'll leave the marker up just in case, but I don't think he's going to have any. He's about to take a nap. Mm, word. Naps are good. Naps are good. What the fuck are they shooting over here? They stopped for something, clearly. They finish them off? Oh, team parts fall off. Woo! Crispy. Taking on level. Let's grab uh, another uh, covert op, max it out. A little bit extra damage. Any news on gray zone? Yeah. Uh, I'm in. Probably. I say probably, but like, I was told I was in. It's weird, because like, for that kind of stuff, it's always just like, hey, here's an email, and like, here's information, and then like, either the key comes like with the email, or it's like, hey, we'll send that keys closer to the thing. But, uh, that's not how that one went. I was like, oh. Huh. Yeah, it was, anyways, it was, you want to tell me a person, I was like, oh, okay. So, yep. Hopefully that game's good. Because, uh, it would be sick to be on, uh, well, first off, I need, I, I just I need good games to play on the stream. As much as I enjoy 76, it is, uh, the base filler game of the stream at this point. And while it is fun, and I do love that there's some Fallout hype, but yesterday was a fucking crazy stream. Like, I didn't get rated, and I still hit, like, fucking 200 viewers. Something, 200 and something? I don't remember. And like the average of the stream was like 155. I was like, bro, any day I have, have over, like the average is like over 100 is good. I was like, 150? I'm like, damn, you know, it's not a bad stream. Uh, that's why I went longer. But I'm also enjoying the character, obviously, because the pistol's fun. You know? But, uh, yeah, so, you know, as much as I'm enjoying Fallout, it's like. I splatter your brain. No, please. As much as I'm enjoying Fallout, uh, it is still... Ah, hey, buddy. Enjoy that. I still have a, uh, a hankering for some PvP, you know? And, uh, I'm not really feeling like going back to Daisy BR right now, you know? And, uh... Dead Side's cool, but I I'd be I'd rather be playing 76. Uh, over dead side right now because of the hype, right? So yeah, uh, gray zone could be fucking sick. Um, and yeah, if not if everyone in the middle can stream it, that means just drain, if depending on the um, the service. list of creators they brought in, you know, I might be the only person streaming it during my hours, which means a monopoly. 
So we'll see. I don't know. Anyways. I think that's being a bit optimistic. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just getting access uh, could be good. Even if I, it's not, like, a crazy, like, you know, viewership I game. Just being able to play it early and, like, get some hands-on uh, is good. Because I've been wanting to figure out what the fuck that is. Because y'all have heard me talk about fucking extraction shooters forever. So the fact that uh, one's actually trying to do the whole, like, large map, no timer, and maybe won't fuck up, like, uh... The cycle did. Could be cool. Could be cool. But yeah, I'll be hitting that up next week. Well, yeah, that's what I mean, like, having the Monopoly in viewership, because then that means I can actually, like, potentially grow off of that shit. Or at the very least, because uh, like, as much as uh, the day before was a piece of shit, uh, I, it was great viewership for those four days that I got to play before the game fucking went to hell and shut down essentially. Uh, so you know, if I can get a hand, uh, if I can get a week of uh, some nice viewership, I will fucking do it. Crank out some good uh, ad revenue, you know. Keep me streaming that a little bit extra longer. That Cabo one I've been playing is fun, but still a long ways. I think it's also NDA'd, pretty sure. Also, for me, man, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Western theme stuff is pretty low down, you know? As far as, like, my preferred settings for games. Where is it? Because if there's that dude's like making dude like crazy, he's got to be close. Is he up top right there? Maybe. No, there's a cultist around here. You gotta be up in here, right? His enemies cannot hide. Yep. His foes cannot escape. All will face the mock man's judgment. Yeah, you're gonna face some judgment, right, motherfucker? What up, boop? Not falter. Two star, meh. All right, let's clean out uh, horn right real quick, y'all. No, it's not everything in a different one. Um, I thought the cowboy one was NDA'd. I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's got a really fucking weird name. I know that much. Ooh, soda. We're naming not NDA. Okay, huh? Yeah, I guess. Are they doing the whole like testing only for like a week or a weekend at a time, or whatever? Because I'm wondering why I haven't seen anybody else stream it at that point. If it's not NDA, they can't. They must not have like 24/7 testing all the time. There must be like shorter like bursts. What is it? I don't remember. Ah, it's a middle one. Okay. Sorry, I'm still half like looking over at uh, the league game right now. It's a small studio in their game, it's so pretty early. Okay. Maybe that's why. It's constant testing, and it's from a small studio. Huh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Finally, they're getting a kill. What's the best legendary pistol you were hoping to get? Um... Good question. I don't know. Uh, so, I, I do enjoy uh, TSE pen mills. Those are fun. Um, 10 was just like a good aesthetic. As you might be thinking, 
Right, isn't that what you're using now? No, I'm using a, a, the uh, named version of what looks like a 10 mil, but it's actually an energy weapon called Circuit Breaker. This is from a few seasons ago, which is it's, it's pretty dope, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, so I actually have or had, because I respect him recently for challenges. Um... But what my, one of my, like, my first, like, big alt uh, character was actually a bloodied pistol character, right? Um, and so explosive crusaders are fucking sick, but I have to get the plan for crusaders. So I know I'm not going to be able to get a crusader drop, right? I need the plan. And it's not on Minerva right now, and I'm, there's no way I can, I mean, I'm not, there's no way I'm going to get lucky and get one of those from Daily Op. So, of stuff I could get, I think I could get an alien blaster, I think. I could get an alien blaster drop, and just getting a, a good alien blaster drop would be sick. But the problem is, I don't know if alien blaster is good without the magazine perks. Because from what I was seeing yesterday, for people who like, who, because apparently people tout the alien blaster is like the best pistol. Apparently it's touted as such because the two shot mod, which is pretty easy to roll because it's a first star, right? Um, but, well, easy, relatively easy. But. What makes it good is if you put on the poison or sorry, I'm watching the over there. Oh, come on, T1, you all gotta fucking step this shit up, dude. Um, if uh, if it has a poison or a cryo mag equipped, then it makes the projectiles have AOE, which the AOE stacks with like grenadiers, so you can make it like double the size, which is crazy. So. Yeah. Um, Alien Blaster would be sick, but I don't. I, the thing is, the the plans for the Cryo and the Poison are from the Alien event only. Um, now, apparently they are tradable, so I could get really lucky and find them on a vendor, but that's likely to not be the case. Which means I'd have to like drop my pistol and have someone mod it, which I don't know if that's really like in the spirit of the permadeath, you know? Like I can buy stuff from vendors, but I can't really like, you know... <laughs> I feel like that would be considered trading, to have someone mod uh, an alien blaster of mine. So... I don't know. Um, once I hit level 50, which I don't know if I'll do that today, I'll hit 30 right now. Um, and we'll see how f flying we go on XP. If I actually say, if I get close to 45, let me pull up in the wiki. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, that's unknown. Let's see what level is it? It's yeah, level fifty. Once I get level fifty, um, I'll or at least when I get close to level fifty, I'll start doing the side quest for one of the companions. Gotta yeah, find the the, the damn thing upstairs. Don't even fuck. Um, no, it's just find a resume. Don't you be going downstairs for that? I need to pick up the thing upstairs, don't I? Pick up this, and I think we can go downstairs. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like I can get like a, a questing, uh, a, qu a named alien blaster, and I, and I don't know if it's actually gonna be good. If that thing can be good without um the AOE mods, then I think just a good like two shot alien blaster I think could potentially be good. I don't know though. I really don't. So. In lieu of Alien Blaster potentially not being good without those mods, I would say probably just a 10 mil explosive TSE or a or anti explosive. TSE is for two shot explosive um, or anti armor explosive. But those would be pretty solid. That said, this thing's actually feeling pretty solid. And this is only a level 20 version. I can make it the 30 version now that I hit 30. So. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Honestly, like, I'm not really worried about gear with this thing, you know? Like,. At least with weapons, you know, like a getting a good pistol will be sick. The fact finder will be nice because I can do that from the Brotherhood and get the fact finder, which is a nice TSE uh, 44. Um, and I thought I think fucks pretty good. Um, but I, I honestly, I'd rather just like focus on getting some life saving pieces because I still don't have any. We're 30. Granted, we've only put one stream on this character, not even a full stream because we died at the start of the stream yesterday, like within the first hour or so. So, getting uh, lucky with some RNG and getting some like actual life saving pieces would be huge for this character. Cause I don't want to die. Cause I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, I was enjoying the life, the 
the melee character as well, but you know, we yeah, had that went. Uh, there's like one map and lots of stuff needs to be tweaked, but it's still coming along enough that I can see a possible future if they don't fudge it. Cool, cool. Are people streaming it? You know, I don't know. Do you know that they were in a Steam launch already, but the game's slated for early access on Steam in June now? Oh, what, you mean the, the cowboy one? That's cool. Oh, right now? Okay, but if is there only like one dude streaming it? You did, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm NRL fifty. Is this supposed to be like level fifty, but you typoed? Uh, on my second playthrough, only rule I have is no power armor, as my other character is a power armor user. I'm a little upset that I couldn't make that pistol for my friend. Uh, what pistol? You mean this one? The, uh, circuit breaker? Yeah, it's kind of a bummer you can't trade these. But the thing is, if you could trade them, then it's, like, they could just do, you know... <clears throat> people could just have, like, a monopoly on, like, fucking putting those out. It's like, ah, I actually went far enough to earn it leagues ago, now there's a bunch of new players, I'm gonna make a killing by selling it all to them, you know? Requisition code so, accepted. I don't know. Like, Issue there is the whole, like, hey, I actually earned this, I should be able to keep this, you know? Um, and you shouldn't have it, because I actually earned it, you know? You gotta wait for your turn to, for it to come around. The problem is, sometimes it takes a while for shit to come around. The fact that I still can't get a fucking, uh, was it, Nuka Launcher? Which is the two-shot, extra rate of fire, faster built-in nade launcher, which is insane, um, is really annoying. The fact that I still can't get that, it's like, come on, guys. You know? So, I don't know. This this pistol was, was, in the, was like two seasons ago, maybe three. I think it was only two. So, actually, yeah, I think it wasn't the, the last, it might have actually been the last one. I don't actually know if it's the last one. Because it came with a bunch of poker paints, right? Which means it was the first part. So it was... It actually may have been last season. So this actually might not even be that old. But on the flip side, it's like, yeah, I, you know, I, should, I wish I could drop it for, like, a homie, you know? So, I, I don't know, man. It's they got they got some stuff to figure out with that, or they're just gonna leave it as is. Honestly, they'll probably just leave it as is. It's a safe weapon for Argo with a stun mechanic. Oh, for sure. I mean, the damage is pretty solid as well. Plus, uh, I mean, I had hardly any ammo when I started using this thing. I only had like a couple hundred rounds, maybe, and I'm only up to like 800. So it's definitely like ammo efficient in that, you know. Sure, contextual ammo drops, right? But like, the contextual ammo drops are generous enough to keep me good to go, you know? Which is nice. Status nominal. Initiating. Sorry, I'm still watching the league right now. User, stand clear. Like Genji's up three kills technically, but they're not much of a gold lead, so it's like, oh, User real nice. We're fucking gonna get this. The fact that we got a was it a T1 versus Genji rematch? It's like I feel like I've seen them at Worlds last year, or or maybe the year before. I don't remember. You done yet? You. Alright. 
Oiled cushion leather right leg has been broken. No, what I get? And combat rifle. Amazing! Heart flamer, ultra size grab. Nothing good. Alright. Daily Ops could give a profit on ammo. Yeah, Daily Ops could give a profit, but I mean, I am slowly gaining, so I'm not, like, like worried about ammo, you know? If I, if I need to be worried about anything, I need to be worried about getting a fucking batteries not included card, because, uh, <clears throat> I'm using energy cells, and energy cells aren't in the bandolier perk. I have four pounds of energy cells right now, and that's just gonna get worse <laughs> as I play this fucking character, you know? Okay, I went the wrong way. too far down yeah if the daily op isn't like crazy today I am tempted to like fucking see if I can get some randos to join because I would like the the rewards from it can you not have a base then either to store them no I can have bases I can move my base around and whatnot but you know should shit hit the fan I would like to have it all on me you know so I usually only store ammo for stuff I'm not using. Unless it's like obscene amounts. Like if anything more than like 250 like shotgun shells, if I have a character that has can use a shotgun, uh, that's like too much, you know? So occasionally, or, or like fucking 308. If I'm not using uh, an LMG, more than 500 rounds of 308 is ridiculous. Uh, and the hunting rifle, which gives 308, is fucking stupid on ammo efficiency. With, uh, excuse me, with, um, whatchamacallit? Contextual ammo drops, so yeah. It's kind of like nuts for that. Ooh, another one, okay. I think if there's a respawn up there. If he was infected, like I don't I cause look at I, there's already bodies that I left out from here earlier, right? And the thing is, it, once you kill the the dude as well, so he couldn't even be infected from earlier. Like once you kill the the dude, the the buff disappears. I'm pretty sure. So it's gotta be like right up here, no? Close. Oh, great Mothman. There he is. Look upon your subjects with mercy, and protect them from harm. Is he still upstairs? Jesus. Hello. <laughs> Oh look, a two-shot black powder. Is it explosive? No. Well, oh, we're encumbered. Okay, that's fine. Can we jump down this and survive? I mean, I could try and go for the sign, but I'd rather not get my character killed. So we're gonna just gonna walk back down this slowly. We could go this way instead. Dude's over here to kill. We'll work our way down this building. Sell shit off back at the station again. Anybody log in with fucking serums on them? Ed's 107. GA 12 something something. Where are you? Five hundred and eighty-two. He could have stims. Oh, we gotta go back to seventy-six. We gotta go back to seventy-six. What? That guy could have fucking serums. We're heading north. We gotta go to shop and chat. So chat, y'all watch anything good recently? TV shows, movies, whatever. I'm slowly working my way through Tokyo Vice still. It's still a banger. It's no fallout. But it's been a pretty good season. If I actually if I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I definitely I only got one episode watched yesterday because I was busy with other shit after the stream. But uh yeah, it'd be it, you know. 
I honestly, I'm I'm re kind of looking forward to fucking rewatching Apollo already. Like, I really want to rewatch it. That weird. Might be weird. Requisitions now available. Come on. Ooh, they stole the dragon. Come on. It. They chase him down. Um trading supplies. Let's see what we got here. Garbo. A garbo. We yeah, 120 something pounds right now, man. Those characters didn't have that much on them, right? Oh, we don't have max out through hiker. We should definitely do that. Nope. Nope. Mm. I don't think that's actually useful. Let's get uh, through hiker maxed out. Cause we need lots of food on a perma character. Oh, oh yeah, 96. Yeah, that's huge. Very nice. It's a 30 pounds loss right there, dude. Hell yeah. Let's see any garbo ammo we're not using? All right, cool. North. Um, just 76. So, honestly, let's go up on the fucking road. Let's fucking take the uh, the bridge. I think we've taken that yet yeah, on this character. I do enjoy me and I stroll along the bridge. Bring back the uh, the good PvP memories from the nuclear winter. Gotta wait a whole nother hour for that food to reheat. Sorry, I'm not talkative right now, chat. A, I'm still waking up. B, I'm trying to watch the league's finals right now. It'll, it's got to be over in like the next 10 minutes, so it's already at 26 minutes in, so. We'll be back to our usual in a second here. We could get her requisition tape today. Wouldn't be terrible. I don't know if there's anything really good in from him though. Man, this pistol's fucking fun. What up, Pine? How's it going, dude? You having a good weekend? Oh yeah, the dailies. Duh, should probably pay attention. Or did I already get those done like straight away? Cause I went next an hour yesterday. We did. Okay, mutant hounds. We gotta try and get some mutant hounds today, chat. In the next six hours, we'll probably get them. We'll be fine. Oh yeah, what's the daily? Or the ops, I should say. Melee only, enhanced perception. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt. With the melee only, but the enhanced perception means I mean I'm not gonna do that much damage. It's doable. 
Catching up on chores, playing some games. Word, what you playing? Ooh, we got a cultist on the bridge. Nice. Taking damage. Hello? That was weird. Did you see how many shots actually hit? Oh, his body's just gone. Well, alright. Didn't want that loot anyways. Game called Produce at the moment. Doom's still FPS. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta make a new uh, pistol. Someone remind me when I get to that camp. Rushing so they don't log out. Ah! <sighs> God damn it, man. I always get cucked on fucking shopping. Dude, how many times yesterday did I fucking was I heading towards the camp and they just fucking log out? Meds, one. Retro Dan. No way Retro Dan up there with that few items is gonna be a high level. Retro Dan, where are you? Three thirty seven. It's possible. That's a long ways to run for a single serum though. If he even has a good one. Honestly, I think I'm going to make the executive decision. I mean, I'm already all across the bridge. That's the thing, right? Like... If I turn around and go back and talk to Sweetwater, I could get a daily at least. So that way, when I go up here, and if I, even if I don't get anything, I can get the honey from the thing for the quest. So let's go do that. Might as well get a daily done while we're here. God, that's fucking annoying, though. Like, bro. Ugh. Oh, this isn't looking good. I just looked over again. Genji's got a fucking infernal soul. Now they're up 5k gold. It's not great. Okay, they got one. Oh, they're going in. The summer of doors. Hey, uh, Cyberdritz. Appreciate that prime. Thank you, dude. I don't think I deserve it because I haven't been doing anything good today yet, but hey, appreciate the support nevertheless. Hello, Sweetwaters. Give me the quest. Oops, sorry. He's fine. Oh shit, they're using that one kill to fucking grab Baron. Okay. Don't fuck this up, guys. Damn, they they're they're in a huge fucking stadium for this final. Who wants to see? The question is what kind? Lemon tea? Hell yeah, dude.
I gotta be sure I'm not like completely looking at the other monitor right now while I'm walking across this bridge because I can fall through it from quite a few cracks in this fucking area. The last thing I want is a falling death from the fucking bridge. It's gonna give me PTSD on this thing. Like, this bridge is only good memories from Nuclear Winter. I don't want to tarnish what's going on here, you know? Green tea? I don't think I've actually had green tea. If I have, I don't recall. You like warm beverages? Not even hot cocoa? Dude. Another falling death? Well, the thing is, falling deaths are like, they suck, sure. Because it's fully my responsibility, or fully my fault, you know? But, uh... Having a falling death on this bridge for a perma character would really suck for me because then I, it's tarnishing the bridge's uh, memory and its luster. Because right now I love crossing the bridge because it just reminds me. I mean, first off, I mean, come on, this is a fucking great POI, dude. You can see so much of the map, you get the fucking the crazy vertigo, you know? Like, it's fucking good, man. But the problem is, um, it's good memories from Nuclear Linear. If, uh... I were to have, have a falling death from the bridge and lose a perma character on it, uh, it would tarnish that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sadly, I don't... I think... I only have, like, one actual, like, highlight of playing Nuke of the Linter. And I don't think it's a... I'm pretty sure it's not a bridge game. If the one highlight I do have is a bridge game, that'd be sick. I just don't think it is. I haven't fully watched it. Uh oh. No, oh, T1's down three people. Uh no. This one's over. Pushing base already. Stop the recall from only a dude that's alive. Well, I mean, Genji's, you know, I still prefer them over the other teams, even if T1 can't make it. I hear you up top. Okay, well, there's no way for me to get up top. I have to go all the way around to get him. It means there's a cultist up there. His eyes burn like fires in the night. And no I get some more legendaries. Not even hot cocoa, man. Hot cocoa's the shit, dude. Meds. That organ. What level are they? Level 155? It's possible. Meds. Oh, okay, we're just gonna go up the road. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Good, I don't have to go all the way up to fucking the farm. I mean, I probably will for the honey for the daily, but like, still. Oh, I've already got 6 out of 10 honey. Well, that makes it easy. Oh man, they're fighting in the base. T1, you gotta fucking flip it right now. This one's over. They're all alive, so they could flip it, but they are just got one inhib. They're taking the set. Oh, they didn't actually finish Okay, they, no. They finished two inhibs now. Uh, it's not looking good. Now 
They're going for Baron. Ooh, they're gonna try and stop him. Can they get that time? Nope, they said fuck it. Yo, what is going on? And there is some all out hype going on right now. Othman? What are you talking about? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, man. Yeah. I need to go. Uh, I'm going to hit this ca first camp real quick here. It's kind of deviating a little bit towards that direction, at least. Hopefully those people stay in. Fuck. Man. I don't. I, I got to check one of these things if they have a fucking serum, man. I, I got cucked all yesterday on people logging out, dude. I got to check this one since I'm right here. I don't know if these guys are going to stay in, man. I need to pop some water. I need to get a lot of water going for the fucking refresh. Come on. Okay, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Video player stop. Okay, there we go. Come on. Hope this guy's got serums. I'd be sick if he does. Fuck. Gen G wins finals. They're going to MSI. Well, I think T1 could still make it. I feel like... I feel like they're still, like... I feel like in one of the other broadcasts I heard earlier in the week, they were talking about how a second seed can go through for, uh... The LCK? I'm not sure. shit works. I really pay attention to that shit, so we'll see. Alright, closing that up. <sighs> We've been refreshing the fucking Elgato page the last two days now. Now that Twitch, because Twitch uh, usually pays me on the 15th of the month, but sometimes they'll do it like a day or two early, because I guess yesterday was Friday. No, wait, they paid me on Saturday. Wait, was it? Wait, did they pay me on Friday or did they pay me on Saturday? It's weird that they paid me on Saturday. They usually don't do that. I think they paid me on, I think they made through it like super late night Friday, probably. But, uh, I want to get all the Fallout shit, but obviously I'm not spending 500 bucks on a bunch of mic equipment and shit, and like a mixer and a mic arm. Like, the mic arm looks like it would actually be nice and upgrade, but I'm not spending $100 on a fucking mic arm when I don't really need it, you know? But a stream deck, I don't have, and I've been wanting one for a long time, so I was like, alright, I'll get a Fallout edition of the stream deck. I go to it yesterday, sold out. Not that I want to spend 150 bucks on a fucking what it amounts to a, a fancy, you know, T9 pad, but still. What a Batman with a lot of eights. Cause I'm not gonna try and read out and count all those. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Appreciate you chilling in. Kind of surprised this many people showed up in the first hour of the stream, but uh. Welcome. Uh, what up, Lawless? Also in YouTube chat a half hour ago, cause I totally didn't have YouTube chat even open. I had you. <laughs> I have two windows on my other monitor to my left. It's usually like uh, Twitch, the Twitch chat slash stream, and the YouTube chat slash stream. But the YouTube chat was covered up by the Twitch chat, cause I was watching League. So, sorry, Lawless. Hope you're having a good weekend, though, dude.
I just want a wearable pit boy. Wearable pit boys are a thing. They put one out. I don't know if they're still on sale, but it was like 200 bucks, so I didn't buy it. Cause that's yeah. But no, they they put out a new one recently. Honestly, you, I think you can just like browse through my Twitter feed for the last month, and I probably retweeted it. Cause they 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 put out. A, like the second they opened up the floodgates, they started talking about like retweeting a bunch of Fallout merch. They put out a new one. Um, it has like a, a screen on there that works and everything. I don't know what the screen does. I do know they put out one I think for Fallout 4, and that one actually like connected with your phone, I think. Um, and it was like a. I'm not sure if it like you had to put your phone in it or if it was like. It was essentially like a screen that connected to your phone, and then you could have like a, the Pip Boy app on your phone, which controlled the the, the Pip Boy. I don't know, but there was one that. There, but essentially, you could get one that's essentially what looks like screen accurate to the show, because the ones in the show, um, I mean, they look like Pip Boys, right? But they have like a like a metallic sheen to them versus these are very much. Oh, this is actually I think a different style. This might be a different style. I'm not sure, but um. Look, this has a paint job. Dude, the other ones have are more like gunmetal, like kind of like a shiny-ish dull gray. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's already over, bro. How is it over? No one went to it on the server. I'm server hopping. Bro, come on. I get cooked everywhere. Every fucking time, dude. There has to be a server where people actually are there, man. All these fucking new players, man. <laughs> I like the servers are filled with new players, but like, if one of the fucking veterans doesn't jump out there and start the event, like, it doesn't stay up. And all the new players probably don't have event notifications yet, or just see stuff and there's just like, ah, eh, stuff popping up. Ah, yes! Yes! Base server hop, let's go. Cool. All right, let's check the server for meds. There's meds by Nerdy Girl. I feel like I've seen that name before. 400. Okay, we're heading out there. Hopefully she doesn't log off. Because I need some fucking stamp. Ooh, he's got meds too. Program.mp4. Is he out here? No. Because if he's a low level, then I'm not going to bother checking his camp either. Sneaky. Is that your camp? He's got meds! <gasps> okay, we gotta get White Springs afterwards. We boom in the White Springs. Okay, cool. We have a plan for after the event. They have a but that's story. Yeah, that, that thing looks sick. I want that ah, fucking bad. Yes. But I the need Bethesda to, like, send me stuff, because that's the way I'm getting it. it. I'm not spending money on that. I want it, but no. Nah. I do actually own a, a single piece of Fallout children. merch, finally, as of yesterday. Breathe. So, funny story. See the world now After the NPCs quit talking. Eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But prepare yourselves, for the heretic gym ones will be enraged by the vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into Shut a up! Frenzy. I can't fucking talk to chat while you're going. You must protect your sacred lives, the fires, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. If the ones approach the church, slay them, children. Offer no quarter. Done? Okay, so funny story. Um, during the, like, so they did, like, a live premiere for Fallout where you could, like, get into, like, a little a chat on Amazon. And uh, they did, like, some random, like, trivia. And it was just, like, questions that popped up on screen, right? But they showed off some, like, interviews with some of the actors and other shit, right? But, yeah, it was, like, for the half hour leading up to the actual, like... God damn it, shut up. Like, leading up to the show going live for, like, a half hour or so. Um... 
they had a little pre-stream essentially, right? One of the things they had, which they had uh, promoted on Twitter, was that there would be uh, like a t-shirt that was exclusive for the premiere. And you had to stand and scan a fucking QR code on it. Right? So... Oh my god, shut up! I'll tell the story afterwards. Oh, I got killed. <gasps> no, I'm on perma character. Oh, God. Someone res me. Someone res me. Someone res me. I'm on perma. I forgot. Oh, God. I forgot I'm on perma, please. Oh, please. Get back and save me. I, I, I spaced out. Oh god, please. I have 13 seconds. Please come, buddy. Someone come save me. Some sa oh god. Oh, she's right there. Please save me! Six. Oh, she's not gonna save me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose this character. I'm dead. God fucking damn it, dude. God fucking damn it. I think out of respect for mission they chose not to revive you. She was only in the room for like a few seconds, and also, no one knows about the mission, dog. No one knows about the mission. <sighs> I'm gonna wait for this fucking event to finish, but then I'm gonna fucking just warp and fucking do the sell off. God, that's so annoying, dude. I was enjoying this character so fucking much, man. I swear to God, every time I update the YouTube stream title with, like, what the build is, I die that day. Like, the first day, it was random because I didn't know what the build was, and the build was determined that stream, and it was melee, and I lived through that entire stream. So the next stream, I changed it from random. So I started off the stream with it saying melee and a die. So then today, I changed it. And because I'm doing pistol now, and I died again. I, I think I'm legit just cursing myself. Rifles only now? We'll, we'll see what the roulette wheel spins me, man. God, that's so fucking annoying, though, dude. Like, sure, double XP is still going on for another day uh, and a half, I think. But, yeah, another 24 hours-ish, a little over. So, I can potentially make some good progress back, but, man, I don't know if I'm going to get stuck on a pistol-only build, you know? Like, if I get a vanilla run, I could go that route, but, like... So fucking annoying, dude. Oh, boy. No, the the pistols only and the melee only build were chosen because they were the first legendary weapons I looted. Because I have the roulette wheel, which I roll, right? And on the roulette wheel, it, uh, it I have it basically set up so it's a archetype run. So the first weapon archetype that I naturally loot that isn't like a quest reward, as far as like named weapons go, you know, uh, then that's the archetype. So the other day I looted a, a random two-handed weapon, a pickaxe, in the, the train station. So that's why that character was a melee character, you know? I looted a pistol when I was up north yesterday at the start of that character. So, yeah. I would have saved just the tadpole mission. The tadpole mission, I think, is only if you're in water. At least for the swimming one. I don't know if there's, like, a res people otherwise thing. Ah. <sighs> This is what I get, man. I still didn't get a life-saving piece, and so we fucking died again, man. 
All right, well, low level gambling. What do we get? Ranged weapon. Furious shotgun, Garbo. Crossbow, a Vats crossbow. If not in combat, a double actually, but less, more cost, but also replenish each kill. A crossbow character could be interesting. A vampire, AP with each kill. That's actually not bad. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna fucking inherit that over. For those who know what's going on right now, uh, this is the deletion process of a character. So essentially, I have to script everything that I had, and then I take the, the raw script, and if I gamble anything good, if I want to keep it, I could roll it over to the next character. But I can only roll over, like, usually one item. I guess I'd never really put a roll on that, but yeah. Uh, Getting at two rolls. Anti-armor AP with each kill. Um, That's not bad as well, actually. I think I'd still rather, like, go with the vamp one for this character. I don't know if I'll be able to use it. I think we might be getting an archetype on, like, now. Oh, don't need a script. All right, well, that's a wrap. Any plans I care about transferring? Oh, cooking spit, hunting rifle. I mean, I'll just drop all the plans for the next character. Okay, this is fun. What happened? I died. I died. I was at the Mothman event, and uh, it was a little too nutty, and I didn't realize how low health I was already, um, and I, so I got knocked down. I was totally spacing out, just like vatsing everything, half watching like the league final. I guess it kind of wrapped up, but I closed it a little bit ago, so that's not really an option. So, yeah. Kind of annoying. About hard card solo hell found no player vendors uh nah what what good did the player vendor do this run i didn't even get a chance to loot it or loot it i didn't even get a chance to find stuff rng is such like a, a random thing to begin with that i don't really care i heard running from somebody else is that just, oh you know i heard on the other client okay i was about to say Honestly, I don't think most of these are gonna be useful, but I'm just saving them just in case. Oh, you know what? Those are all bullshit ones. I don't need those. It's fine. Oh, did I not get off of it? Did they disappear? No, okay, they're in the bush. I should just mute the second client because I don't need to be hearing that at all. Sneaky? Well, yeah, I told you I wasn't fucking rolling at all. That's what it is. So I can transfer stuff, so I don't need somebody else in the chat to do it. Oh, man, that's fucking annoying, though. Go again.
Warren. Oh yeah, Fallout London got delayed, by the way. War never changes. Rightfully so, honestly, concerning the update. 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life. No, I have another account for that, Feral. I probably just fucked up your name, that's my bad. But yeah, that's what you just saw happen, is, uh, I got the Fallout 76 on Prime free, but it's a Microsoft Store version, so that means I can run both clients, the Microsoft version and the Steam version. So I just, I just use my other character to transfer stuff now. Very handy. Thanks, Amazon. Love the freebie. Of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. I be careful that multi boxing is off against the US. Ah, there's no the way. Has settled. You must rebuild. For this game, nah. Not dude. just walls, not just buildings, but transferring hearts, stuff between your characters, there's no way it's gonna be TOS. Ultimately, America. Itself. This new one? Yep. So I watch the interesting match right now. New character today, creation. We pray. We'll roll the, the roulette wheel peace. and everything. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last like, night. Like, this isn't, uh, this isn't, like, me multi-boxing, like, in the traditional sense. It's really just transferring stuff between my characters, so. Yep, new character. We just died. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be... Clipped and shipped? Family. Yeah, don't. I'll just ban you from the channel so you can't clip ever again. How about them apples? Yeah, like, people, like, running over an entire server with all their accounts, that'd be weird, right? But this is literally just like, hey, instead of having someone chat transfer stuff, I'm just transferring it myself. Like... Such a huge responsibility. Oh, man. Imagine dying of hunger on Earth. I am proud of you. I am proud of you. Where can I buy a cheap Pip-Boy rec? Good question. I don't know. Uh, they have like a new version that they just put out, like that apparently is pre-orderable on the Bethesda store. Someone said a little bit ago. Uh, they announced it weeks ago when they started selling all the Fallout merch. So it's like a big like diecast metal one that looks like heavy duty and has like a working screen. I have no idea how much you can do on the working screen. Um. I feel like there might be like a team, Tima, you mean Timu? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you want to get cancer, maybe. <laughs> you want a fucking random item to show up that smells like fish or some shit, you know? <laughs> then sure, you can get that. Um, no, there. I feel like a while back there definitely was like a Pip Boy. Yeah, lead paint. Uh, I feel like there was a Pip Boy that, like, you could. It was like a essentially a phone case in that you would strap it to your arm, right? But you could put your phone in there, so then you could like control it 
via obviously your you know your phone would be like inside it i think something that's just essentially like just the case that might be cheap i don't know though i have i don't have any like follow-up memorabilia other than the shirt that i got i forgot to tell the story about earlier so yeah Well, let me get the roulette wheel ready, folks. So that we can spin the wheel and figure out what we're going to be rolling as far as for this character. Hopefully it's nothing too bullshitty. Oh, weird. Huh. Anyways. <laughs> oh, so those young Fists only, we'll find out in a second. Oh, one. Oh, two. Okay. Roulette time. What modifier are we getting? Honestly, I want another archetype run because I haven't had one of those characters last more than a day. I want to actually do that. I do not want a vanilla. I'll probably re-roll that again. Yellow would be interesting. Yellow would be very interesting, but I don't know how I'd get all the mutations. So, yeah, I don't know if uh, the, the last time I had an all the mutations run, I had someone in, like someone in chat offered to like give me one of each serum, and that was really nice of them. But I don't, you know, I don't think they're around right now. So, hopefully, we get a green. Oh no. Oh, no mutations, bro. Uh, well, I can still do a pistol run if I want to, which I will because that pistol was fun, but I'm not going to be stuck to pistols specifically. I think I'm just going to build pistols and then uh, if I get a better gun, I can respec. All right, no mutations. And do. Oh boy. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe. Wait, a vault dweller? Hey, hey there! Whoa! You came, I think. We got a tip from so the... after you. And he said, or left. Oh, pipe in there. But. No. Wonderful. <laughs> now. Unless there were... Mm. Sorry, she's fine. Wasn't the interrogation drawn the best one? Uh, good question. I don't know. I have no idea if that was the 104. That was the 104, by the way, without double XP. Don't give me that look, all right? Misfires or desk pops, uh, they happen all the time, okay? Because I'm spamming the dialogue. Because I've been through it too many times. Okay, um, because we know what we're doing for the run, we can do far flung, we can do, ah, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh god, ah, let's see, infiltrator. Um, follow through maybe? Wouldn't be terrible, survival, what rads? I think we'll just slap on the follow throughs to have it, you know? Let's do the weapons up. Um, let's do stems up. That regulars go right here. All right, cool. We're off and running. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if, uh... Let's see. Yeah, no, you're right. I think the level 104 actually was a no mutations because I couldn't jump up onto the rooftop because the dude started the, uh... The whatchamacallit? The, um... The encrypted too early. Very well could be it. Oh, you know what we need to do to min-max the fucking fresh characters? We get a little bit... There you go. XP buff on top here, right? This thing is a bed up top. Bed down below. Right? Yeah. Sleep in here, we get the XP buff. XP buff. Then that uh, will be good. We'll run down the hill and we'll start doing the shelter shit. Oh, man. I guess that means I don't have to bother checking the vendors. So that's nice, I guess. I don't have to go for your serums. Looking for plans for the alien blaster would be okay, but I don't think it's really that necessary. So I'm not even going to bother. Because the likelihood of finding those, those plans on a vendor is like mega slim, I think. Did I spin the wheel? I did. We are a new mutations character, which is, in my opinion, the hardest difficulty. Because that means I can't, like, jump out away from, like, fucking... Whatchamacallit? Um, death claws and shit, you know? Or an Assault Tron trying to fucking, you know, uh, slap chop me. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, so... We are... On our way. Did I not get meat from the fucking deer I killed? Or did the deer run away? Hi, hi. I guess, uh, did I not kill deer? Oh, I killed ghouls right here. Okay, normally there's deer right there. <laughs> I didn't even kill any deer this run, but I'm like, there's always deer right there. There's not this time. Did you show in watching you play? I've decided to put you play 76, and I'm gonna regret this. I mean, 76 I think is good, in my opinion. Or it's great right now. Um, I think it was good when it came out, but obviously it had a fuck ton of issues, right? And I'm not gonna pretend it was a good launch at all. Uh, but I streamed it and I enjoyed it, right? But I know some people on consoles have like actual technical dis issues, like breaking the consoles and shit. And uh, I will note that uh, when I installed the Microsoft Store version recently, it runs like shit. Now it could be due to uh, like not having all the INI tweaks, and so everything's like maxed out. I don't know, but it runs really like just just even just loading in is very poorly. So I don't know what's going on with that one. Um, uh, yeah. I understand the Microsoft version sucks. I've also been playing it. Yeah. Yeah, Steam version's where it's at. As much as it's nice that they play on the same servers together. Attention, citizens. Um, it's kind of a bummer. You couldn't, like, transfer your Microsoft store copy over to Steam, you know? Thank you for You're your kind of stuck. Just playing it since it was free, but wow, so many edit files and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's possible the Steam version of 76 feels like shit as well. But I've been playing it forever, and like, even if I did uninstall at one point, which I don't even know if I did. I maybe did, like a long time ago. I don't know. Um, the I and I probably fucking stayed because it's in uh, a document. Like, it's in. It's not in the actual like Steam folder, so. Preferences usually get locked in, right? At least for this game. Because um, I know where the preferences file the other day is. Because I learned that the hard way. Anyways. Um, it's possible that, that changes I made back in the day were enough that keeps it good. I don't know. <sighs> when you mention that, I'm downloading the Game Pass version now. Guess I don't know what to expect. Uh, honestly, you while you're downloading it, you could probably find... Um, some tweaks online somewhere to make it run better. Uh, Lone Swordsman is clearly, uh, clearly playing the Microsoft version, so they might know how to like make it feel way better. My system way above specs runs like trash. Yeah. I, I bet you there are people who have figured out how to at least clean it up a little bit. Might not, might not be perfect, but like, yeah, there's definitely something you can do to make it be better, I'm sure. There's no way there isn't like relative parity between them. Now, maybe out the box the Microsoft version feels like shit, but I, I would, I, it would be very weird if the game hasn't been like 
they haven't figured out what's like fucking up the default settings, you know? I look, maybe look again. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just feel like with the fact that people actually run apparently like texture mods and whatnot, someone was saying the other day in chat, but I don't do any of that stuff because it's, you know, yeah. I don't know. It's weird for an online game, but. Um, hey, Proj, appreciate that fresh prime, dude. I feel like there's there's got to be people who have like looked into that, you know, about why that version is like. I mean, maybe out the gate it's not good, but like I feel like it has to, like, right? I don't know, man. Sometimes like Fallout, I'm generally bad because when it starts to get further end game and get rougher, I just get frustrated. Well, in regular Fallout, I get that, but guess what? This one's multiplayer, so you can have people help you out. I don't typically do it these days because uh, I'm doing permadeath, but back in the day, uh, I if someone in chat was like, hey, I'm working on this quest and it's rough, can I get some help? I'd be like, yeah, sure. Hop on. I'm assuming you're on PC, of course. Uh, like, I launched nukes for people back in the day all the time. It'd be kind of a pain to drop what I'm doing permadeath-wise to swap and help somebody out, but if, like, three people in chat are like, hey, Shizzle, we, we need help. No, they're not sure. I'll block on my main and drop a nuke for him, you know, or whatever. I guess three, it could be more than three people, I guess, technically, if y'all crammed onto a server, but yeah. I say three people because, again, fourth person would be me for a party, but you don't need to be in parties. Anyways, Microsoft doesn't let you mess with the files and Game Pass stuff at all. No INI changes or mods or anything. You can't even do preference changes on that version? Okay, that's fucking weird. That doesn't make any sense. What the fuck? How, then, if you can't change any of that, then that makes no sense. Um, someone clip this for you. Clip, film, film me. I, 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 words, I can't speak. Can someone clip this for me? That way, at least, you know, people can look at my settings if they're curious. I don't know if this will help them make it better if you can't do INI tweaks, but at least they'll have it, you know? If they're curious what my settings are at. That way I don't have to, like, do this anymore, you know? Yeah, ultra high, high, ultra medium, nothing. 75%-ish, 20%, basically nothing, basically nothing. Medium. The rest doesn't really matter, right? But, I mean, I don't know if that's going to help you, though, as well. Term says weighing down, it didn't help. Yeah, that's really weird. Honestly, I would just definitely be Googling that. I mean, there's nothing here in the middle of nowhere. That's if I die, it's like, whatever. I gotta figure that out because that is weird. Uh, Fallout 76, Microsoft version, terrible performance. Let's see what comes up on Google. I hate this keyboard, it's too loud. Game Pass version, please. I have nonsense. Okay, yeah. This is only posted a year ago. Let's see if, what the comments say. I did this and it helped. Make sure all drivers are updated. Uh huh. Low FPS, even low settings. A link to the FPS. My game lagged so bad at 120 FPS until I use those to. All my drivers are up to date. Check the. Mm hmm. What's this comment? What's this Reddit thread you're linking to? Uh, well, this, so this isn't going to be applicable because this, the, this thread's about people using the integrated graphics on a laptop, so that's not it at all. Um, yeah, this dude's got playing in 1080p, but with the 3080. Uh, every game I play, <laughs> I think Fallout's going to go anywhere like this shit, huh? Okay, here's an interesting post. I'm going to I'm going to put it in chat. I'm going to put the link to it in chat. You're going to have to scroll down. Uh it's like the was it? 1 2 3 4 5 6 one down. This might help out for some of y'all. That Reddit thread by the way if you're curious. It supposedly helped them out. You're going to have to read a lot, but yeah. 
There's definitely a lot of threads on this. I guess we do Game Pass. Maybe that's the version Game Pass. Slow turn performance. Yeah, that's really weird. Using the free Amazon copy, etc. PC, Xbox, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, like I said, out the box, it's definitely bad. I, I, I've experienced that because I installed it yesterday. Which I was surprised because the Steam version says it installs out to only 93 gigs. But this one, it was asking for 113. I was like, hold up, what? Is it actually larger? Let me see if the install size was actually larger at this point. Yeah, it's 112 gigs. It The, the P Game Pass version is just straight up larger, which is really weird. I wonder why, like, can you not even seriously edit INI files? Because that's fucking weird if you can't deal on the Game Pass version. I have 76 from Windows Store, performance fields comparable. Interesting. Interesting. That's because of the Bitcoin farming software they had, bruh. Yeah, that'd be uh, funny because Bitcoin, uh, like you, just, you can't really farm much of it anymore from uh, regular GPUs. You gotta get like actual like mining uh, setups now, unless you're using like Ethereum, I guess. But Bitcoin, I think, moved off of uh, like like regular like just a like consumer grade graphics cards. Don't really, they're not efficient for mining them anymore. You have to get, like, actual mining rigs. There's a Nexus mod from Frontier that mentions show twe uh, some tweaks from Nexus offers and NFL's named project or something. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? I, I will say, Project 76 is what the game is labeled when you alt-tab. Like, right now, the Steam version is called Fallout 76, but the Microsoft Store version is Project 76, so... It's possible the I and I tweaks that you guys are looking up are not there because they're named something different in a different location, you know? So I, I don't know. What the hell are those guys doing? A bunch of raiders chasing somebody over there? Ooh, hunting rifle. them both with that? It's impressive if he did. Bro. This thing is so inaccurate this distance. gotta break the habit I had broken the constantly reloading habit while I was using the uh, the circuit breaker but now I'm using this it's like uh. okay so do I have that per car pack no let's grab uh let's grab concentrated fire is it legendary cards and stems probably yeah that was the first thing I did right out of the vault as I was walking down the hill
Ah, you did. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'll make a command of that later if I remember. I'll do it after the stream. Let's see, we got 15 minutes till next Equinox. I feel like, honestly, going down there and just chilling on a rooftop for safety just so that I can get like a big starter level XP boost. I think that's what we do. It's gonna take a bit to run down here. Like, it's gonna suck to like, take any damage. <laughs> I don't wanna lose my character down there again. But uh, I think I'm just gonna go there and chill on a roof, and hopefully someone, like, hopefully the the people there actually finish it. Doesn't even have to be full completion, just completion somehow. Cause uh, double XP. I mean, what happened? What was it the other day? I leveled up like twice there. I don't remember if it was like from level eight to ten, or if it was like from. I think I feel, I'm pretty sure I leveled up twice though when I did it. I was like, damn, that's a nice little boost, you know. So if I can use that to get some starter cards. That'd be good. But I'm definitely gonna go down there in a little bit. Cobbler for XP boost. Oh, thanks, Zelia. Speaking of, uh, I'm pretty sure Zelia is the one who helped me out when I had that one character that had to use all the mutations. Oh, do oh, you this, know the cobbler uh, recipe uh, straight out the gate? Because I don't remember if I do. What's? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Spamming through the dialogue. Because I know some recipe, uh, a lot of recipes, you gotta learn by actually finding the plan, right? Or the recipe, I should say. Um, I don't know if I've ever really fucked with cobbler to begin with on any main characters, obviously. I definitely never fucked with it in permadeath. Is that a thing I have to find a recipe for or no? Because we've had re learned on pickup. Oh, sweet. It looks like Yeah, it's definitely worth it then. Before. Now, Aaron Holt, is that up here? It is. Okay, so cranberries. Okay, we gotta find some cranberries on the way down. That would definitely be good. You may be wrong. Like, getting some cobbler for some more boost would be very nice. Because I have the XP boost from sleeping already. I gotta remember to keep that up. Now that we actually have our shelter. We, uh, man, I, I, I haven't even built a shelter the last couple characters because I keep dying so fucking much. Um, we gotta make sure to keep juggling our sleep boost, though. Two? Listen, I was spam clicking real fast, alright? Ooh, ooh, born survivor, we like that. Okay, let's equip these by default. Is that a scrounger or is that the pharma? I mean, it'll take pharma. It's a free card, whatever, you know? Gladiator's useless. Iron stomach, sure. Okay, so now... Um... Honestly, I need more stim healing. We need first aid more. We really do. Like, on these characters, stims need to heal more. I need to be paying attention to my HP. I, like, the, today's death shouldn't have happened. That was so fucking stupid of me. I'm still pissed at myself. We gotta figure out where these cranberries are at now. Animated cards, that's the rare ones. Yeah, the rare cards are, uh, the anime ones are rares. They're like the, the foil drops, essentially. <sighs> Testing in game, but main menu FPS boosts a lot. What did you do, by the way? Tried to tell, uh, telling you to set all to low exit, then readjust. Seems to boost FPS nosy because that Reddit you shared says stay cranked on ultra. Interesting. That could be it. That very well could be it. So for you, for you it's what? You crank everything, everything low, log out, then log back in, then set it up however you want? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let us know how you feel. I mean, I don't know, you'd have to like... Is there even a way to display your FPS outside of like a, a external program for the Microsoft version? Because obviously for the integrated I can use Steam Overlay for obviously my you know, Steam version, right? So I don't really have an issue with that, but yeah. Now we gotta figure out where the hell these fucking uh, cranberries are at. We 
video overlay. Yeah, I mean, that's an external program. It's cranberries? I actually don't know if I've ever picked cranberries. They're giant cranberries. Good lord. Alright, cool. Well, let's grab all these while we're here. Thank you. So what else is needed to make the uh, cobbler? Am I going to need wheat, probably, for the flour? Hmm. Not that many cranberry bushes. I'll look that up, the rest of the recipe. Grab this one? He didn't. Okay. Um, please don't kill me while I'm logged out. Cobbler. Cranberry cobbler. Okay, what's required? Wood, cranberries and wood? Oh my god, what? One cranberry equals one cobbler? Are you shitting me? What the fuck? Okay. It's only a 30 minute buff, but still. That's, uh, kind of stupid. Do I have a fridge? Do you have to buy fridges, chat, on Adams, or are they a freebie? I don't remember. Because if I have fridges on my account, then making one wouldn't be a terrible idea to keep the cranberries good so I can keep juggling them instead of having to keep coming back up here. Okay, we gotta rush down here. Right side. Honestly, we probably could just hug, uh, hugging the road. Yeah, yeah, fine. Two low levels on here. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice seeing all the low levels out here, man. Problem is, I don't have my ghillie suit on right now, so someone might try and give me shit. I don't want it. Been wanting to get back to Sam 6, but I feel like it's impossible for me to play without Fall First stash increase. Um, yeah, I can get that. Uh, when was the last time you played? Because if you haven't played since like the first year or so of the game, I would say yeah. But they've increased it up to 1200. But they only, they increased like three or four times, I think. And that was about it. Maybe it was like two or three times. But, um, 1200 is like the stash limit, I'm pretty sure these days. So, while it's not great. Um, yeah, I get that 100%. That said, Fault First is half off right now, uh, at least on Steam. Uh, and if you're not aware, what you can do is you can, I mean, you maybe you're just hoarding too much regular shit in your stash, which I have that problem I main too, because I have like a bunch of different like good guns, you know, and shit, like I have a bunch of anti armor explosives and two shot explosives, bloody explosives, whatever, you know. Um, if you're not aware though, when you do have Fallout First for that one month, uh, obviously, during that one month, you play a ton. You vacuum all of the scrap and crunch it all into the infinite space there. But you still have access once that one month is over. You just can't put new stuff in there. But if during that one month, you go crazy and just put in a bunch of time, and or even just like, you don't have to put in a bunch of time, just every time you play, just literally vacuum everything and just keep crunching it down and just keep using your tent to drop it off because the scrap boxes are in the tent as well, I'm pretty sure. Like, you'll probably be good. Because I've, I think I've only subbed to Fallout First like twice ever on my main. And sure, I don't play the main nearly as much as I used to, but like, stashing only is really an issue because I have a hoarding problem with, because I, I like having a bunch of different gun types, you know? Um, uh, so it keeps a, to adjusted to custom ultra when not trying to have it ultra. Yeah, that, that sequence on, right? Um, also, anyone else doing the Microsoft PC version? Adjust screen resolution, pot lower possible, and full screen, no borderless. Just help me out majorly. Hey, sweet. Hell yeah, dude. Does it actually feel like smooth now? Because that, if that's it, that's fucking sweet that you figured it out. There's some brain fungus at Black Mountain Ordinance, which gives you soup. Uh, Black Mountain Orange. Okay, we're almost there. Soup gives you plus two int. Nice. Yeah, that'd be good as well. We're still making good progress. We still got like five minutes to get there. We'll be okay as far as getting to the Mothman on time. I just gotta survive, obviously, because I can get my ass whooped by stuff there. Because I don't think they're gonna lower down that much. Obviously, the church ones, they're high level. That's why I got my ass destroyed. And I wasn't even paying attention, so there's that as well. 
get a funnel cake? What the fuck? Oh, I guess they had they ate some. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, the fuck? Give me that. <laughs> Someone's radium rifle fucking sliding down the hill. Most of the weight in my stash is fusion cores, honestly. I could do with less weight, though. You know what's funny? Uh, you, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So, why do you have a bunch of fusion cores? Are you a power armor user, or do you use a bunch of laser gatlings? Um, either way, there's a ha awesome thing in the game that you can get from the Atom Store. Uh, I'm assuming it's still there. I don't. I hope it wasn't like a limited time thing. But uh, it's called uh, a fusion core recharger. So if you're like keeping too many, so you can like charge them up or like make them prime or whatever, like you don't need to do that anymore. Like there's literally an item that lets you recharge it. On top of that, there's perk cards that will let you like take damage and it'll recharge your core that's running. Power armor galley when you're not using chainsaw. Yeah, so I think there's definitely ways you can be a lot more efficient on those. I do. Excuse me, feel ya. Where am I going for this brain fungus? By the way, I have no idea. I was gonna assume it's in one of the things, but. An item. See glowing shrooms. I don't get. I don't trust these guys, man. One of them blew up yesterday. Almost killed me. There's gotta be a fucking enlightened dude around here, right? The cultist, no? Okay, there's starberries. Starlight creeper, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for brain fungus for soup. I need to get moving. Nah, uh, we'll probably be fine. But there's gotta be one close by, right? Where's he at? Is he inside one of the fucking things? See, look, he's, he's still got the buff. Is he down this way? Is he over here? Hello? Cultist. Tom Tom's blow up? Well, no, so the way it works in 76, actually I think it also works that way in Fallout 4 as well. Uh, I could be wrong on this one, but legendary robots will explode like a nuke. Just like how sentry bots always explode like a nuke, even if they're not legendary. Um, in, seven, in 76, re legendary robots explode, but randomly sometimes they'll just blow up on their own. Okay, we'll have to come back here I think for the soup. Also, where's this fucking dude? Like, he was clearly influencing them and giving them the buff. Is he, like, deeper over there? Oh, brain fungus right next to the glowing. Duh. Just blind. Okay, thank you. Hello? Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. He's fucked up. Oh, is he taking rad damage? Oh, my God. He's got a lot of HP, dude. Grab the shit and go. Nothing good. We gotta keep pushing south. We gotta get there. Hunter, hunger and first thirst slower. Sure, I'll wear that. Why not? Oh, you know what? I need to be taking off this armor. Can't be using these because those are the non-standard vanilla ones. Because I feel like they added too much armor for new characters, so I always like leave it just the chest because that's a vanilla like what you got with the, uh, the advent of the extra like loadouts. You know that you can pick from. They give us, obviously, the backpack by default, which is nice, you know? But they changed the skin of the backpack recently, so now it's the Vault Dwellers backpack. Um, or whatever it's called. But they also added in, you get a full suit of leather, which I'm not a fan of. Uh-oh. Why was there, oh, fucking, okay, he's friendly. We're fine. We're in, we're in the, we're in the forest. He's gonna be friendly. We're fine. Legendary Saltrons are the Bane Wags, bro. Oh, fuck. But yeah, uh, Legendary Robots explode. Or sometimes they'll just randomly explode on their own. I had one yesterday. Uh, just randomly detonate. And I was really close to it. It didn't kill me. You can pick some star berries and craft mentats to enemies. Oh, is that how you make fucking berry mentats? I've never actually bothered crafting them. I feel like you have to have the recipe for berry mentats, though. No? Yeah, I'm not helping this one. I'm just gonna chill on the rooftop and try not to die. Is there a cooking pot in fucking, uh... Whatever this town's called? That's the real question, because if I could get that cobbler for the bonus XP, that'd be nice. 
Do I still have the sleep buff? Probably do, right? Yes. Where y'all got a cooking pot here? Maybe it was on the rooftop. Maybe it was one of the church. It was here. High level? Oh yeah, we got 700. Okay, we'll be fine. We can get carried through. We just gotta not die like an idiot. Is there any food around yonder? Or not food, but like, you know, cooking spots. There may not be. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have a cooking pot or anything up here. Would have been nice. Anything on the rooftops around here for cooking? I'm not seeing any. Very annoying. I really hope these people don't try and give me shit, because I'm not in my vault suit yet. Or not in my ghillie suit, I should say. I'm in the vault suit, which is not good. I look like a new player, and I don't like that. I want someone to try and give me handouts, because I'm not supposed to fucking, like, go find the donation box and give that over. Oh, yes! Cooking! Let's go! Cabo time. And actually, fungus soup. Hopefully. I don't know if I have the water for the soup. The time for the equinox has come, children. Gather. Cranberry cobbler. Nine? Damn. Look at the durability bar. Those things last for ages. What the hell? So. What's Starlight Cobbler do? Are like cobbler endurance, huh? Okay. Sure. Brain fungus soup. Boom. Cobbler. Let's go. Come, Gather, Int XP me. endurance. Children, nice. Listen well. Vault fed. Hunger and doesn't increase. Oh, that's a nice little buff. Didn't pay attention to that one. Wise one's home. Their light is a vital catalyst to our ritual. The dim There's two people here besides me. To contain our light. Destroy their vines encircling each pyre before we proceed. Each pyre is attended by a wise one's observer. Only when the vines have been destroyed will the observers instruct you on your next task. Hurry now. Oh, that's a radio. I guess it's a revolver rifle. Patience does not run. Oh, here's, maybe it's the combat rifle. Okay, wisdom. interesting. Oh, they gotta destroy the vines. Okay, I guess I can go do that one. Uh, no. Never mind, they're getting that one. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's the observer. I thought that was a cultist talking. I was like, what the fuck? My god, I do fucking no damage. I'll let somebody else kill that fucking thing so they can grab it. Cause I'm, I'm trying to just like just get the stuff within range of here because I want to stay safe. Ah. Yeah. Oh man. I, I fucking misclicked and I didn't have my fucking mute, but I fucking somehow canceled the sneeze just barely. God damn though. Oh, I hate that shit. Totem. Oh, I guess the totems are over. We don't need that. Okay, that's fine. You find profits. Are you sure to try to shoot me with a fucking radium? Or is that a Yeah, she is. He is. He's only level 10, so that's not bad. Scoped radium. 
It was a radium. I was right. Losing the character, man. I need to be careful up here. Ah. Yeah, I'm definitely chilling on the rooftop for this one. Like, I'll shoot the dudes as they go in, but I'm not going down. Oh, thank you. Do a level up, though. Um. What are we grabbing? Pistol damage, probably. These summoning Let's get pharmacy. Once each the way. of the pyres has been lit. Go, ignite the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air. Waiting for everybody else to light them, because uh, I don't want to do that myself. Okay, they're going to get one. They're going to get that one as well. There's that person underground. Is there a basement? I guess there is. Oh man, I'm so sketched out. I, don't want, I literally just died in there like a half hour ago. So I don't want to like go in there and tag ah, stuff, but yes. like I need the XP the big time. I need to be careful. I'm going to go in there. We're popping it some Psycho though for damage resist. However brief it may be. Oh, survival strings. Get that fucking on the bar as well now. Breathe. Hopefully these two people can save me. We gotta run. We gotta pay attention to our HP big time. Let the dust and flames and fumes feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But prepare yourselves for the heretic Jim ones will be enraged by this. Stop! I need kills, you fuckers! I guess I should just be happy just to get completion XP at this point. You must protect our sacred lights, the fires from those wretched fiends. Without the fires. Oh my god. He's level 40, and someone just launched a fat. I hope that fat man was a player. I really hope that fat man was a player. Because, uh... That's... I don't like hearing that as a new player right now. There's... I've never seen an AI in 76 use fat man. That's only like Fallout 4. Hey, Swordsman. Appreciate that prime. Appreciate you, Lone Swordsman. I, I'm not deserving, but hey, appreciate you. Oh, hello. Tagged him. Good enough for me, baby. And that XP trying to hide right here in the corner. I am like more than ready to abandon post just to stay alive. I don't care if we get rushed. I'm running out. Runs up blank. Hey, as, as long as you're getting the game working, that's awesome. I forgot that I that you're the yeah. Listen, I'm I'm playing the game right. I'm not looking at chat. I just see like notification. Tag them both. Yeah. Oh no, we're over encumbered. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I looted a bunch of extra stuff. Damaged. Where that? Uh, damaged. Where that? Damaged. Where that? Okay, good. Uh, drop the good default shit. I guess. There we go. There we go. Under underweight now. We're good. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pile and Leave no heretic left standing. Ah, please. Okay, I didn't get XP on that one. Ah. Thank oh. He's level 40, man. Those things could fucking hurt. I'm so happy that a fucking, a uh, fucking, it sounds like a fixer, so we got a fucking commando person who stayed, so it's like, good, you have an optimized build, please keep me alive, I don't want to die again. I died right up there, like, fucking 30 minutes ago, man, I lost a fucking good character. Holy Mothman, lend me your strength! Ah, please! Please! Dash, you get in here! Get in here, random person! They're chasing me with my life! Thank you! There's one! We're fine. Oh, he's on level 5. This one's fine. 
down to level 41. We can take this guy. <sighs> shit. 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 Roven coming by a lot. Uh, well. I guess this is it. This is how we die. We're not a melee guy. We can drop those. Why do I hearing a fucking Assaultron pistol? Or just an Assaultron in general? Do you feel Assaultron it? head. The wise one draws near. Jesus. Okay, we're fine. We made it through. Yeah, it we're fine. We're alive. Do I want to... Pitchforks don't sell for much. There's no way. Upon the museum's rooftop. We must invite him to... <sighs> We're alive. We made it through. Hooray. And all gratitude. Can't believe I lost the other character. Such bullshit. But level fucking five makes it through. Like, fuck off, dude. It's so annoying. From your gut. Show emotion. Show what recipe do you get from the event? Good question. Curious pipe revolver. Wow, that's a me. I mean, it's a pistol, I guess. That's cool. Give me the buff. A little bit of a dance, there you go. Those guys are way too into the the shit. Sacred Mothman Tome. I have no idea like if any of those are rare. I don't like pay attention to a lot of the cosmetic like recipes. Oh, we're over encumbered again? Okay. Uh are there any benches in town? Anybody know if there's benches here? Oh, we gotta use that one. Well, that's only hunters. Yeah, we don't need that. Drop that off. Drop that off. Hey, we can move. Cool. We need to get out of here. We need to go straight down to fucking Wayward. Drop off, scrap off, sell off. What well, if that was a laser musket? The laser musket isn't in 76. That's, I mean, it's the same sound file, pretty much. But yeah, that's the, uh, the, that's the fucking, uh, Assaultron head that you can hold as, like, a pistol. It came about in, um, came about in the Automaton DLC in 4. Pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure it's, like, a unique weapon. Ooh, perfect. We like this. Do you have a scrap bench? No. Yeah, they do. Nice. All right. Beautiful. All right, scrap. Come on, suppressor. Say less scrap. Come on, suppressor. Hey, we got reflex. Okay, I'll take that. Um, we don't care about melee weapons. Those don't sell for much. I guess we do, we really need to care about caps, do we, on this character? Because we can't buy mutations. This is a no mutation character, so I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Scoped radium. I mean, I'll keep it, I guess. I don't know. We'll toss random shit into the fucking... Whatever, to my stash. All right, looking a little better. Cool, moving on. Did we get any Diluted, we did. Fantastic. Let's see. Yeah, this will take me right there. Hopefully the uh, the farming one's up. Am I allowed to open my shop? Uh, I could. That's not really like... I don't really have anything good to sell. When I think of selling stuff, I think it's more like I just take crappy weapons and just sell them to like vendor bots so I can get a little bit of caps, right? Like my previous character, before I died fucking a little bit ago, um, I needed money for serums, right, from other players. But then I had to find other serums as well. Or any serums, just say not other. Ah, serums! Fucking mollies, Jesus. Mollies, like, suck at low levels, man. Fuck off! That's why I can't talk about mollies, man. Um, 
Man, I'm burning through 10 mil right now. We need to get some fucking actual, like, gains. Um, what was I saying? Words. Uh... Vendors, I don't really have anything good to sell, so there's really no point in me stopping and like setting up a base. On top of that, typically on perma characters, um, I don't actually set up a base base. I essentially, the reason I stray out the vault, I always go downhill and I go to the cabin to get the quest. I then run up here and get my shelter unlocked. Once I have my shelter unlocked, I just use a default shelter and I just put all the benches on the inside as well as a bed. That way I can just kind of like, if I need to, I just drop it anywhere convenient. Although I typically just drop it somewhere along this route because I end up traveling this route the most, right? So I drop my shelter up there. That way I can just pick up a single item and drop it down and it'll have every, all the crafting benches I need inside it, plus a bed, right? So having to keep replacing the vendor would be kind of annoying, but on top of that, I just don't have any good to sell. Like credit or credits caps are uh, basically useless for my character other than like getting lucky. Uh, like I got really lucky and I had uh, I found like a, a fixer plan for like 2k caps when I was playing my uh, no legendaries character um, uh, which died at the start of the week um, or the end of last week I guess I should say but yeah uh, so as a result I got really lucky and I was able to like have a fixer early on I could keep crafting level, level versions and every, as I leveled up I could craft a 40 then a 50 you know um, so that's not real use is like Plans or serums, essentially, right? And plans, they're not even that useful. Like, typically, if I'm just doing, like, like what I used to do for Perma, is I would usually save up money, and then when I'm level 30, I get the LMG blueprint, because LMG is a really solid LMG, and uh, it's just fun. LMG is a solid LMG. What the fuck was that? It's a solid weapon. Um, even with, like, no good rolls, it's a really good weapon. It's a bullet hose, which is great for dealing just tons of damage or just taking on hordes, you know? Because it has a pretty solid mag size, right? Belt, drum, whatever. Anyways. Um, I'm kind of, like, over doing that build, like, every single time. So, I've been kind of just changing it up, which is why I was really enjoying the random builds, which end up resulting in a melee and a pistol build, because it, you know, was determined by the first legendary I got. Um, but, uh, yeah. Caps, I don't know. I really, don't, I could, I guess, set up a vendor. I just don't really have any reason to. Yeah, restriction in this run is no mutations. Uh, have you heard about the news regarding? Uh huh. Wait, my, my. Oh, okay. No, see, I see. You, th you see, you almost had me there, because um, I feel like uh, there's like a developer or there's like a game name that's like oxen free or something like that, and I thought that might have been like the developer of that game, but no, you, you that's clever. That's clever, Mr. YouTube Chat, Ashy, but no, not today. Close? Yeah, I almost, you know, I, I, listen, I, I've, I've been streaming a long fucking time, and uh, that's a new one. As far as, like, I've heard that before, but I haven't seen that in chat before. Aw, oh, I mean, the event's not up to this guy's friendly. I guess we can still kill him for XP. Isn't there an aristocrat legendary effect? Yeah. Uh, less aristocrat actually is not in Fallout 4. I'm pretty sure it's a 76 specific one. And that is, the more caps you have, the more damage you get. But the thing is, I feel like it's still a lower tier effect versus getting something like, uh, anti-armor, you know, or two-shot. Uh, I, for a lot of my weapons, I prefer two-shot, you know, if I can get it. So, I'm not really, like, needing that. Oh, what level am I, by the way? Oh, baby, eight? We leveled up three times in that shit, let's go. Alright, let's go up in the hills real quick and... Wait, I'm hearing laser shots. Oh, a farmhand got turned by a fucking legendary. Oh, boom, tag for XP, let's go. So even though he can, even though he turned them, they're still like attacking him because they're still like friendly. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
thought that looked glowing like orange for a second there. If a corpse is glowing orange instead of white, then uh, it's got legendary on it. Bloody knuckles. Wow, amazing. Oops, that's not cooked. Oh well. It's weird to be down here and not doing the wayward stuff early. You know, I guess I'm gonna change it up because my last character just died using the normal route, so I'm gonna fucking do it in reverse. What is that? Someone shooting over there? There is. Oh, fuck Project Paradise. Hell no. We ain't doing that. Alright, now that we're safely away. I shouldn't have used that. That was the only one I have. Now that we're safely away from all the bullshit down there, though. Do a little bit of unboxing stream. Send more brain funks in the trailer there in town. Ooh. Uh, which trailer? Are you talking about like the one with uh, the dude from the quest? Going survivor on. Let's see. I should probably go for the less damage. Let's get a uh, one point charisma. Get uh, lone wanderer. And we'll go for a food through hiker. And another chem. Have I played one or two? I have not, no. I want to. I don't know if I'll be able to enjoy it in like the weird, like non 3D format, you know, where it's like the top down. I guess it's three. No, no, no I guess it's kind of 3D graphics. But, anyways, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know if I could enjoy that. So, I don't want to like tarnish the potential, like, of those games. So I think I'd rather wait until someone like either remakes it in the Fallout 4 engine like they're trying, or um, just remakes them in like Unity so it's more stable. I think the Unity thing may have been done, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's not really something I'm like keen on getting into. I love Fallout and the lore and whatnot, but yeah, that's um, I don't have a whole lot of interest in 1-2 at the moment. I will say, I did watch the opening cinematic for Fallout 1 yesterday, because there was like an article about how one of the Fallout writers was, was like, hey, the, one of the guys from the interesting Mac was actually uh, Nate in Fallout 4. It's like, oh my god, you know? I was like, oh, huh. Or supposedly, I don't know. Been playing three on the Steam Deck for the first uh, time. Actually, such a blast. You no, know, you're playing it. Your first time playing Fallout Three, ever, or your first time playing it on a Steam Deck? Because if it's your first time playing it ever and you're doing it on the Steam Deck, that's cool as fuck. Uh, but three is really good. Ever? Oh yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah, that's probably fun as hell. Start this quest line. Oh, do we not have a quest to go down here yet? We actually probably don't have a quest to go down here, do we? We have to go to the Wayward first. Don't we have a quest that's like. Do we actually have to go to the Wayward? I guess we do, huh? I always go there first. You guys spoiled by new engines? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, going back and playing three New Vegas, they, like, you can mod them up so they're fun. And honestly, they might be fun just vanilla, you know? Like, they might be playable enough. Um, but going back to one and two is like, uh, like a huge leap versus, you know, four to three, you know, four to three is a pretty big leap, but like, you know, it's going back to like a couple console generations, you know, I don't know about that. Does that have means else than I'm playing in Vegas? No, I played in Vegas. I actually have a, a playthrough on YouTube if you're curious about that. Um, I haven't like fully finished the playthrough, but I have finished New Vegas and all of its DLCs on stream, and there's a YouTube video, like, the YouTube playlist of that. But I say, I say that playthrough because that playthrough was a modded playthrough of Tale of Two Wastelands, which combines... It was a... I need to get away from this truck in case this thing blows up. Okay, he didn't blow up, we're good. Um, it was a modded playthrough of Tale of Two Wastelands, which combines Fallout 3 and New Vegas into one game. So, I haven't finished the playthrough because I haven't gone back to Fallout 3 and finished 3 and the DLCs. 
I've gotten a lot of three underway. I don't know if I want to finish three because I played it before a long time ago. And I'm kind of burnt out on that. But there are DLCs I've just straight up never played in three, like the pit and uh, point lookout. I don't know if I've done Broken Steel. But I've done Operation Anchorage and Mothership Zeta, so. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at here. We got plans? Nothing. Okay, don't care. Moving on. Uh, so yeah, I, I know I, I I've actually played that pretty recently. Uh, I don't think I've played it recently enough that the vods are still on Twitch, but they're all saved on YouTube because I stream on YouTube at the same time, right? So uh, the vods are there. They're in a fancy playlist as well. Oh, sorry, you weren't even asking me. You're asking Suzuki. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, fuck off. Yeah, New Vegas. Yeah, after you've played through three and you're like, wow, yeah, definitely do New Vegas. Uh, that's cool, though, to hear that. Like, so th did you mod three at all on the Steam Deck? Like, to get it on there? Like, obviously, you could just install it via, like, the app, right? But I'm wondering if you modded it at all or if you're just playing, like, vanilla. Because I'm wondering how uh, New Vegas plays on the Steam Deck as well afterwards. Because that could be really fucking cool. Supply drop? Where's the supply drop at? Dangles? No! Oh, the supply drop's fucking miles north. We're not getting that. Okay. Um, armor. Let's get my fucking clothing set up properly. Again. On a real note, uh, what do you think of the situation surrounding the new Vegas... Okay, uh, I'm not talking about the show. Uh, at least on stream. Um, I... If you want my thoughts, I have a YouTube video of just, generally speaking, gushing about the show. Um, I'm looking forward to whatever they do for Season 2. I don't want to spoil it, because people might not have watched it yet, so, like, yeah. So, sorry, Ashy. Um, I realize you also asked that a little bit ago. My bad. I don't look at YouTube chat very much, because it's... You know, I'm a Twitch streamer, but, um, I'm looking forward to season two and everything they do. Honestly, like, I've seen some criticism online about, like, but they're, they're making stuff not canon. Like, that's not the case at all. Uh, I think people will jump to conclusions just to be angry at stuff, you know? Uh, so that's how I feel on that front. Uh, I loved the show. I think everything they did was fucking fantastic. They nailed, like, everything, pretty much. Like... So I'm looking forward to season two and whatever they figure out they're doing with that shit, you know? That's about it, honestly. Um, but yeah, no spoilers. So we're not doing that. But if you're wondering my thoughts about it, uh, I do have, I did talk about it for like six this minutes the other day. Um, and I put that up on YouTube. I mean, it's just a stream highlight, but like, you know, it's on YouTube. So if you're curious about that, uh, exclamation point show if you're on Twitch, if you're on YouTube already, uh, like Ashley is just, you know, you can just you can just navigate over there pretty easily. But yeah, um, I love the show. It was great. Uh, I'm probably going to rewatch it pretty soon. Uh, as soon as I finish up another show I'm watching right now. But I got to finish up Tokyo Vice first. All right. Let's get a throwing knife made. And we'll go over here and drop my base to get the quest underway. Right, once we get on the other side of that, boom. There we go, that one's done. Now, how do I get the responders quest? Because I feel like I should have a quest that tells me to go visit responders. Oh, it's because you gotta use this thing first. You gotta get the fucking holo tape from this thing. Duh. No? Why do I not have a quest to go to Flatwoods? What? Why do I have a quest to go? I always have a quest to go to Flatwoods. What is going on? Uh, 
Uh, I've got a Steam Deck dock station that I connect to your projector, so I'm playing on a massive white wall. Oh, damn. Wasteland 2 or 3 are good games. I play if you like Fall. I did play Wasteland 3 a little bit. I got a key for that a long time ago. It was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't play much of it, though. I think I actually played it in co op as well. Honey. What are you. Guy! I'm helping. I told you it was going to end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. I binged oh, it in one go, then immediately exactly watched it again. Yeah, I didn't do it quite in one go. I watched two the first night it came out, because it came out in the evening first when I usually go to bed. So I stayed Thanks up for two Duchess. episodes, and I watched all of it the next day. So it wasn't quite one sitting, but I binged it all within 24 hours. Now that you mean see, but I want him. Normally, so that's what. Now, how would you grab the attention? Just give me. Why do I not have the Flatwoods quest? It's so weird. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I'll just. Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh? Not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made crane treasure hunting inks. If I did, you just need the did. Hey, if you, what are you on? Hey, nah. Oh, Mort. Well, of course you're gonna throw some, and so you know. Now, it is a lot to ask. Fine, just make sure. Oh, it's. Yeah, uh, if you're playing Fallout for the first time, though, definitely, like, pop on the radio, man. The radio is such a vibe. Like, I wish I could play with it because, obviously, it's going to get muted on Twitch most of the time. And, and I'm, I'm sure there's a handful of people who watch the Twitch VODs occasionally. And then, on top of that, I don't want the version that lives forever on YouTube to be claimed and then I'm not going to get ad revenue from it. Or, you know, potentially copyright striked. So it's like, yeah. Can't really listen to the radio, which sucks. Luckily, uh, 76 has an amazing fucking, uh... Ah, there we go. First contact. Fantastic. Um... Why do we have to go back in there? Oh, that's the alternate, like, fucking quest. Okay, that's fine. Oh, remember put these, uh, things away so we can transfer these over to my main. I don't know if I have these on my main, but... Anywho. Wait, why do they want me... Oh, they want me to do this again? Bro, didn't I just place these already? Oh my god, they really make me do this again. Okay, um... What arm pieces do we have? We can craft a better chest piece or left leg. Let's do... A chest. No, let's do left leg. Craft. Da -da -da. Actually, do a better backpack. No, we can't. Okay, let's do uh, light armor, left leg, five. Okay, there we go. I really hate how they fucking it bugs out sometimes. I don't know. I did everything. I don't know why it popped back up again. Put the thing down. Yeah, I cra I, oh, I didn't craft a weapon. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't craft a fucking throwing knife. Place my camp. Yeah, I've already placed my camp, assholes. And the question is... Okay, move it an inch. Oh, look, there we go. Quest completed. Level 10. Quest, boom, slap it down. Cool. Yeah, the, uh, like, don't get me wrong, there's some decent ambient music in 4, and there's some okay tracks in 3 New Vegas, and those are fresh in mind, obviously, because I played them, like I said, only a few months ago. Um, but. Pretty much every ambient soundtrack they have, or ambient, all the ambient songs in this are just fucking bangers in 76, man. It's such a vibe. I love it. Especially the weather. Like, don't get wrong, sunny days in 76 are okay, but when it's, like, rainy like this, man, ah. It's immaculate. Love it. I 
Hey, well, I'm glad you're enjoying whatever it is I do here. Which, I don't know what that is most days, but... Appreciate everyone who's been chilling. And hey, if you're new to the stream and you haven't done it yet, hit that follow button. I stream, uh, Friday through Tuesday here, usually. Doing something. Um, I might be going, like, longer next week? Uh, we'll see. But yeah, um, it depends on how good Greystone Warfare is. If Greystone Warfare is, like, That's really fucking slapping, um, then I will definitely... Hey, this is okay. Appreciate that Prime. Uh, I hope I didn't fuck up your name. I probably did. Um... But yeah, if Greystone Warfare is like really fucking slapping next week, then I'll probably stream the entire week and just move my days off to like, or maybe I'll just only take Friday off instead, I don't know. But that's a week away still, so don't worry about that. Because we're only in Sunday right now. Fix that. But, yep, 76 is uh, a good chill game. Oh, oh, Jesus. I don't know why I'm getting lead. I probably need it for something down the road. We can crunch it in a second here. But, uh, yeah, if you're new to the stream, haven't done it yet, hit that follow button. We do lots of different stuff here, but, uh, Fallout games in general, whether they be modded 4 or 3 or whatever, you know, or 76, those are usually, like, the fallback games for the channel, because, uh, they're just good times, man. I'm so happy the Fallout show is good, because it does so much justice for the franchise, uh... Like, I, I love it. But on top of that, it, it it's bringing hype to the fucking, like, franchise, like, as far as uh, gaming. Like, someone posted, uh, someone did, like, some research just, just looking at just the Steam numbers for all the games. Like, the regular versions and the Game of Year editions as well. And, like, all the games have getting, like, a big bump in player base. And I think 76, like, doubled overnight, it looks like. It's it's crazy. It opens good and doesn't flop. Yeah, Pen, well, I hope too. I hope so too. I don't know if Therm or Donis are joining me for that, Penwell. Also, did my YouTube die? No, we're good. I guess it just lagged out in the video player for me. That's fine. Um, all right, check this. I guess I did. I don't know if they're going to join me, but, uh, you know, if I have an extra key uh, and you're down, Penwell, uh, you're more than welcome to join me for that shit. It's only the testing period stuff, and I don't know when that's coming out, but supposedly I'm going to be in for that. Which would be pretty dope if I actually do make it into that, you know, the streaming period next week, at the end of next week. Uh, I think I am. I was told yesterday on a call, which is really weird that they ha we were on a call to begin with, because it's always emails, but like, supposedly I'm in, and uh, you know, hopefully that's fun, because that could be sick. I've been waiting for like a good, you know jump forward in that genre. A lot of people have a decent PC to run the games now, too, and I think it helps a lot. Yeah, for sure. Well, on top of that, a lot of the games are older. Right? So you don't need an insane PC. Like, a PC that's just meh is actually, like, above spec for most of the games, which is great. Plus, uh, 76 is just free right now, in general. Um... It's like free for a week, and then on top of that, if you have uh, Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime, whatever, and you have the Prime Gaming sub, whatever, then you get 76 for free on uh, Game Pass. Oh, actually, you guess you get the Xbox or, and or the PC edition. I guess I could do it now. If anybody has an Xbox and wants a copy, I got a code I could toss you, cause I'm not using it. Cause I don't have, I don't, I literally don't have a, like a new Xbox. Hey, uh, Springy, appreciate that. You got a new Xbox? Word. Do you want a copy of 76? Because if you're actually going to use it, it's all you. Because I bet you on Twitch, there's a lot of copies of, uh, 76 to go around between prime subs and whatnot, you know? Series X? Oh, nice. You'll use it? Alright, cool. Give me a second. I'm gonna step outside so I don't die. I'm gonna go to the rooftop real quick and I'll dig it through. You gotta have your whispers open, though. 
still using a 1080 Ti and I get decent FPS at 4K most of the time. Bro, how are you doing a 1080 Ti at 4K? That's very brave of you. What are you playing? Are you talking about like 76 or other games? Like 4 or 3, whatever. Like, I only just got like a good card with the 3060 Ti at the end of 2022. And only now I'm like, if I had a good monitor, I could push 4K. I don't, I only have 1080p, and I, I feel like I would ruin myself if I did that, because I can't keep up with, like, I play lots of new games, and playing those at 4K, I feel like would be a detriment, because I don't have a fucking sponsored PC like a lot of the big streamers do, so, you know, that's not happening. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see here. Mute me, because I don't need that open. Xbox claim. Get game. Copy. I'm assuming that goes somewhere. You're gonna have to figure out where that goes. Actually, there's instructions right here. Press the Xbox button, open the guide, and select store. View the view button, and hit redeem Xbox. You can actually, honestly, you could probably do it on the website. Oh, there you go. Enjoy, dude. No point in letting the copy uh, sit to waste, you know, considering uh, Amazon's fucking just tossing them out. Alrighty, now. Close my own stream, don't need that open. Cool, back to the business. How about a caution? Because there's a ghoul or something here? Because the robots should be friendly. We're not in the event right now. What's going on here? Actually get better FPS on 4K over 1080 for some reason? Weird. Okay. I mean, hey, you know, if it's working, it's working, you know? It's probably a bottleneck. Yeah, it could be. I imagine your CPU isn't, like, tippity top of the line if you're only using a 1080 Ti. Although, to be fair, 1080 Ti is probably still pretty solid. How was I in caution for a second? Alright, whatever. What a bucket has a gun. Are 76 servers cross-platform? No, sadly they're not. Um, they are between, like, the Game Pass slash Microsoft Store version and Steam, right? That's all just PC in general, right? Uh, but Xbox is not, sadly. So. Wah, wah. I'll need 4K. It's nice, but 1440p is really nice. <sighs> See, now you make me look that up. I'm going to walk outside again. I got to look up the difference between 4K and 1440. Because I s swear to God, like, 1440 is like... <sighs> Maybe I'm thinking of a different resolution. Let's see. p res. Okay, let's see. 1440p. 1440p. Twenty-five sixty. So I guess that's not 4K. So what is the four? What's 4K then? Is that like the 3900 something like that? What is 4K res? That's a problem, man. Like, they, they did too many fucking weird name changes. Like, why would we go from 1080p to, like, 4K and then 1440p? Like, it's fucking annoying. 496 by 2160? Okay. Yeah, I guess 1440 would be solid still, though. I don't know. I feel like 1080p still looks good enough, but maybe that's just because I'm biased and I finally got, like, a new pair of glasses earlier this year that I needed for, like, a decade. So that's, that's probably me just being biased because I'm just... You know, used to seeing in like fucking 480p or 720, you know? Eyes are all fucking blurry as shit. You got a spare PC and Xbox code? Hey, well, if someone in chat wants them, I'm sure they could speak up. I'm sure a lot of people in chat have codes. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not going to tell people to fucking give them away, you know? You do you. But by all means, don't just drop them in chat. In my opinion, uh, the way I prefer it to be done on stream in general for key giveaways, like, just ask whoever wants it, and you can determine how you give it away, whatever. But, like, I don't like people just dropping a code, and then they just assume it's going to get claimed. I would like to someone to, like, tell us if they're actually going to claim the code. That way you know it's like, hey... The code is used. I don't need to keep pimping it out, you know? Because the most annoying thing as a person who probably wants a free game is to be, like, constantly punching in codes, and they're taken. And it's like, ah. Oh. But if the dude isn't told, 
that the code got used, then how can they know to stop pimping it out, you know? So, that's just my general philosophy as a streamer, because like, the free codes and stuff, this is not the first time any stretch Over that here. happened. Let's call these personal journals. Not enough like, uh, back in the day, there were tons of good Humble Bundles going on, and people would be dropping, like, hey, here's Jumbo Bundle code, and I'm like, ah, we don't know if people are claiming those, man. What is GZWZ? GZWZ is Gray Zone Warfare. Gray Zone Warfare is, um, Gray Zone Warfare is a extraction shooter, kind of like Tarkov, but instead of it being a small map and timed, and only, like, 16 people top on the, some of the bigger maps, uh, it's like 48 people Three different factions of 16 each you can group up to four people in your actual group But factions actually matter so you can't like or you shouldn't be team killing your friendlies, you know Unlike Tarkov factions don't really matter in that one Um, yeah, it's a full loop PvP like survival slash extraction shooter. It looks dope Um, and yeah, they're having like a content creator like week for that starting next Thursday Uh, so Friday I'll be streaming it assuming I actually get in I, I was told I'm gonna get in so uh, they're probably, I think, going to send out keys closer to the actual thing. So, yeah, a bunch of streamers are going to be playing that for a week. So, it could be cool. And, yeah, Penwell, um, uh, I don't know when you work or whatever, but, like, yeah, I, I, yeah. Like, I think Therm might be joining. I think he said interested, but Donis, I'm not sure. So, if Donis uh, isn't into it, then I got you. Save the cooking for a second here. Let's finish up and get the uh, meat stuff going. But yeah, um, besides doing a lot of like Bethesda and Fallout stuff on this stream, uh, I historically have been a PvP streamer. So stuff like Daisy and shit, which I refuse to play for the most part anymore, unless it's the BR version, you know. But I love uh, extraction shooters and PvP, which is why I'm still waiting for the Division Heartland, which would be cool. Hopefully, I don't know. Ooh. We have a supply crate chilling here. Hello. What a good location. Is there anything going to be in here, though? No. Okay, so that is... Someone's probably a new key card, maybe if it's empty. Either that or it maybe spawned in before I was on the server. Did I see a ghoul go in there. Or was that the the person? Nope. Whatever. Kit code uh, worked for you. Got redeemed. Nice. I mean, it should have worked. I hadn't clicked the claim, claim button yet, so it'd be really weird if it wasn't working. But yeah, I'm excited that we have some things potentially coming out soon. Uh, it's good to have options as a gamer. Yeah, I mean, it's it, uh, they're even more needed as a streamer. Did I die again? Yes, I did. I'm not happy about it. Okay. <laughs> and the next, uh, this current character now, the handicap is no mutations, which really sucks because in my opinion, it's the hardest difficulty as far as permadeath goes. Because that means I'm not going to be able to, like, get a marsupial and just away from a fucking death claw Or assaultrons. How? I My dumbass went to a fucking Mothman Equinox event and I didn't watch my HP and realized I was getting fucking slapped. The other person who was in the area wasn't, like, a min-max build. So they were just kind of chilling and killing stuff. And I was, like, level 30. I was doing okay, but, like, some of the, some of the mobs coming in during the waves are 40. And uh, I guess they did a lot of damage and I wasn't paying attention, so my dumbass died. What level my last character? 30-ish? 30, 30, I think it was just 30. Maybe, I think pretty sure I just died at 30. Got to roll back the VOD to figure that one out. Exactly. Yeah, it's not fun. Hi there. To be fair, that was like about an entire stream. I did, don't get me wrong, I did a lot of hours yesterday. And I'll probably do a lot of hours today as well. But, um... That character wasn't started, I mean, it was started, yes, mm, yeah, that character was started yesterday, but it was like an hour plus into the stream, because yesterday, at the start of the stream, I died with my melee character. So. I bet this town was really nice before the war. Um. The fact that I died within the first hour of the stream means it lasted about a full stream, that character. About. Imagine playing a non-min-max character. Uh, 
Well, I mean, you know, I don't min hard, hard min max. I don't do any like the crazy like bobbleheads or like going like, ooh, fungus. I forgot about that. Grab that. Uh, I, you know, I do some stuff. But, like I, I'm definitely not min max even out the gate. Like I'm always running like stuff for that's like quality of life stuff. Like running with like weight reduction perk cards. You know, like I could definitely min, min, min max. And I don't do that at all. Because I like carrying loot, even if I'm on permadeath. We got an extra strength card we gotta get rid of. I think we'll save it for like bandolier or something. Kind of like the pistol only? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm gonna go pistol build for this character, but I'm not like pistol only. So if I get like a crazy gun that's not a pistol and it's like a build changer, I'll, I'll swap. But like the plan for this character, because I'm not an archetype stuck character, I will, I'm leaning pistol just because that circuit breaker is actually really fun. And it's an easy, like strong weapon to carry me from 20 plus, you know? But I'm technically not limited on this character. As far as at least gear set goes. So if I do get a crazy shit, uh, as far as like to drop, I'll use that. I did. So again, I can I can inherit like part of my rule set is I can inherit items across uh, characters, like one item if it's like uh, if it's something I gamble. Because when a character dies, I script everything down to the currency and then I gamble uh, items from the purveyor at whatever level the character is. And I got a, a decent VATS uh, uh, Vampire AP Refresh Pistol. So if it's not an Ultra Sight, I'll have to check my vendor, or my stash in a second here. But um, if it's not an Ultra Sight, that could actually be really dope. Because uh, that'll be a nice healer. I can slap on like a um, Beam Splitter on it and that'll heal me up pretty good. Oh, hang on, our shit's probably wore off. Let's get eat some more a little bit here. Oh, those... <laughs> it shows the durability bar way higher when you're crafting them. Okay, that was a lie. I carried play the other day with the rifle and stealth. Can't remember what it was. Yeah, that was, um... That was the no legendaries character. So the only real route that I could go to, like... Have any real <laughs> chance at surviving was, uh... Stealth Commando. And I got really lucky because I found a fixer plan early on. And I, I say he's bought. I, I found. I bought one for pretty cheap from a vendor. Yeah, the uh, the stealth commando was fun, but how did I die with that one? I don't remember. Oh, the nuke randomly went off. Yeah, I, I ran. I killed a, uh, a uh, legendary commie bot, and I didn't realize it was a legendary, so I basically walked over the fucking corpse, and I got blown up. And then yesterday, a non-legendary commie bot tried to kill me, my new character, when I was up here by a fucking trailer, uh, a mobile trailer park thing, house. Nearly fucking killed me. I was far enough away that I didn't really take much damage or any, but like, it still scared the shit out of me, man. Okay. Chloe's my pet. Up the hill we go. Uh, How we look on weight? Sure. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, stealth commando is fun, especially because like the stealth suit is just—it's just smooth. It's really fun, not having to actually worry about like constantly. Uh... So, what do we, need to put? do we have any good cards I need to slap in right now? Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I think we start putting pistol. 
Um, I'm there. Yeah, most characters that I run, like my mains or my alts, I usually have like one piece of chameleon armor on, so I can stealth that way. Because I need actual armor versus the stealth suit. Um, but the stealth suit's real nice, man. Because uh, you can just cra you can stay stealth while moving. It's it's so nice, man. And on the uh, perma character, it was really good. Not good enough though. Random nuke. I don't know why I'm looking at camps. I don't need to be buying anything anymore. We can't use serums. Old habits. But hey, we're flying along this nest character, you know, and we'll get 20 soon enough and we can uh, make ourselves uh, our circuit breaker and we'll be feeling good. Still kind of bummed out though, man. Because now we went from essentially like a pistol build, but no restrictions beyond that, to now like. I'm probably going to pistol build, but now I have no mutations. So it actually just got harder. Like, not only did I lose all of the last, like, eight hour or nine hour stream or whatever, uh, pretty much. Because I had, like, an hour today as well. Um, but now I can't use mutations, so it's like... It's just so fucking annoying, man. Like, it was such a stupid fucking death that I could have avoided... God damn, dude. And, uh, on top of that, it's like, I wasted so many times on that character running across the map just to get cucked by people logging out when I was trying to, like, go see if they had serums for sale, you know? And, uh, now I can't even use them anymore. So all that time was just straight wasted. Oh, boy. How did melee die? Uh, the melee character died because I went AFK. I was being a nice guy. Uh, somebody in the chat had said the game Message performs update. terribly. The form. game's not optimized. You need a high performance PC. And I'm like, no, you don't. Look what I, look at my specs. My specs aren't amazing, and I get great frame rate. Um, and they, no, they said not even that you need high spec PC. It's that even high spec PCs can't run the game well. I'm like, my PC is not high spec, and I'm running it well. Um, and then someone in chat was like, hey, uh, yeah, it's about like this I and I uh, config option uh, it helps out a ton. Uh, and I was like, oh, yeah, I think I have that. And so I as I was server hopping so I could try and find a dual bar mod for my chainsaw. I uh, was opening files on my computer, digging for the config file, which I found and I was right. I do have that set. So that probably does help out. Um, but uh, I logged in on top of like three raiders right at the start of Camden Park on the road and they uh, shot me and they just shredded me within like a second or two so yeah fun times so uh, yeah my last like two deaths the last three deaths have been like completely avoidable like me dying at the Mothman Equinox on my character today my previous pistol character um, I, I wasn't paying, I don't know, I, either I died insanely fast or I wasn't watching my HP, I don't know. I just kind of just suddenly was like, oh, I'm down? And I was like, oh, I'm down, I could get res, but I, the person who was there at the event didn't res me. Because they only had like a couple seconds to get there. Oh, Mothman Equinox, speaking of, let's go, get some XP, it's already marked, let's go, turn around, turn, 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 go. One more XP shit, man. If I can boost up this character even faster to get to 20, I'm doing it. I survived it at level fucking, is that a player? No, it's a hunter, okay. He's stalking. Hunter just shoot, shot a fucking farmhand? That's fucked up, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, I'll do it, but like, you're an AI. What the fuck? That was weird. I've never seen an AI, a friendly AI, hunt down a Mr. Farmhand. I wonder if it's like considered hostile in general, even though it's not hostile to players because the event isn't going on. It's hostile to him, so therefore he's sneaking it. But I thought hunters spawn in as like a random encounter to go after like rad stags and shit. Huh. 
whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, all my characters have been easily avoidable. Uh, like my fucking stealth commando character could have avoided death if I was literally just looking at the computer. I wasn't though. I was on autopilot, like vatsing stuff, while I was reading Twitter on my other monitor. I even said as much, I think, in the clip as well. And because I was just like walking around, and I started getting shot by lasers. I pulled my attention back, and I just fucking start auto vatsing stuff, and they die crazy fast because that's what the stealth commando does. And uh, I didn't realize one of them was legendary because he died too fast. I killed the legendary, like, level 50 Kamibot too fast that uh, I didn't realize he was legendary to begin with. So I didn't want, realize I was stepping on a fucking nuke, you know? So that was fun. And then the melee death was me just server swapping and AFKing essentially in the wrong area. And then the Equinox one. Yeah, all of my deaths have been, like, easily avoidable recently. And I'm just so disappointed in myself. Did the INI file change give you better performance? I didn't change anything. My performance is perfectly fine. You can see in the top right, I have like 100 plus FPS. Sometimes it dips a little bit, and that's usually because the area is like got a bunch of issues going on. Like the Mothman Cultist area event has like a bunch of extra stuff added for the event, but because it's going on, so the frame rate isn't as like amazing there, you know? But for most of the game, it runs perfectly fine. Um, so I didn't actually need to make the change. So that's what's even worse. Like, I wasn't. Like opening up an I and I change to see if it would help me out because I don't need it. I was opening up to see if it's. Uh, I was confirming if that is a setting that I had, so that somebody else could potentially benefit and fix their game because they were like, ah, the game runs terrible even on the high end PCs, and I'm like, well, that's not the case. See, not high end PC playing the game, moderate end, you know, if that. And good frame rate, you know. So someone in chat was like, "Hey, this option helps you out." And I was like, "I need." I was checking to see if I had that option enabled, uh, so that it could help out that person. And I do, but then I died, cause I'm stupid. Yeah, I some I some nice stuff. I found some stuff helped a lot. Turning off fog, grass, and water effects. Oh no, nah, dude, fog's great, man. Fog is like, fog is pretty rare in '76, but when it happens, man, oh, it's so good, dude. Sorry guys, I'm a little busy right now. If you attack me, I'm gonna get you, but... Hopefully someone's there starting it. Yes, they are, good. Honestly, like, sure, you have, like, some big streamers coming over to play... 76 for the first time, or, like, revisiting it, you know? Um, and that, you know, some streamers heading over is to be expected, but I'm just kind of, like, surprised at, like, how many people are actually showing up to watch it as well. I appreciate everyone who's been hanging out today, and yesterday as well, and recently. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy, like, looking at the category and not seeing myself at the top of the list. Because I'm always, like, number one, maybe number two on the 76 category. Because it's a, not, like, I'm not going to say a dead category, it's just a, uh, it's a low profile category, you know? Oh, no, did it end? What? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. I have the event going. Okay, never mind. Whew. I'm gonna freak out for a second there. Uh, but yeah, like not being on high up on the list and yet still having the, like, the viewership I have. Like, what the fuck? This is fucking weird. I mean, I appreciate all y'all. Like, damn. But what the hell? It's just crazy how much, like, a TV show, like, drives that viewership. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, though, because I think I did the same thing. I'm pretty sure I played, uh, Cyberpunk. I did like a full run finally when um, right after the anime aired and I feel like that was actually a pretty solid uh, playthrough for the stream. Speaking of cyberpunk, though, I kind of hope they make another uh, show of that. I don't. We're not going to get season two of Edge Runners, right? But if they made like a, another series, man, by the same studio, that was good, man. I loved uh, Edge Runners. That shit was great. It's a low level. No, it's a high level. Good. And I'm hearing something else. What sounds like an alien disintegrator? So that disintegrator. I can't tell what that is. Maybe it's an disintegrator. 
Ah, I'm not doing any damage to this shit. Oh, hello. Gotcha. One of your 76 counts linked. Uh, yeah, I think they give you a code to redeem on Bethesda.net anyways. I feel like that's what, uh... Someone said the other day, a couple people confirmed it when they, they did, a, like, a gift sub or subbed or whatever. Uh, it shows up in, like, your loot section on Twitch. And then you punch in the code on the Bethesda.net website, I think. Yeah, like this is what I was talking about though. Because they add all this extra stuff to this town, I think, for the event, uh, my frame rate's not amazing. I get like 50 FPS right now. So, I think I'll just, I'll just chalk it up to the weird thing this town. Because again, I think I prefer, it runs great everywhere else in the game. But it's only like this event where they add a bunch of stuff. Damn, the music here is fucking creepy as shit. Uh, you can get the bag and items for your Game Pass Ultimate perks as well. Yeah, if you have Game Pass Ultimate, apparently you get like an entire like little setup there. To be fair, most of it's kind of free to begin with. I think it's just a pack that you can't get if you're on the Game Pass Ultimate, which is what the subs thing is for. I could be wrong, but I feel like the thing that showed, like, most of it's free. Now I gotta look that up. Fallout. Game Pass Ultimate. Let's see. Man, I feel like I gotta look at this thing. I don't know if, uh, whatever bundle they have is on it. Yeah, I gotta look at the Twitter. Cause now I'm curious what the, the whole, whole bundle had in it. Uh, they retweet so much stuff right now, it's gonna be hard to find. Once each of the piles has been I feel like I've seen the graphic Go recently though. Ignite the flames as I, I it's an Xbox the dust tweet deck, maybe. Wise one look up. Into the air. There you go, survival kit, Game Pass Ultimate Orange. You get, oh, okay, so you get some lunch boxes, you get some repair kits, you get supply kits, scout banners. Yes. Okay, the so you get the backpack. Everything else is literally just random consumables. It's just random consumables plus the backpack. Okay. Or you can just sub to get the backpack instead. Alright, whatever. See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you. But prepare yourselves, for the heretic gym ones will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. You must protect our supernatus, the fires, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. A level B. Well, okay, we'll see how much we get for completion of this shit. The church. Slay them, children. Offer no quarter. Oh, man. People are running outside and killing everything. I need some XP ducks.
Only no, level twelves are fine. We're fine. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left. What will we do if we uh, get actually get a mutation from rats? I can heal it. I can just heal it with the rat right away instantly. Yeah, right away heals those, which is why normally I don't use right away, like at all, in a perma character until I get um, the starch mutations card. But that requires like level 30 or 31 to have both of them, right? So that that's that card is the whole like lock in your mutations, and they can't be removed ever unless you unequip the card, right? So that like locks in your build from like accidents happening, but. That's what right away does. It removes uh, it removes you mutations besides obviously removing rads. So uh, that's like the easy solution. If I accidentally ever get one, then yeah. My thing is though, if I'm ever taking enough rads that I get a mutation, I'm gonna be having issues because usually, like I think you can start getting them at like 25, 35 percent like that, whatever. But you usually don't get them until you're like 60% in as far as rads. Like it's pretty rare to get a mutation like super with like without a ton of fucking rads on it, you know? Um, I feel like I've got one of those before early on in a permadeath run. Um, I remember I was crossing the river up here north of the prison right here. And uh, I jumped in the water and I was in it for a bit. And I, I, I wasn't in the water long, so I didn't have that many rads. I was like... A third of my HP was rads max, and I somehow got marsupial. It was actually like a good roll of a mutation. I was like, oh shit, fuck yeah, dude. You know? The wise one draws near. All right, cool. We're done. Huzzah. Ooh, hello, three star. We like that. Oh, yeah. Vanguard. Resistance to higher health. Hell yeah. We love that. Agility. We love that. Chance to deal 12 energy damage per second for 4 seconds to melee attackers. Again, useful. Boom. Hell yeah. Getting talked over by NPCs. Love it. Who needs to hear me anyways, right? I'm not that good to hear anyways, so, you know. That's fine. Ooh, two shot. Ah, oh, it's not a fucking TSC. Damn, that might be decent though to use for a little bit. It's technically a pistol as well. Give me my buff. It's all the good work, lads. Y'all have a good one. So we were twelve. Let's see how much we just got. Thirteen. Is that it? Only thirteen. We only got one level off of that. Okay, I don't know how far we were into 12 because we were like a quarter before the the kills. I don't know how far the kills got me, but it got me through most of 13. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Um, what do we got? We still have pharmacy. Uh, we have through hiker maxed out. I think we start pumping some perception cards. Cause I want the pistol one. No, I think we just go for another concentrated fire because we don't have crack. Oh, we have crack shot. Uh. More accuracy and range. That's aiming down sight. I want this one. More accuracy. Per shot. That's a big card. Okay. All right. Back to what we're doing. Back to the camp to go do the the stuff with the fangs. Um. Sorry. Just joined. Did it end up dying? I did. We died earlier. It's, it's um. I'm not happy. But hey, fresh run. Started, uh, I don't know, like a couple hours ago at this point. Maybe like an hour and a half. I don't know. But yeah, we died recently. But it, was, it wasn't, to be fair, that character wasn't that old. Like, the previous character was started yesterday's stream. I did a long stream, sure, but like, the character that died today was only like level 30. And because double XP is going on, that's like a single stream. So, we lost progress and it sucks, but we got a different modifier. Because whenever I die, I roll the roulette wheel here for modifications and we got uh oh why isn't that when it captured i guess it froze up 
beard. Doesn't matter. Anyways, we rolled no mutations now, which is a harder run than the no pistol. Because no pistol was just like, oh, it's a theme run, you know? It's just a fun little goofy perma run, you know? I can still die, obviously, but, like, this one's actually hard. So, yeah. Just bought a PC today, got all set up. Hell yeah. First gaming PC, or is it like you just got a new one? Because if it's your first gaming PC, that's special. Because now you got access to all kinds of games. Because, like, Sure, there are some games that are like console only, but they these days, man, the console exclusives they come to PC eventually, anyways, you know. Uh, but PC gaming is set special because like you can customize it however you want for your graphics to fit your specs, but then you can mod stuff, and modding games is a beauty. Uh, first one always been a console. Hey, oh, congrats! Like I'm not a console hater. Don't get me wrong. I played, you know both for as long as I can remember. I grew up on a like original NES as well as playing Doom on like a fucking whatever super old uh just random shitty Microsoft PC, whatever the fuck it was. But uh that said, uh you know I recognize why people like consoles and I played them for fucking years, man. Cause uh, I did N sixty four and then uh fucking original Xbox and then three sixty and then eventually I bought a PS3 specifically just for Uncharted 2 and Mag. Then eventually I played through the whole series on stream for Uncharted, and then, uh, but that's all I ever really did. Like, I stopped with the 360 era, you know, it's 360, oh, and I did get a PS4 for Destiny, I guess. There is that. But, I get the whole sitting on your couch and watching on a big TV, but, you know, PC gaming hits different. I play more on my ROG Ally than my main PC now. Hey, man, I mean, those things are sick. The I like that we're actually getting some decent handheld PCs, because those things technically aren't new. Um, like, hell, I remember in college, which I'm not going to say how long ago that was, because it was a long time ago, but my roommate had, uh, uh, like a small, like, what essentially amounted to a Steam Deck, but it was like, it had like Windows, I think XP on the time at it, on it. And, uh, I was like, huh, well that's something. That's cool. It, it was kind of, it was a dope little form factor, but, uh, that thing had no power, you know? It had no power. Like, he may, I don't, I, I don't even know if he played WoW on that thing. He may have been able to play WoW. I think he mostly just used it for, like, hooking it up to his projector, projector in his room to, like, watch shit so he didn't have to, like, buy a big TV, you know? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, the fact that we actually have, like, somewhat decent handheld, like, PC hardware is pretty good, you know? As much as I'm against, like, mobile gaming because it's just not something I'm into, uh, I do love that we keep getting, like, mobile processor power, like, big leaps forward in that technology, because that means you get, uh, better, like, PC hardware. Or, uh, they just keep shrinking down, like, laptop CP GPUs and shit to actually start working for Steam Decks, you know? So, gaming's an interesting place right now. Besides the state of, like, let's release broken early access stuff all the time. Um, or just AAA games that's not really access, it's just broken. Uh, but the actual, on the hardware side, it's pretty interesting. The rookie needs a Steam account stat, yeah, right? What's the first thing you play when you get Steam? Uh, uh, Team Fortress 2, go! That's what I did, I think, in college. I think that's actually why I got a Steam account, was Team Fortress 2. That shit was fun with the, the, uh, the college, uh, fucking friends. That was fun as shit, dude. Of course, Team Fortress New 2 right now, I feel like the last time I saw it mentioned, like, like, I feel like the last few times I've seen it mentioned, it's like, TF2 is in a terrible space, like, servers are infested with, like, bots farming, like, drops and shit, or, like, they're also aimbotting and shit. I'm not talking about, like, bots, like, everyone's aimbotting, like, sure, there might be that, but, like, actual, like, AI, like, bots or, like, programs running on the servers, it's fucking, like, weird. It's a, kind of a bummer. Path of Exile, yep. Path of Exile is a solid one if you've never played ARPGs, which I, I, you know, I would say oh, you probably never play ARPG if you're on consoles, but that's not the case. They started becoming popular once uh, Diablo 3, like, did decent with their re-release on the consoles, so. The hey, Lieutenant Roadkill with that fresh sub. Appreciate you, dude. That's not required at all, but hey, appreciate you. Appreciate everyone who's been hanging out. Backpack, yep. You should get it. I don't know 100% how it pops up. I think it's in, like, your Twitch drops on the website. You gotta, like... Get the code there, then redeem it on your Bethesda account. I'm not 100%. Someone in chat said that yesterday. I think that's like approximately how you do it. Are there bots in 76? Nope. 
Nope, everyone's uh, everyone's playing. It's good. The community in 76 is like phenomenal. It's probably one of the best gaming communities online because like typically you'll, you're not going to see it as much now because the servers are flooded with new players, which isn't a bad thing. But typically what you'll do is you'll see like high level people will like back in the day, they routinely look on the map for low level characters because you can just mouse over people right and see where they're at and what they're doing, you know? Um, like they would routinely like see low levels and join, like go to them and then drop them like a bunch of stims, water, healing supplies, maybe some armor, some weapons, whatever, you know, depending on how, how generous they're feeling or how, what they want to do, you know? Like, that's a thing people do. And I'm not making that shit up because if you go to the subreddit, I bet you, like, I was looking yesterday, most of this Fallout subreddit is literally just feel good stories of like, this community is amazing. Uh, but on top of that, I, we've seen that on stream at least once. I, I've seen it multiple times, but like there was specifically one incident where someone came up to me and like dropped an entire Brotherhood of Steel pocketed combat set. It wasn't like a max level one because I wasn't max level, which means they custom crafted a lower level like armor set for me and then like added the deep pocketed set to everything to it. I couldn't use it because I'm playing permadeath, but I'm not going to tell them that. So I ended up, I think I dropped it off in my stash or maybe I put it in a box for like when some other newbie to find. But like people do that. Like the community is just stupid nice. So like as much as the game had a bad release, like the community is just, it's weird, man. I mean, I like it, but it's weird because pretty much everyone's just really nice. There might be a few occasional like shitters because you can like PvP in the game. But the PvP is like unbalanced and boring. So like 99.999% of the player base plays with pacifist mode on, which is if you're new, you go to the options, you can go to game, and then you go turn that on, boom. There you go. No PvP. Like they can't PvP you just like without your consent already, even if you have it turned off. Because it's like you'll get a notification like, hey, this person has attacked you, attack them back so that you can engage in PvP. Otherwise, they'll just keep hitting you, and you'll just keep getting a notification, right? But uh yeah, the community is just stupid nice, man. It really is. Whoa. I don't know where I was going with that one. Anyways. Listen, it was a misclick. He's fine. He didn't lose that much HP. <laughs> I was like right in his fucking sternum. Sorry, dude. Listen, spamming dialogue happens, all right? Whatever. He said people teleport me to try and bait me into PvP. Yeah, most of those people got bored and left. Most of those people got bored and left. Yeah, people were trying to run into your bullets. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I tell people, like, turn on uh, pacifist mode immediately. Because those people still exist. They're just, like, mega rare mega rare they're like unicorns um, but yeah people will occasionally go to like an event and, like step in front of your shots and try and see if you like you'll like actually hitting them and then they'll, they'll attack you back and it's stupid Ukraine this it but so okay. thank you you know what? I need some XP come here oh my god he's got some HP on him Hey, come back, you. Thank you. Uh, I'm still not even sure what to make of it. It's a lot better than on release than anyhow. Yeah, no, like the game on release was a mess. I enjoyed it and it was fun and I streamed a lot of it, but it was a mess. But the devs have kept up years of quality life fixes, bug fixes, tons of free content. And then on top of that, like, even if you, like, look at, if you've actually like, been playing the game, like, if you look at the content, a lot of it's, like, smaller incremental content, even though Lake City is pretty cool and the, the Brotherhood stuff and whatnot. Wasteland is fucking a huge update. But even if you look at all that, like, yeah, they're just small updates. They are planning a map expansion. Trizzle, what did you just swap to? The screen behind the text that I added, well, because this is just my overlay for, like, permadeath stuff. That's fucking concept art for the map expansion they're doing this year. That's crazy, in my opinion. They announced at the end of last year. Uh, I was really surprised uh, that they announced a map expansion five years after the game's been out. That's how, like, invested they are in the game. The fact that they're actually doing, like, a map expansion, like, yes. Yes. Like, that's sick, in my opinion. How did a bunch of Gatling guns... Oh, I guess that's what the, uh... I guess that's what the, um... Whatchamacallit use... The, uh, words. Cultists. Huh. All right. 
Interesting. Didn't I get a two shot? I did. Two shot bolty, huh? 34 times two. It's probably Garbo, but we'll, we'll use it for now. It's not like we're really using the regular bolty. I mean, it's considered a pistol anyways, you know? So, yeah. Uh, is it Zayton's? Uh, I don't know. We have no idea. We just know that it's going to be like the, the Shenandoah National Park area, which is somewhere in Appalachia or like attached to Appalachia. So it, I'm hoping it's like a big like map expansion to the south or the north or whatever side, you know. Um, but I don't know because the map actually like, like it's this is a stylized map compared to normal Fallout maps, which is like you looking at your pit boy, you know, that the, but this one, it ends like about on this line right here ish. Right. And then it ends kind of like just on like this side of the river, pretty much up and down the map so doing an actual like if they're gonna make a big like announcement like that it's got to be a decent sized map update personally i don't expect it more than like i i expect at most it's gonna be a something like this size you know and then up like all of this you know like maybe that size of an update at max if it <clears throat> if it's that size or bigger, I'll be happy as fuck. I mean, I'll be happy anyways, because it's more content for a game I love, but, like, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited they're just working on it, you know? Leveling up looks the same, but still kind of fused about it. Uh, what, with Fallout? With this? Um, so, leveling is different. Like, you still level up by just doing anything. Killing, cooking, questing, whatever, right? But leveling up is like you pick a point, and so you get one point per level. So you will have 50 points total when you're done to put in your special, right? The strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck, right? So this is the normal Fallout experience right there. But instead of having like a big tree to put in, I can be like, yes, uh, let's, what do we want to do? We want to put a point in uh, perception, right? So we put a point in perception. We can be like, yes, now I can pick a card. Now I could pick a perception card to go with it, or I could swap over and start doing other cards, you know? Like, for instance, I need to be getting gunsmith. So instead, I'm going to go over here, and we're going to put a point in intelligence and get gunsmith. Because this means my guns are going to break slower, and I can craft better gun plans. So I kind of need the card, right? And then I just go over here, and I equip stuff. And every handful of levels, you'll get card packs, and you'll uh, you know, break them open, and you'll get random cards. Some of them will be like animated versions of cards, which are just a, the same thing, but it's like, ooh, it's a foil edition. But uh, they functionally are the same, right? So you build your, essentially, you build as, uh, you're not locked into your build like you are in normal Fallout games. Your build is full of your cards, right? On top of that, you can respec. Once you get to a certain level, you can use terminals, which will allow you to actually rearrange or have different build loadouts for your special points as well as your cards. And then on top of that, there's also really cool stuff. For once you hit level 50, you'll start getting these l slots called legendary perk slots. And then there's these are special cards that you have available. So these cards, you have like the entire deck straight away. They'll all be level one star versions of them, but you'll have the entire deck available, but you'll probably only have like one slot, right? But for me, one good card is this one because I play permadeath, right? So if this one's like, I get a bunch of extra rad resist and I restore one rad a second, which is great. Because that means if I'm on like a permadeath character where I can't like... Uh, use mutations, or I, I I want I can use mutations, but I can't. I don't want to use right away to heal them and like lose the rad, uh, the mutation. Then I can use this, and you can see like there are multiple ranks as well. Like one useful one. This is this is like a go-to one in my opinion. If you're playing the game, honestly, this is just a great quality life card. You should probably get this. Master Infiltrator lets you auto unlock level zero stuff, but it gives you plus three to lock pick and hacking. So instead of needing to like spec into like perception or intelligence to get the hacking cards like you would traditionally because normal fallout you have to spec into hacking and lock picking and you have to do that in this game so the first time you're playing the game you're going to have to do this if you want to open stuff if it's not level zero right but uh once you hit level 50 you pick up the master infiltrator card suddenly you can open everything in the game with this one card and you don't have to sacrifice perception and intelligence cards to max those out. Really fucking useful. Um. Anyways, sorry, I've been yapping too much. What are we doing? Uh, report what we found to Dutch. It's cool. Moving on. Would anyone like to help me through the game? I'm Brain in 76. 
I mean, there's probably some other new people here. You got you tell uh, what platform you're on, you know? I mean, honestly, the game can be enjoyed plenty solo. On top of that, like, there's in-game VoIP, so some people use that and have it turned on, so you might be able to find people group up that. Like, there's a lot of new people playing. You said you're on PC, right? Like, so I'm on PC, so, like, look at uh, level 25, new player. Not a new player. Not a new player. Level 16, new player. 27, new player. 43, probably new player. Not a new player. New player. Uh, not a new player. Not a new player. Not a new player. New player. Like, there's, like, half of the server's new players, man. This is, like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Granted, it is the free week. The game is free for, like, everybody, regardless of if you, what platform or anywhere, but there's also a lot of people who buy the game for whatever, and there's probably a lot of people who are getting the Amazon Prime, like, free version, you know? So, there's that, but still, like, yeah, there's going to be plenty of, plenty of people playing, you know? What am I doing here? Uh, talking to her, not selling yeah. stuff. Fantastic. Skip, 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 they do da Hmm. Well, I wouldn't go. Could try and look, but there was this. There was also. Skip, 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 skip. do da God, but probably. There's no. Great thing about me skipping dialogue is I also am not spoiling it for new people. I tried to do a scorch beat yesterday, and I was the only level 200 plus joined to help. Oh, you're on, on yesterday, only one level 200 plus joined to help. Entire server's level 20s. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, so there are donation boxes in a couple different locations. There's a donation box, like, right outside 76, but it looks like this thing, if you're curious. And there's a donation box right here. Now, this one's gonna have, like, random stuff. Like, if there's nothing in the box, I'm pretty sure it'll randomly spawn stuff for you. So, like, these things will usually not be empty. But, uh, up here specifically, like, high-level people go to this junk box, or the, the donation box, to drop off stuff for newbies. So, when you fresh out the vault, like, check the, check the box up there, you know? For sure. Anyways, um, oh, talk to Mort. Man, I already did that shit. Man, I guess I didn't fucking let it complete. That's annoying. Anything else? What? Yeah, I gotta hit that. I have everything I need Take option. Care. Whatever, man. There we go. Uh, how many fusion cores is too many fusion cores? Because I've just gotten on and I have 42. So, I think you, I asked you earlier, you use obviously fusion cores for your power armor, right? Um, do you also use a lot of Gatling lasers to go with it? If it's just power armor, way too fucking many. Hey, you'll be appreciate the 107 months, dude. Um, yeah, that's way too fucking many, dog. Always Vigilant? What the hell is that quest? I want to go up there and do that thing. I don't, have, have I never seen that quest? What is Always Vigilant? How have I never seen that? Is that a... There's no way that's a new one. That's something I have to ignore all the time, right? Uh, I'm just using power armor, but I'm going to just continue using the Gatling until I get a better one. Okay. Yeah, uh, you probably need like 10 tops on you. So first off, you if you have three extra intelligence points, you could put on batteries not included because that is lowering the weight of energy ammo and fusion cores energy ammo right so if you get batteries not included that will definitely help you out um obviously it's not gonna help your stash right oh no please don't attack me hopefully i was a non-vengeful one that's some fucking moth man out in the wild i'm not hearing any combat music i think that was just the fucking lurking one I wanted this event i've never done this one i can't remember it i've probably done it but i can't recall what it is why am i using a pistol 
because I can. Uh oh, Flatwoods monster. Bro, a Mossman into a Flatwood monster? Like, what the fuck is this? I can't tell if he's making this guy evil or not. Because the his, the purple thing is how uh, he there he is right there. You can see the top of his head. It's level 28. Oh, he's 20. Okay, it's not bad. Um, I kind of want to fight him, but like. Ain't no way we're hitting that shit. Is he gonna run away or is he gonna aggro? He's gone. Okay. Yeah, if he was the uh, the mythical one, I think the mythical one stays a fight. I think the regular one runs. Um. I mean, you pistol because I'm low, low level. I don't have any good weapons. <sighs> Pretty simple. Got 11 cores on my person and I can theory dump the rest in the stash. Yeah, definitely do that. On top of that, um, remind me when I'm done with this event. I got some more tips for you. Ooh. Warning. Dr. Over. This is Nita huh. Singh on an automated priority message. Oh, I've done this before, but I've done another part of the map. Okay, interesting. To bring the relay tower communication uplink back online. I repeat, the rover unit is damaged and requires immediate repairs. Please gather the necessary repair materials and proceed to the appropriate relay tower for the immediate assistance. Yeah, I've done something before. This is where like a, a dude has like an automated sequence for a robot to repair. Resealing insulators. The only thing I kind of hate the 76 is performance. I can make and run it on the same license, but I have. It only definitely is no is in my hardware. Yeah, uh, I have some information for you. Give me a little bit, Dumble. Someone fixed their shit earlier, uh, and they and they had. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think their specs were like. Restoring I don't remember what the specs were, but they definitely had like a comparable setup to you. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we got some stuff to fix you. The question is, are you on the Microsoft version or the Steam version? It sounds like you're on the Microsoft version. If you have those bad performance issues. Steam version, okay. Uh, in that case, there's an I and I tweak that you can do to usually get you that figured out. I think also people have said the boardless version sometimes kills their frame rate. Did you start playing recently, Dumbledank, or uh, have you been playing for a while? Because if you started playing recently, that explains why you haven't fixed it. Because you can definitely get good performance. You can see my frame rate in the top right. I have like 100 FPS, and I have like a shittier CPU. I say shittier. I have two gens behind on CPU because I have a 2700KF, and I have a 3060Ti, which is still below you on graphics card. So you should have much better performance than I do. Unless you're like crazy. Actually, no. Even someone earlier, you yesterday was talking about widescreen getting fixed up. It'll be locked at 165. I have to cap it, but certain places will drop to 90. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you have fine performance. It's just, yeah. So that's, okay, never mind. You have, okay, your performance isn't broken. You're just experiencing the joy of a unoptimized Bethesda product. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. Never mind. I got nothing to tell you. You probably got to figure it out. Good. That means I can keep playing. Uh, do you have the bug? I'm just locked trying to get in power armor. Hmm. I'm just logging it out. Your power armor, like, so unless it's not your suit, like, if it's a random suit in the world you're trying to get for the first time, I would just say just logging it out, man. Because, uh, your power armor, if it's yours, like, if you're hitting, like, the dropping it from your character into the world to step into it, it'll just get sucked into your inventory after a minute if you're not getting into it. So, logging out, it'll just automatically, like, collapse back into you. I don't really use power armor, so I've never like experienced like those bugs. I've done the thing to set medium, tweak some options, and uh, I get Bethesda the poop, but barely release some performance though. 
Oh yeah, no, 100%. The game on release was terrible performance, like without a doubt. Like sure, I was on a, a much crappier PC back then, but it's still just like, yeah, nah. I remember it getting better over time on my older rig anyways. My performance was utter garbage and they have his golf place. Really? I don't remember it being that bad. But that was a long time ago. That was five years ago. So, I don't know. Yeah, the White Springs was definitely not great. Alright, uh, so someone was asking about fusion cores. So, I don't, I'll, we can check if it's available real quick here. Let me turn down the audio for the menu music so I don't get fucking DMCA claimed on my YouTube version of this. But there should be a thing you can get, which this is something I think you should get straight away if it's available. I don't know if it's available right now, but you need to check if it is. Camp. Let's see. Because um, you earn atoms for just playing the game, right? Just do it like literally if you're new to the game, by the way, just do stuff. Literally just do stuff. You'll get free currency to use in the store, right? Like if you go to challenges and go to like character, like literally just reaching level 20 will get you stuff. Like explore, like, okay, this is all, I've done a lot of these, right? But like survival shit, you know? Like collect different herbs, you'll get atom points. Harvest stuff, you'll get atom points. Like literally just doing stuff and you'll get, uh, you'll get atoms, right? And it, they go, it, they just look at, look at these categories. They just keep going on and on and on. Some of them are account wide, but most of them are character wide, you know? So you can just farm stuff that way, right? So don't be like, Chisel, you're showing me a thing I gotta pay for money for. No, you don't. Just play the game. But something you need to look for in here, uh, if it's available, I don't know if it's available right now, but there is a thing called a Fusion Core Recharger, and it is amazing, and you need to get it if you're a Power Armor user, in my opinion. I mean, there's other ways to go about powering your stuff, and I'm going to talk about it in a second. But to get you started, this is definitely useful. Because that means you can just toss away all those crappy cores. And then you, all you have to do is just pay attention whenever your core is about dead, and then you just swap it out. At least for weapons. Um, hmm, I think it's going to be under utility, if anything. Let's keep scrolling down. Okay, we're in utility now. There it is, right there. Modern Home Fusion Core Charger. I don't know if this is going to be available for you. Obviously, I already own it, so it shows up there. If this is available, you should get this. It's super useful. You can put up to four fusion cords in it, and it'll just recharge them over time, hooked up to your base. That said, there are some perk cards that will help you out for recharging your armor. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a legendary card, which means you gotta be level 50, but it's called... Electric Absorption. 10% chance energy damage will recharge your power armor fusion core and restore health. This card would be huge if you're a power armor user. Get this thing. Suddenly, you don't need all those in your stash, and you can keep a couple on you. Oh no, my power core is getting low. What am I going to do? Go find a laser turret somewhere, and it'll juice you up. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not a power armor user, and I haven't used power armor as, like, as like a main character thing since they put in legendary cards but i know uh like they're like fallout 76 youtubers who like swear by that kind of stuff and have zero issues with that shit so yeah like weight issues with power armor fusion cores like the game has so many good quality life features these days that you don't need to deal with that stuff you know like if you're new sure it's gonna suck but eventually you can just get the uh batteries detected uh in card and it'll help you out for sure That'll be very nice. Man, I am not getting any good cards from the packs. It's really annoying. Um, let's get a... Let's just get Gunsmith out of the way, honestly. Do I need Fallout Plus into the game? No, not at all. I don't have Fallout Plus, and I play a lot. Keep in mind, though, I don't play the normal game like most people do. I play Permadeath, as you can see from the top left corner of the screen. That's, that's, not, that's not game rules. Those are my overlay to let y'all know what we're doing. Um, I delete my character when I die. Like earlier, I died. I deleted a character. Sometimes my characters last for weeks or months. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't play the normal game, so I don't really feel the need to do that. Some people are definitely going to get to the point early on where they're going to be like, but my storage. Uh, in which case, you've got to start re-evaluating what you keep for storage. Because they don't give you a ton of storage, but they let you keep 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds is a lot. Um, scrapping junk all the time will definitely fill that up. But, and you are, you are going to feel it eventually. That said, if you do feel the need to get Fall First eventually, you can get it for one month and be good to go. Because what Fall First does, besides like the 
having your own private server or setting up your own, your own custom server. Um, the big thing is the scrap storage and I guess the ammo storage box. The ammo storage box wasn't a thing when I had it last, but it's been introduced. Anyways, the scrap and ammo storage boxes are specifically Fallout First boxes that have unlimited storage for the specific items. And obviously, if you played Fallout 4, you know, running everywhere, seeing like a desk fan, you grab it, you scrap it, because you love those screws, you know, and all of that shit, right? So, oh, where am I going? I need to go northwest. Duh. We need to go up here. Um, honestly, I should probably go get ready to go get ready for Mothman again. It's not going to take me 15 minutes to get there, though. I guess I could clear stuff along the way. I think that's a plan. I think we go hit Mothman, then we zigzag up that way. So I think we just clear stuff along the way. Um, that said, Fallout First is like half off right now. And I don't have like, uh, I'm not even, I, I, Bethesda's never talked to me, you know? So I don't have like a, buy it for my link to get half off. This isn't me shilling for it. I'm just letting you know, like if you do feel the need to get it, I think for like the next month or so, it's half off on Steam or on some places it's half off. I don't know, 100% where it, how, what the deals for all those are. But um, if you do get Fallout First, during the one month of you actually having it, scrap everything you can. Jam that scrap box full with everything because when that month is up and you unsubscribe You will still have access to that box But you just can't add new stuff to it So during that one month you obviously pull all your scrap out of your main storage and put it in the junk box, right? And then during that one month while you're playing you take everything and you just just cram it in that motherfucker. It's gonna be a clown card. That's where your scrap box is. You just cram that bitch in. And once you unsubscribe after that one month, anytime you craft, it will still automatically pull from that box. Um, so that's how you like min max your Fallout first. I've only ever had Fallout first for one, maybe two months. And uh, I, I rarely ever need to like go hunt specific resources on my main character or my alts that aren't like perma characters. So, I don't think 70, uh, Fallout First is needed. I definitely think it'll make life easier for you once you've gotten used to the game. But by the time you're, like, unless you're hoarding just unreasonable amounts of loot, you're probably not going to be playing enough to really feel it for a while. And if you're playing enough to feel like you should sub for one month for first, at that point you've been playing a lot and it may be at that point it's worth it. I don't know though. I don't have Fallout First, like I said, but that's because I play Permadeath pretty much only. Occasionally, like, there's new content and I'll play that, or if someone chats like, Hey, Shizzle, I need help with the nuke or whatever. Which I hasn't happened in, like, a long time, but, you know, if someone really needs it, I can do that, but... For the most part, it's like, I don't really need that because I don't play on main characters. I'm constantly, like, you know, keeping an eye on all that stuff for me. So, I don't know. My opinion is kind of biased on whether or not you need it. A lot of people will definitely be like, hey, uh... No, you definitely need it, and, you know, that's their perspective. Uh, I think uh, if you get to the point where you feel like you need it, and you've been playing a while, then it's like you got to make that informed decision. But if you're still new to the game, you definitely don't need it yet. Because that means you're just hoarding too much stuff. Well, the biggest thing I can say to do is uh, do what I'm about to do right now. Anytime you're playing the game, always look for any kind of bench. Crafting benches is what I mean by bench, right? You want to see a bench? Hey, Mormick, appreciate that fresh prime sub. Oh, thank you. Can you die, please? We'll get away from that truck. Oh, that truck's going to go up. It's going to go up in a little bit, but still. That's nah, going to go up too slow. I was going to blow it up on the guy, but... Um, but yeah, whenever you're playing the game, this is the easiest way to deal with storage issues. Besides not hoarding a bunch of legendaries that are useless. Anytime you're walking around the game, you see a bench, you stop off, you hit whatever the middle option is. Because I don't know if you're on console or PC, but if you're on PC, it's R. You hit R, scrap all, junk, boom, watch my store with space. Hey, look at that, it's lost three pounds. Easy, easy peasy. Because by doing that, you're taking any junk the raw version and you're scrapping it down like this metal bucket here this is again this is just fallout uh, new stuff if you've never played like four at this point right but for instance that bucket i just grabbed metal bucket 0.6 pounds but when you scrap it only yields one steel so we go boom we hit scrap all junk 
Oh look, that bucket's gone now. It's not in my inventory. But the one steel we got weighs only 0 0.05. So we went from a little over half a pound to a twentieth of a pound. So you always want to be scrapping stuff unless it's like a specific thing that you need for some whatever reason. But anytime you see a bench, always just walk up, hit scrap. You know? And that way when you're throwing stuff into your stash, it will be uh, less weight in the stash. That's that's a big thing that new players could definitely be doing. How long do we have? We got nine minutes to get over here. We should probably start moseying on over. Uh, Mormick again, appreciate that prime sub. Everybody for chilling today, I appreciate all y'all. The uh, It's been great fucking playing 76, obviously, because I just love Fall in general, right? But uh, the recent influx of new people interested in the game has been really nice, because everyone's pretty, pretty cheerful as well. I love it. So, appreciate y'all hanging out with me. We'll be going for a while today, so, you know, if you're bored on Sunday right now, uh, grab a snack, pull up a seat. We ain't going nowhere. But I am live uh, Friday through Tuesday here, so if you've been enjoying the stream, you know, don't be a stranger. As a new player, you won't need that much. Yeah, they're very generous to new players with the amount of ammo and whatnot they give you. Plus the contextual ammo drops they added in, like, you're not, you know, you'll be okay. It's different. Like, the game, when it came out back in the day, was rough. Like, they didn't give you, like, an extra 500 rounds for your 10 mil straight out the gate. They did not. Like, you would routinely be running out of ammo straight away. It was really annoying. Uh, <laughs> like, between not having contextual ammo drops and hardly giving, excuse me, giving you any ammo, if you potatoed, it would be rough. On top of that as well, enemies wouldn't scale to you. That was added with the One Wasteland update, which I think came just after or just before the Wastelanders update. Because One Wasteland made it so mob scaled to you. Like, initially, this area was like a level, like, 1 to 5 area, then like a fucking 5 to 10 area, you know, and so on. Like, mobs were, like, specifically, like, set and leveled up. Now they scale to you. Because previously, like, once you pass, like, level 20, there was, like, nothing to do out in the starter area, for the most part. Um, like, you'd come out here, and you'd get some XP, but because they're much lower level than you, you'd be getting not much XP. But now everything scales up with you, which is nice. Up to a point, obviously. Like, the max level for stuff out here is going to be level 50. But if you go out here, like, the minimum level is going to be, like, level 20 and so on. So there are, obviously, limitations and, like, you know, caveats to that. But still, so the scaling that they've done to the game, like, man, they've done so many great quality of life things to this game over the years. Like, it's just, it's really good. What they need, though, is good PvP. What they need is to hire me, Bethesda, so I can make a good PvP or an extraction mode for this. I'm just saying. They they proved they can have amazing PvP in 76 with Nuke the Winner, but then you took it away. You said you're going to give me something to replace it, and you haven't done it, Bethesda. What are you doing? I feel bad I somehow put away all my stems and kept dying in daily ops. Oof. <laughs> well, you know, that happens. Steel is probably the easiest to get. Yeah. My my thing about that was I wasn't, like, saying, hey, take steel from everything. It's, uh, cr it's the lesson of crunch everything down to maximize storage because if you're carrying around the raw components, those are potentially 10x... 20x heavier than the actual just like the raw components it'll break down into you know it's called private worlds oh yeah private worlds are amazing I can't wait to what exactly I don't know what am I gonna do with private worlds Random little bear cookout. With the gnome watching. He likes to watch. Yeah, Private Worlds was a disappointment. I thought we could actually do like hosted servers like you can with like Daisy and stuff. Because if you could do that, then you'd have full options and you could I could make it into a Daisy like game, you know? Um 
but that's not it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure some people love private worlds and just, like, play the crap out of them. The fact that you can do, like, the whole, like, hey, no building limit, you know? Like, no size limit for camps and whatnot. Like, I've seen, like, a, only a couple screenshots, but I have seen people go crazy with that. And, like, they, they took over, like, Watoga with their base, which is awesome. Uh, that said, though, you know, eh, eh, I don't know. It's it's a it's a good in concept execution's not what I'm into you know. I only ever use private worlds when I needed to capture workshops. Well, that's just the private server. That's not private worlds. Worlds are like your own rules that you can that's set up for it. Nitrous, gone. fresh sub. Thank you, dude. I don't. I mean, I'm not deserving of that, but I appreciate you. Enjoy your backpack skin if that's what you're doing it for. I think I piddled with a total grand uh with it for a grand total like 15 minutes and never tried it again. Oh, with the private worlds? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't even think I've had first since they introduced those. So, I don't know. Um, I think the concept behind them is cool, but the fact that, like, you have to be on the server for it to stay up is really annoying. Like, if I could, like, hey, this is Shizzle's community server. If you join the community server, it's full loot PvP, baby. Uh, have fun, you know? Like, I would love that, and if it could stay up. Then, but I don't, I don't think I could fill a server for like a PvP server, especially with the player cap only being 24. I have to be like a community one, and then it turns into like potential stream sniping and shit. And it's just like, eh, yeah, nah. it's a weird mess, right? But uh, it would at least be interesting to have that option. But the fact is, like, it's their servers and they go offline when you log off. It's really annoying. Like, I don't know. I haven't fiddled with the options because why would I do that? You know, like I, uh, there's no point in doing it because they don't have enough as far as like being able to have it hosted yourself you know or just have it stay online the fact that it goes offline when you're done is really just it's it's one of the death knells for it really because if you could do that then it'd be a different story then you might have people who like hey you know uh we can have some pvp although to be fair i don't think you can be like ah yes nuclear winner pvp balance you know i don't think that's a server option but at least you could try and come up with something that might be entertaining for you and your group of people that can access it, you know? But, not the case. Uh, always enjoying your content, just hanging out. Hey, well, appreciate you, dude. Yeah, now no ads. Yeah, sorry for the ads, folks. I hate having to jam those down people's throats, but uh, I don't have a lot of subs. I've never really had a lot of subs, to be fair, for how long I've been streaming. But, uh, yeah, Twitch uh, really has been pushing the ads for a while back, so they actually made it, like, you know worthwhile for me to cram them down your throats. Uh, I hate having to do it, but that's what it is. So. I don't blame y'all at all if you get uh, ad block and stop that stuff. But personally, I would say if you're not into the ad block stuff and hunting down how to keep that under check, uh, Turbo is definitely worthwhile if you watch a lot of Twitch. A lot of people don't know about Twitch Turbo. Twitch Turbo uh, gives you no ads across the entire website. It's like 12 bucks a month or whatever, wherever your local currency converts it to. I don't know. Um, but that that's like all you really get. You get like some, some chat color stuff, and I guess if you stream, and if you're not a partner, you get to keep your VOD for 60 days. But the biggest thing is for Turbo is no ads across the entire website. So as much as like subbing to me or any individual streamer will give you no ads there, if they have that turned on, which most everyone does. It'd be weird if they don't. Turbo is like if you spend a lot of hours on Twitch each month, you know, then it's like Turbo isn't that bad, you know, value proposition. Turbo icon, yep, it's a little battery icon. Honestly, Twitch made to make ad block such a burden somehow. Then I just got Turbo. Yeah, that's what I did as well. It was like right when they took away, uh, or maybe not right when, but like they took away. Because Twitch Prime used to give you no ads across the entire website and a free Gather sub. Children, God damn, I'm going to get talked over again because this fucker. Climb to his throne and let us discuss the details of the ritual. Oh, good. Uh, but yeah, after they took away Prime from, or they took away no ads from Prime, uh, eventually they started combating like the ad blockers and whatnot and it was like a back and forth for months with uh, people making like different extensions or like updating scripts for engines and I just got tired of trying to like, keep up with that shit to try and deal with it so I just bought Turbo they won they won the battle whatever to be fair I watch a lot of Twitch 
Like, I should, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be considering I fucking, quote, work here. But, uh. No, there's some actual good streams out here. Not mine, but, like, there's some actual good stuff to watch occasionally, you know? So it's like, alright, fine, I'll pause on the other monitor. We got one. We got two high levels and a low level. I'm gonna go stand over there and be ready to hit the button just in case. I'm waiting for more people show up. There. there we go. I got look at that. More people showing. Nice. Yeah, that's the great thing. You would think YouTube would be all about like fixing their ad blocker, uh, but they don't. <laughs> I love it. I need to fix my backpack. I don't like having this newbie backpack. The t children, listen well. Three fires have been placed throughout the wise one's home. Their light is a vital catalyst to our ritual. The dim ones have All right, let's check. Before we're a little over halfway to 15. Destroy halfway to 16. Their minds encircling each pyre Turn off the backpack visual then? Proceed. No, I like the backpack visual. Each I just need to remember to update it. So I use the Secret Service backpack because it looks like the coyote from the Daisy. Only have been destroyed will the observers instruct you on your next task. Hurry now, children. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. Yeah, I usually, uh, well, I need to make a better backpack anyways, because I can make a level 10 version now, right? Which will give me an increase, because this is a level 1 version, right? But I typically, whenever I make my, uh, ghillie suit on a fresh character, I usually change the skin, uh, of whatever starter backpack to the Secret Service one. Because the Secret Service one, I don't know if you can get it anymore. I feel like it might have been only during, like, one of those seasons a while back. Is that one already damaged? It's like, what's going on with that thing? Hitting the wire? I am hitting the wire, okay. I don't think we're hitting both shots, because this is, uh, not VATS. We hit both of with that one. I swear the wire's got like a giant hitbox, man. Is it an actual collision? I can jump on it? No. Okay. This thing sucks. I'm selling it off. I was like, ah, two shot bolty. This could be cool. Nope. It's terrible. Yeah, it's garbage. Oh, it's in the store now? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was from a super old season. So it doesn't, it, you know, makes sense, I guess. It might never have been a seasonal thing. It might have just been like a blueprint. No, if it was a blueprint, I wouldn't be account wide. Uh, is it easy getting play 76 on any guides or anything? Yes. The only thing I should say for any new player, regardless of your platform, go into your settings, go into game, and go into pacifist mode and turn it on. Because it's pretty rare you're going to find an asshole in 76 because community is really fucking nice across the board. But. Occasionally, there might be somebody who like walks in front of your gun at an event or whatever to try and like make you shoot them. That means that they can then decide to shoot you whenever they want. Because the way PvP works, at least vanilla PvP, like, is if that person wanted to PvP me, they would have to shoot me. I would get a notification that they shot me and that they want to PvP, and then I would have to shoot them back, and then normal damage would engage, right? And then we could actually PvP. Otherwise, not gonna happen. The people still exist, but they're rare. But there are people who will like try and step in front of your guns to like trigger PvP. So if you're new to the game, just turn on pacifist mode. Because realistically, the basic game PvP is boring and unbalanced and terrible. Because there are people who've been playing for years and years and years and years and years. And they have mid-max build as well. And they'll just kill you in a couple seconds or less. So 
don't bother with PvP. Um, it's not good. There was a nuclear winter mode, which was the battle royale mode, and it was sick. And that was balanced because it was like a whole separate mode that was balanced specifically for PvP. It wasn't perfect, and there was balance issues, sure. But compared to main game, the PvP in the main game hasn't been fun for like the first couple months of the game. The first couple months, it was great because the game was new and fresh. But uh, since then, the PvP's been boring and shit. The ritual site had been so, prepared. that's the just the only little tip. Savage X can definitely be enjoyed without it, though. You can play it solo as much as you want. You can been. group with random people for XP buffs. Go you can group and just join them for stuff. You can go to big events like I'm doing right now. So, a bunch of people, as you can see, are playing as well. The and they're going to be doing objectives. And collectively, you'll work towards whatever it is. Which, which this case, is a uh, defense mission, you know? Kind of. But, uh, yeah. Ah, yes. You don't you don't need guides at all. It can be enjoyed plenty as is. Ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But prepare yourselves, for the heretic demons will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. Frenzy. You must protect our sacred knights, the fires, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The dim ones approach the church. Slay them, children. Offer no quarter. The bridge's pyre is the heretic's next target, children. You must keep it safe. Bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see before you must die. No matter its shape, man or beast, these twisted shadows all serve the will of the false one. I think I'm going to go help with the bridge one. I shouldn't because I know Deathclaw spawn over here. Oh, hello. But uh, I'm going to go over here and help out with this one. Oh, I've never actually walked through this. This is cool. Oh, well, I'm trapped. Okay, let's turn around. Never mind. It's not cool. What I need to do is get up on the bridge. The ones are headed toward the waterside fire, children. You must protect it. Okay, there's two people over here. Uh, someone's gonna hit waterside. I guess I'll go to waterside as well. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. Pistol socks, dude. Ooh, legendary. Three star. Hey, that's some loot, baby. Like the looks of that.
Bro, this sucks having this low end gear, man. I missed my pistol from last character. Do you feel it? There we go, it's over. The wise one draws near. Three star spear. Wow, what a piece of shit. Quickly, children. Return to me. Whatever. It's something. We must invite him to us to show him our love and our gratitude. Dance, oh yeah, trap bases sing, are a thing. Shout, they're they're pretty rare. But trap bases are very much a thing. You have accepted our invitation. Allow the wise one to gaze upon you. Alright. North East. Infinite wisdom. Uh wait, I just got here. Did the circuit break your character die? Yep. Start the stream. I died here, actually. I died right in that church. I was not watching my health. I was fighting mobs because occasionally the mobs will start spawning at like level 40, even though I was level 30. Um and uh there's like only one other person in the church and they weren't doing insane damage. They're doing more than me, but they weren't doing insane damage. And uh, they got insta-killed from something, probably when a bunch of the high levels show up. And uh, I was like, wait, where'd they go? Because I saw a red X over their name, so they were respawning in, and then I noticed my I just kind of got knocked out. I wasn't dead, so they could have rezzed me, but they came back and they were only in the room for like three or four seconds. So I think they would have been like specifically coming back to res me if to that character were to live, but they weren't in the room very long. It kind of looked like they may have been kind of coming close to get me when I actually like killed over after the 30 second timer But I was like up on a, like a little barricade. So uh, Yeah It's a bummer Yeah, yep But hey, uh, I, this character has a no mutation handicap, so uh, It's kind of kind of rough kind of suck but hey at least I don't have to hunt for serums on this character and keep getting cucked as people log off right uh, hey hey okay anyways but yeah trap bases are very much a thing but uh, they're pretty rare so that's why I also say like every time you're by a stash you always drop off your junk because that's the only thing that's gonna happen when you die all of like your craft materials that you've been scrapping or any of the ROM stuff, it all, this whole category will drop into one little bag and other players could pick that up, right? Now, most of the people who actually like go after PvP, they probably don't care about their supplies, but then they, if they're doing that, it wouldn't surprise me if someone do yoink that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you impose a no mutation handicap on this new guy? Yes. Uh, so obviously the rules on the top left corner of the stream, those are like, that's the, the bare minimum for every character. But then when I roll a new character, I roll the roulette wheel, and we get a fresh modifier. This particular character rolled the hardest difficulty, in my opinion, which is the no mutations. I normally always pick someone who's downed, but due to having to watch these primary streams, I have to do it just in case. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of anybody else doing permadeath. So, I mean, there, there's probably some people who do it. I don't know. I haven't seen other streamers do it. But, uh, yeah, yeah. You never know, man. You never know. Someone else out there might be doing perma, so it's like, hey, save their character, you know? Save the cheerleaders, save the world, or, I don't know, whatever that is. Yeah, no, the, the, the guy from yesterday died at the start of the stream today, within, like, the first hour or two. So this is a new character. We are only level 17. We are I hate events because I went to an event and I died like an idiot because I was not paying attention. Sorry, I was drinking some water there. 
It's kind of wild how the streams have been going for four hours today. <clears throat> Doesn't feel like I've been going for four hours. Jesus, how much HP you have, doggo? God damn. I need a better pistol, man. This thing sucks. Yeah, this thing's gotta go. Terrible, terrible fucking setup. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's kind of wild <clears throat> how uh, <laughs> even just playing 76 has exploded overnight. Because, like, sure, you know, Twitch is like, I mean, you know, it's obvious if you're a regular here, you can see. But even just like, I'm, all, I'm not even halfway through the stream today, and uh, I'm already at like 100 views on the YouTube stream, which is like, what? Not viewers, but just views collective, right? Because uh, YouTube, like, keeps track. Like, I can see concurrent as well as chat, obviously, but, like, it it counts a tally of, like, the actual views. And, like, 100 is, like, the average of, like, after an entire stream or, like, a good or, you know, slightly better stream, you know? It's kind of weird. I mean, I'm okay with this. Don't get me wrong. I'm down for some follow hype, you know? But, uh, <laughs> it's like, okay. Sure. Sure. Bye. I don't know. Just a Look, I'm not supposed to observation is all. I'm sure most people don't give a fuck. And that's fine. Appreciate y'all hanging out regardless, though. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, though. Part of me, like, I love that they dropped Fallout, the show, all the way in, like, one bingeable, you know, like, go. On the flip side, I'm like, ah. I'm already done with it, man. Like, now there's no, like, week to week, you know? And, uh, I feel like if they did it week to week, what, it was eight episode series, right? That's two months, you know? Unless they do, like, a two episode premiere. It's still just under two months. It's gonna be so long before we get season two, man. So long. Post show blues? Yeah, pretty much. Old world blues, post world show blues, same thing. I treat like a movie? Yeah, an eight hour movie. Yeah. It's good though. Ooh, we got a legendary over here. I can see them infected by the cultist dude. I feel like every cultist I see is at least a two star. I'm okay with this, honestly. Because he could drop some good shit. It's a two-star. My god, he's got a lot of HP there. Oh, he's gonna fight him. Yeah, get him. Fuck his shit up. Scorched, get him. There we go. I was hoping that would happen. Ooh, plasma pistol. Hey, all right. I'll take that. Ghoul Slayer Plasma Bash Damage. Well, it's a useless second star, but you know. Thank you for the ammo. We gotta. We got. They only gave me six shots with this thing to get it. You know, so we gotta work our way up. We gotta lock point blank on these bastards and. Doo -doo. Oh, look, I got some more ammo now. Hello. Ooh, a level 15. Yes, thank God. Finally got a fucking upgrade, dude. 
I don't know why I'm picking up all this garbo. Ooh, we got a marksman sniper too. I didn't realize we picked one up on those. Fuck yeah, buddy. Power fist? Okay, that's useless. I mean, I'm not technically build restricted, so I could use that. I mean, I'm not level 30, obviously, but still. Get these throwing knives out of my inventory. We will unfavorite you. We will favorite you and then you. And now we should be able to do, well, hang on. Uh, one. Shit. Fuck, we gotta undo it all. Okay, one, two, three. Beautiful. Duct tape, very good. Ooh, wonder glue. Thank you. Scrap them. I think I need to find a bed. I think I need a sleep buff. Speaking of, beautiful. You had a non-legendary yesterday though? Yeah, I did have one of those. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. That was a little weird. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a rewatch of the show soon. I'm gonna finish up Tokyo Vice first, because I've got I think three more episodes of that, but I'll probably hopefully finish that in the next couple days here. I am definitely doing the uh Rewatch soon because I it was good, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch more, I'm sure, by doing a rewatch. Go watch Silo. I did. I watched Silo. I'm not sure if you were the one who suggested. I feel like someone in chat suggested it quite a while back, like right. Like it was like maybe a few episodes in or halfway in. I feel like I was watching. I think I was watching weekly for some of that. I don't remember if I, I don't think I binged at all. I may have binged like the first couple that were out, but yeah, no, I watched that essentially right after it came out or while it came out. And uh, Silo was good, in my opinion. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I liked what they had going on there. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was pretty good. It'll be interesting to see if they do a season two or uh, what they do for season two because it, they definitely left it off like they're could and should be a season two but i could also see them ending it like there so i don't know it's apple apple does they take forever for sometimes for their shows like severance where the fuck is season two of severance huh oh but covid oh but rider strike shizzle shut up i want my fucking show damn it severance is good love that show What about Fallout Prime? Just seen one episode. Looks great. <laughs> Have I seen Fallout Prime? Exclamation point show. Yes, I've seen it. It's good. I love it. I'm not talking about it. And I don't want anybody in the stream talking about it for spoiler reasons. I mean, you can, you can general opinions, obviously. Fine. But I don't want people, like, getting spoiled. Like, last thing I want is to be talking about it and then spoiling shit for people. And then I don't want people in chat being, like, talking about it and then spoiling shit for someone who's reading chat and hopping in, you know? So... Is, that's a, it's not quite a fight club thing, but it's almost fight club. It's a bunch of random fucking creepy mannequins just chilling. Yeah, the show was amazing. Uh, we do have a spoiler discussion channel in the Discord, if you're in there. Uh, then you can talk about it in there. I'll talk about it on the, sh on the stream eventually, but it's going to be probably at least a good month or two before I do that. Give people time to go through it, you know? Good to see a guy from Severance in Fallout. He's had great performance in both. Uh, now I'm trying to remember who. Can't remember who now. Shit. Oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> it's just floaters, but still that scared the fuck out of me, dude. Did they even not spawn? Oh, no, they're there. Okay. That's what that noise is. It's like the floaters, like, getting ready to aggro you noise. If you're ever curious what those little particle effects are, chat, that's what they are. They're floaters. If you, like, get too close, they will aggro and pop out of the ground. That's the no noise they normally make when they get out. Normally, I thought there's supposed to be one of each element here, but I don't know where the fire one's at. Can't even loot that guy. Whatever, he gave me the XP. 
Anyways, back what we were doing. Let's see, what level are we? 17? Oh yeah. Doing this quest. We should be getting close to 20 by the time we get back down here. That will be nice. Um... I think we just get our gunslinger perks, honestly. Or our gunsmith perks, because we need those. My other half is a huge Fallout fan. Why I got into playing 7-6 in the first place is been down there. Watching her face light up the things the show is amazing. Yeah. Uh, this show had so many, like, amazing moments. Uh, actually, this, the entire thing through, like, was just a love letter to the Fallout franchise. But on top of that, apparently it's also pretty accessible for people who aren't into Fallout, from what I've been hearing in a couple of different places. So that's cool. I watched a, uh... <laughs> my YouTube algorithm is already fucked. Like, I, literally just making one... Ye like Fallout impressions like re review thing because I did that I talked about it on the stream yesterday or the day before and I made it into like a YouTube video I, I just I just, like, just chopped it and then tossed it up with the thumbnail right literally just doing that has fucked my YouTube algorithm though oh it's a star well then that's not good two star loot him quickly and run Gotta go. <gasps> Quad explosive pipe pistol! Yo, that's actually good! What the fuck? It's low level, so it's gonna be shit after a little bit, but that's cool. Okay, it's not bolty as well, it's a pistol. Damn. Damn. Okay. Okay. And boom. Boom. Did it blow up? Did I not hear it? Don't tell me he's not going to blow up. Whatever. I don't care. Um. Yeah, I watched the whole show, man. I watched the first two episodes the first night, and uh, I watched the, the six afterwards. Oh, yeah. I was going to go talk about it earlier, but I got sidetracked. I, probably because my character died. So, funny story. The, what, for the Fallout show, they did, like, a special, like, hey, watch it live on Amazon. And there's, like, a pre-show where they do, like, some trivia and shit. And then they, because they, they, like, advertise on Twitter a little bit. We're like... They have like an exclusive shirt where it has like, I survived the apocalypse and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, but it has like some Fallout fonts and on the front it has like a, just a Fallout logo, right? So it's a snazzy little shirt, right? And I don't have any Fallout merch, so I was like, oh, hey, I want to try and get there so I can win one of those shirts or buy one, right? Um, and during the, like the live premiere thing, which took a while to turn on because it was just so buggy and like down because there's too many people trying to watch the thing. Eventually, I managed to get it to come online or it just came online on its own. And I scanned the QR code for the shirt the second time through, because the first time through, I missed it. I didn't have my phone with me when I was watching it. So I had the phone out ready to scan the QR code, because it like, scanned the code for, for the shirt. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to be free or whatever. Apparently, it might have been like a $10 shirt from what I was seeing afterwards in like a Reddit thread. Um, but I went there and it said unavailable. And I didn't know if it was like, oh, the show was supposed to come out on the 11th, not the 10th, like it was, because it came out a day early. So I was like, oh, uh, maybe the shirt's not actually out yet, you know? So I waited, and I kept refreshing it throughout the first couple episodes, and then I went to bed, right? And then I refreshed it actually before I went to bed. And then I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had the website open on my phone and refreshed it. It wasn't available. Next day, still not available. And then, like, come morning, still not available. And I started watching the show again. I'm like, oh, man. So then, I'm like, I, I, <laughs> I, God. Listen, this is going to sound bad. I didn't intend it to come out this way, chat, Okay. Just bear with me here. I I contacted customer support and I told them the situation. I was like, hey, so is this like a you guys are out of stock thing or I got fucked because I didn't get it within like a tiny like two minute window to order them before they're out of stock kind of thing. And the dude didn't know. And he's like, hey, sorry, you went through this. Uh, Here's 20 bucks. And I thought it was going to be Amazon credit, but it was like refunded like just straight up to like my account, whatever payment method. And I was like, oh, okay. So, complaining, I got 20 bucks. And then a couple days later, I I checked and the shirt link was live again. <laughs> so, I just bought the shirt <laughs> for free. I just got it. I paid like collectively like a buck 67 for like a $20 shirt. Okay. I got it already. It's already, it's already over on my couch. Like. Hell yeah, dude. Free shirt. Fuck yeah, dude. 
I mean, it's a nice quality shirt, but like, I don't actually own any Fallout merch beyond the game, so I was like, all right, you know what? Yeah. Exclusive shirt, sure. My thing is, though, it's not the exclusive. It's still for sale right now. And I'm kind of pissed because, like, part of me is like, sure, you know, I'm not like a hipster. Like, I got to have exclusive merch. But if, like, it's a limited time thing, it's like, okay, you know, it's cool merch and it's limited. I'll get it, you know? Like, I own a first-generation, like, Twitch hoodie, you know, from when they started selling those. Like, it's a gray, like, zip-up one. And that design was, like, that was sold out really fast and they haven't sold that one again. So I was like, okay, I technically have, like, a rare Twitch hoodie as well, you know? Which, by the way, that was, it only, it took like fucking uh, 10 years of streaming before they finally sent me any actual merch for free for being a Twitch streamer, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, I had to buy that, but, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, sure. I, I, I didn't think it would come back up. I figured it was sold out, but I think, <laughs> I don't know if there's people like me complaining or whatever, but like, I think they just made it so it wasn't exclusive at that point. I don't know. I'm opening the Amazon link that I posted before on Twitter. Yep, it's still available now. I, now I feel kind of bad. It is funny though. But uh, yeah, whatever, I'll take it. It's a nice little shirt. I don't know, there's a lot of like, new like Fallout merch they put out with the show and don't get me wrong, a lot of it's really good looking, most of it is, but a lot of it's like really large like graphics on tees, and I'm not into that, I'm into like the minimalist stuff, like a small logo on the front is fine, and then like a little bit of text on the back or whatever, like that's cool, you know? My rule is uh, multinational, they can afford the loss, oh, for sure, I mean, the thing is, <laughs> Amazon's like gouged me for all kinds of shit, forget about Twitch gouging me, the fact that I could have been having higher ad rev or a sub split revenue years ago, but I had to ask for it because it was like a, un, a relatively unknown, like secret thing that it was a well kept secret, you know, forget about that for uh, just anyways. Yeah, no. So I, I don't really feel bad about it at all, but it was funny because uh, <laughs> I went through all these steps to be like, hey, you know, I, I was I wasn't looking for a refund at all because I, I didn't buy anything. I can't get a refund. And I was like, hey, so, like, is this, like, a limited stock thing or, like, am I fucked? And, uh, he's like, all right, yeah, no, you, you were there for it. You should have got some. So here, 20 bucks. I was like, oh, sweet. But then it went on sale again. I was like, all right, sweet, whatever. No one's heard from Bat. Didn't realize uh, Goggins voiced Cecil in Invincible. Wait, really? That's him? What the fuck? How did I never put that together? Bro, I love Invincible. Like, how did I never put that together? Because I nail all the other voices. The dude who plays um, Mark is the guy from Walking Dead who gets brained, you know? The guy who fucking plays uh, Omni-Man is fucking J.K. Simmons, and he's amazing. He's fucking, uh, what's-his-face from Spider-Man and, like, all kinds of other shit I've seen. Like, he's great. How did I not pick that out? Damn. Okay. Anyways. Speaking of, oh, though, uh, I was saying earlier, but I got sidetracked. I watched, uh, because of, because I put out that fucking, like, Fallout show review on YouTube, uh, my YouTube algorithm is just, like, fucked. So now I see, like, a bunch of, like, shit in my, like, suggested feed of, like, interviews with the actors behind the show and shit, or other people's reviews, and I'm like, god damn it, I'm not gonna watch other people's reviews for the most part, uh, unless it's, like, a YouTuber I know, but, um... I watched something right before I went to bed last night where, like, he was talking about how he specifically didn't play any of the games because he wanted to be, like, the one one of the people who actually didn't have the game-watching, game-played perspective, you know, for the show. I was like, huh, interesting take on that. I don't really, you know, I'm not really judging him for it. I just, like, apparently a lot of people who pl like, were on the show have actually played the games, which obviously, besides, like, the showrunners and, like, the big people behind it, they did it, but, like, apparently some of the actors as well. It's like, oh, huh, okay. Didn't really think that'd be a take someone would go for, but, you know, it worked out. I mean, Goggins fucking killed it. So, whatever he did, just keep doing it. I do think he should play it, or at least, like, watch, like, a TLDR of the lore for that, just to get a little bit of backstory now that he's, like, already in it, but, you know, eh, whatever. Uh, hey, Shows, on a handmade, is auto or single shot better? I just got an anti-armor 50 crit 20 AP to drop and not sure how to mod the gun. First off, that's a pretty good fucking roll. That's pretty solid. The minus AP and anti-armor is sick. The crit, I love if you're doing a VATS build, but some people will prefer, like, uh, the god roll for a lot of weapons is, uh, like, 
the first star is up to you, but it's like 25-25, which is usually a faster rate of fire, and then minus 25 AP, AP, AP cost, right? So for you, it depends on what your build is, right? So auto versus single is f like for commando versus rifleman. So obviously those are going to be different cards in the perception tree, right? Um, I don't have any, but they're different cards. So like you have to spec your perception cards to match whatever receiver you have, right? That said, that's a pretty solid weapon. You're going to probably like doing a VATS commando build with that thing. Um, or rifle rifleman could be good too. Um, you're probably gonna want to go commando for full auto, right? In which case you're gonna want to try and like keep like scrapping regular versions until you get like tweaked automatic receiver. What? Excuse me, tweaked automatic receiver is what you want. Because I'm pretty sure the tweaked one, at least that's what I was using on my fixer a little bit ago on my other character. Because I had a recent stealth uh, commando character. Because commando is the card that gives you damage boost for full auto rifles, right? So. Uh, I would say you're probably going to love that thing if you go a VATS commando build. So yeah, VATS cards are going to be a lot of like luck and agility and then commando cards are going to be under perception. I've only made it so far. Okay, yeah, well, that's true. What level are you or what level is the gun? Because if a gun is a max level, I would say just use it as is. Whatever it is, don't don't, don't bother with it because you, you know, it's going to get out leveled if it's not max level uh, handmade, you know? Because I've seen you around in chat before, so I don't know if you're, like, new-new to 76 or, like, um, level 45 gun. Okay, so it is a max level. Okay, yeah, that is a really great roll. Honestly, like I said, go back and I'd say commando could probably be the way to go with that one. All right, no dialogue for you. Hiding behind the lamp. He won't be able to get me. Whoop, gotcha. Hey, speaking of handmaids, nice. I only got seven shots though, but yeah, um, handmaids are nice, man. You can get some really cool skins from them as well. Oh yeah, we got the fucking quad explosive. I completely forgot about this thing. Let's mod this bitch up. Oh, you're level 300. Okay, you've been playing for a bit. Yeah, personally, um, I mean, if you're level 300, you can swap cards around all you want. Personally, I would say, like, having recently played a Stealth Commando build, it's fresh in my mind. I loved it. Will you? I don't know. I don't know if there are Rifleman builds that will be as effective as a Commando build, but I think you can still potentially enjoy it. I would say, hit a respec, get yourself a VATS, uh stealth commando build and just go wild. I mean, you don't do stealth, obviously, but like, yeah, I think commando, like, that's a pretty good gun. Oh, that's an armor bench. That's not a gun bench. I'm an idiot. Ooh, brain soup. Sorry, I've been yapping a lot today, so the gameplay has been a little slow. My bad. But appreciate everyone who's been hanging out, regardless. Whether you're lurking or chatting, appreciate everybody, everyone spending some time with me on this Sunday. If you're new to the stream and you haven't done it yet, though, hit that follow button. I'm here Friday through Tuesday doing something. We do lots of different games here, but uh, Bethesda games in general or uh, Fallout is very much like the fallback stuff. It's the chill game, so if you're enjoying the stream, don't be a stranger. More ammo. We can reload, baby. Went from 7 to 12. Oop. Get the pie. Come on, big bucks. No whammies. Fuck. Ooh, another automatic handmade. Are we going to get a good unlock with it is the real question. I don't know if we unlock because that thing's in the fucking way. God damn it. Oh, stabilize short barrel. Useless roll. Okay, cool. Yapping is my job. I mean, entertaining is my job. I can just entertain sometimes with just gameplay and being silent. Not as much, but I can. It's a part of the job. Fuck. God 
damn it. Fine. I don't want any pie anyways. Fuck you. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, but I was probably getting talked over by one of the NPCs. Fucking, uh, they delayed the Fallout 4 mod pack because of the uh, next-gen update. I kind of figured that would happen, uh, but honestly, it's good that they did, though. I hope it's not going to be a massive delay. Um... Someone where they ain't supposed to. But, uh, we'll see. I definitely get them canceling it, though, considering, uh, the next-gen update just royally fucked their plans. Because it's gonna cause issues, for sure. What? We need to find a weapon bench here. I don't know if there is one. I think there maybe is one in here or over there. I'm not sure. I want to mod up this fucking quad explosive pistol. Yeah, I don't know, man, though, on uh, what build you should be going for your, your gun. Like, that's definitely a very solid gun. I think, give it a try with both of them, honestly. Like, maybe run around with it as is once you mod it up, you know? Uh, in semi mode and see if you enjoy it. And if, uh, you know, then swap it over to uh, Commando or vice versa. Personally, uh, I feel like uh, while going semi and using it as a... Uh, ooh, wow. Yikes. Things busted. While using it as a... Um, Semi is probably tempting. It's probably not going to be as good. Minus 25 AP. Does that mean do you do you even have an AP cost on your fucking gun? AP cost is 16. Is it really minus 25 cost? Or like, is it 25%? It's probably 25%. It's probably not minus 25 AP. I mean, 25% is still nice for sure. It's probably not... Oh man, he got blasted. It's probably not minus 25, right? It's probably minus 25%. It's 25 percent Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't I haven't really fucked with going for like a god roll, but that's still really good. You're probably gonna enjoy a commando build, honestly. Like, the damage perks will definitely be nice, even if you just get, like, one or two stars in each card. Um, the big thing, though, in my opinion, will be uh, just getting all the actual, like, VATS cards and, like, the AP regen and shit, you know? Like, I think it's called, like, Grim Reaper Sprint or something like that. That's the one that, like, gives you a chance on VATS kill to, like, regen all of your stamina or give you a chunk of restarting, re regen. Because AP is the name of the game when you're doing a VATS build, right? Because it, it turns into, like, how many shots you can spam before you're out of AP. And if you get enough procs, suddenly you're just like, oh, hey, I killed a guy and I have more AP still, so I can swap to the next target. And that's what Gun Fu does. It swaps to the next target and then you just keep shooting, you know? It makes the build, like, really smooth and fun. Okay, 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 rude, rude. Hang on. I don't know how many fucking deluded, I don't think. Oh, no, I do. I have made a bunch. Jesus. Can y'all chill your nips? Just a little bit. I do wonder how much this thing's gonna do at this distance. Seven. Okay, we're, we're gonna keep using the rifle. Now nah, we're good. Daily's gonna reset soon. 
We haven't killed the mutant towns. I'm gonna reroll this. Sir, could you not? Jesus. What do we get? Kill a creature on a team. Son of a bitch. I have to go swap to a fucking alt for that. Or my main or whatever. Chat, do I do that on this character where I'm not allowed to team up or do I just join a casual team for a second and then kill some stuff just to get credit? Because, like, I can bust it out real fast if I swap characters. If I don't, I can bust out this character pretty quickly, just not as quickly because I don't do a fast travel, right? What do I do? Because I need to get that... Well, do I need to get that daily done, actually? Yeah, getting the extra gold would be nice. I need that, actually. Jesus, dude. Molly Central? What is wrong with y'all? God damn. Man, I realize I killed your boss and everything, but you don't need to be so pissed about it. Just join this character, in my opinion? Okay, yeah, I'll just join a public team real quick and get that done. As soon as we start seeing some creatures. I don't even think I actually need to be group with other people. I think the way this one works is I think if I just create my own public team, it considers it part of the credit. I think that's how it works. I feel like I did that the other day when I was like doing offline weeklies. I could be wrong. Imagine a free VATS rifle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, minus 25 would be free for a lot of weapons. So I was like, no, there's no way that's it. Is there a weapon bench here? Does anyone know? I don't think there is. I kind of wish there was, because I really want to get this quad fucking pistol up and running, you know? They're, they have a lot of different benches here. I feel like they have a weapons bench. I just don't know where it's at. To the wiki! A weapon bench. I might have to find a map of this, actually. Uh, workbench, no. Weapon mods. Weapons workbench. Ah, beautiful. Map, okay. We are all the way up north. It looks like there might be one up here. Open a new tab. Zoom in. We're looking for weapons. It says there's one up here. It looks like it's only going to be in the northern, northern buildings. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell from this map. Be over here. I think it's over here. Both bonded team gives you plus four. Yeah, I'm aware. But I'm also playing permadeath, so I can't like group up. Because A, that would be kind of broken to get that much extra XP on a perma character. Uh, B, I don't want someone to be like following me around and like wanting to quest with me and shit. Um, because it's permanent, like the whole spirit of it is like making the game harder for myself so I can enjoy it and make it, you know, so I potentially die. Like I did earlier today, like because I'm a fucking idiot. Anyways. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we do not typically like to randomly group. But I'm pretty sure I can actually just create my own public team and then I'll just kill some creatures and I'll be good. I don't actually think I need to be grouped with other people for it, for the daily. Where's this fucking thing? Is it not here? It looked like it is on the map, but... I'm blind. Side room. Over here. No, it's not. What the fuck? Did I check this thing? I think I did. Where is it? No, there's one here somewhere, man. The map shows one! What's the northern area of this place, though? So it's like it should be up here, I would think. That is it. That one over there, maybe? Be upstairs, is it? There's no way upstairs in here. No, there is actually. Not there, though. Did I pass it up here earlier? 
blue. Now this is a jail cell. There is it. Any bases nearby? No. I guess I could just drop my shelter, but that's not fun. Yeah, this map it does it says there's one up here, but I'm not seeing it, man. I'm not seeing it. So it said there should be cooking. It should be north of whatever there's a cooking thing. So if we can find a cooking thing, it'll be north of that. And I think the cooking's right over here. Yes. So it's north of it. So maybe it's not over there, but it's actually over here somewhere. Ooh, hey, for super stim. Um. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Where art thou, Romeo? Bro. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the mic. I think you can. It, like, the mic's activating and I'm not talking. I'm gonna let y'all guess if you can hear that. And it, what it is. What's this fucking bench? Aircraft or truck? That was a meaty fucking chopper. Flying overhead. Like, it's been a long time, but I have heard, like, police choppers fly overhead, and those don't sound remotely like that. That was, like, a Black Hawk or something. Dude, where is this bench? It says it's north of the fucking thing. But I'm not seeing it, man. There it is, north of it. Where? Where? I should look. Probably. Probably. I'm out of here. I'm a, I'm a stand for this shit, man. I've looked around for this garbage too long, unless it's upstairs. I'm gonna be pissed if it's fucking upstairs right here. Where have been upstairs? It's not here. Where's this weapon bench, man? I've wasted so much fucking time here looking. I could get down to another Mothman, actually. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We're already in the area. Okay, that's fine. Let's set a waypoint so I know where we're going. I can only just follow the road, really, to get there. Dude, I'm... Ah, it's kind of annoying, man. Like, there should be a bench here. I'm pretty sure I've used one before. But, uh, we won't know. It's gone. Oh, shit, there's a cooking station here, too. Oh, no. There's two cooking stations here. Does the map show two cooking stations? It doesn't. Huh, this might be, uh, this map might be old from when the fucking super mutants used to own this place. Nope, keep going. Let's fuck this thing. We gotta go. Uh, quad boom, favorite. So that's what, North 4 now? Yes, sir. Reload this bitch. Let's see how it feels. It's a bolty? What a piece of shit, dude. I thought it was a regular pipe pistol, not a bolty. Uh. If it was a regular, I could spam shoot it, man. It being a bolty makes it garbage. I thought it was a regular ass pipe pistol, not a bolty. God, what a waste, dude. <sighs> Bro. Bro, what a letdown. What a fucking letdown. I don't care about a bolt action pistol. Fucking stupid, man. If it was a regular pipe pistol, I could spam shoot it. Or I could slap on a full auto res receiver. I'm not going to because I'm using like a regular gunslinger build. But like, I could spam shoot it, you know? Oh, look, a weapon bench. Huzzah. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. This weapon sucks. Oh, it's so disappointing. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. 
That melee character a couple days ago used up all of the RNG. What level were we? 18 in the sliver, okay. Hopefully we'll get all the way to 19 from uh, the Mothman quest. Did I learn when you vats, you can vats a grenade? I just died to it? Oh, yeah. Um, I've never heard of that happening ever. That's, that's crazy talk. I definitely don't have a clip of me losing a perma character because I vats my own fucking pulse mine. Uh, I definitely don't have another the clip that's a completely different permadeath character vatsing uh, an incoming rocket coming at me and it blows up next to my face. Killing that character because I just thrown my own grenade in the air. Or I vats my own grenade which is a rocket. Definitely haven't done that. So yeah. Uh, pro tip, since you figured that out on your own, minor spoiler for people, you can vats your own grenades. Uh, and on top of that, in my opinion, it feels like you do way more damage if you do so. This could be just, like, a placebo effect, but I feel like when you throw a grenade, here, like, for example, you throw a grenade at the very center, max damage is, like, there, and then it kind of does, like, a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, barely any damage on the outskirts, right? I feel like when you vats a grenade, it's full damage the entire way through. Or it adds even more damage, like it adds the bullet damage, whatever you would normally be doing, to the grenade blast, and then it does full AoE. It's kind of nuts. It feels mega effective a lot of the time. Like, vatsing nades, like tossing a grenade, waiting a couple seconds so you don't blow up your face, and then vatsing it and blowing it up between a bunch of mobs feels super effective in this game. Honestly, it feels, I think, the same way in 4, but I just don't do it as much. Um, but yeah, you can you can vats missiles coming at you, you can vats mines, you can vats grenades. Enemy nades or your own. You could vats a fucking molly coming at you if you're really good. So yeah. That'd be really dumb if you did that. Yeah, I didn't definitely didn't do that. Definitely don't I definitely haven't made one of those into like a YouTube short or both of them. On that handmade, I'm looking at mags, and the swift mag makes this rifle 6 AP in vats, but the stinging mag is 20 anti-armor. Um, how much AP do you have with your build? I'm assuming if you're going like a vats build, you should have a lot of agility, so maybe that minus 7 isn't a big deal. I feel like the extra armor pen is going to be helpful, So, but it's already an armor pen rifle, so I don't know. Um... That one you might have to just experiment with what feels better, you know? Like, AP cost will be nice because, let's see, what's the current AP cost right now? It says 15 to fire, but it takes down to 6, so it's like minus 9 AP. That means you're getting, uh... So if you're firing, let's see, Here, here's the best way to look at it. So this is what I was doing when I was on my uh, commando character before he died at uh, the start of this last week. Um... Look at it this way. How many shots can you get it with your current AP level? Because uh, you can go like stats, obviously, and look at your AP, right? How many shots can you do with it at 15, right? And then look at it how much you can do with it at 6. It's probably going to be a lot more because 6 goes into 15 at least twice, two and a half times. So if you start multiplying that, you're going to get a lot more shots before you have to reload. And I think you said it's an anti-armor one, so it's not a quad one, right? So you're not going to have a ton of ammo. So... Maybe armor piercing is actually the way to go. I'm not 100% on that one, but at that point you can be like, okay, I can right now uh, with one AP bar, I can get this many shots versus this many. Then figure out from there which one you want to go to. The fact that yours has like anti armor as like the get go on yours means you might not necessarily need that on the magazine, you know? So maybe going to AP is the way to go, but maybe you just go uh, perforating mag to get the extra like. 40% extra on top of that because I'm pretty sure perforating mag you might not have it yet But there's a perforating mag you can get on most weapons, right? Which is like 40% by default you combine that with the 50% from the weapon and you have 90% armor pen Which is huge. I guess you you might not need that though actually because you can get tank killer in the perception tree So I'm not sure Hey, uh frozen stick appreciate that prime dude. I thank you for your support Uh Oh Oh, I missed. Damn it. I thought I had a grenade equipped. Oh. Oh. 
He died to the electrical proc. Let's go. Dude, my legendary armor perk just killed him. 5% chance to deal 12 energy damage per second for 4 seconds. So that's 48 electrical damage. We got the 1 in 20 chance where he bites me and he just hurt, does, does 48 damage to himself. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why there's electrical on him. Like, hang on, what? Tank killer gives you 36 already? Yeah, so you probably don't need it on the mag. So maybe you just go AP at that point. Maybe you just go whatever you can get the AP, you know? Because if you're going a VATS commando build, you definitely want to be able to get the max amount of shots. Whether it's full auto or semi, you know? So, yeah. I mean, you if you already got tank killer on as well, which you probably should with that build. Uh, honestly, probably just go with stinging mag. Or, no, go with whatever, the swift mag, I think. I don't know. Honestly, if you really want to look it up, look up, like, handmade build, like, commando handmade builds or handmade builds on YouTube. And, like, because Angry Turtles are pretty good. Like, like he does builds for, like, 76 as well as a bunch of 76 news in general, right? Uh, see what he uses on, if he has, like, a video on a handmade. That might be a general good idea. But personally, I would say just, eh, eh. Feels, do whatever feels good, you know? I know this game is playable on the Steam Deck. I don't need high graphics, just wondering if it's a playable experience. Been craving 76. Uh, good question. I don't know. I bet you Reddit does, or Google does. Um, the game does not run great, but if you have it all the way down, it might be doable. Uh. What you can always do is look if a game is Steam Deck certified on the store page. If it's certified, then you should be a good experience. If it's not, it doesn't mean it's not playable. Ah, here you go. Steam Deck, Steam Deck compatibility. Playable. Learn more. There's a bunch of states. It says it's playable. The game's default graphics configuration performs well on Steam Deck. The game shows Steam Deck controller icons. All functionality is accessible with the controller defaults. Uh, the exclamation point is some in-game text is small, maybe difficult to read. Entering some text requires manually invoking on-screen keyboard. That's just what the Steam page says for it. Beyond that, uh, I don't have a Steam Deck. I got other stuff to spend money on besides a Steam Deck. Not that I'm besmirching you getting a Steam Deck. I want one. But, uh, I don't know why Valve would send me one randomly. So that's not happening. Uh, so yeah. I, I can't comment. Someone in chat might have played it on Steam Deck. Uh, I bet you if you just Google Fallout 76 Steam Deck, you'll probably find Reddit posts about it. I could do that as well since the event hasn't necessarily started yet. Oh shit, is this one going to be going? Is there anyone even here? I'm the only one here. Oh, this isn't good. Do I server hop? Or do I just try and do this solo? No one else is coming on the server. Oh, the server's shutting down. There's no one here. There's a couple people. We gotta start server hop right now. So servers in 76, they shut down after a while, and it'll like it'll eventually give you a warning, like, hey, this server's restarting in a half hour. But before that half hour notification pops up, they just stop letting people into that server. So as people log off naturally, uh the server just starts emptying out. So that server was essentially me and like two other people. And uh, I'm not gonna try and solo that on a perma character. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I bet you, because the Steam's been out for like a good year or two at this point, right? I bet you someone else has tried to play 76 on that, you know? Uh-oh. Did this server not have it? I think the server doesn't have it. Gotta hop to another one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Githalian plays 76 on the Steam Deck, he says. It's playable? Really? Oh, there you go. Come on, man. Don't cuck me out of this. I ran all the way down here. I guess to be fair, I need to run back to the wayward anyways. But still. It's playable on your ally. Ooh, the ally and the, the Steam Deck are very close on specs, I recall. Right? Hey, we're in one. Let's go.
I played it on my smart fridge. Okay, Mr. fucking Todd Howard. I'm playing Skyrim on my fucking fridge or on my Alexa. All right, calm down. I mean, it does hit hard, but it's not great. Trough. Let me just drop that up. There we go. Bro, this thing is so inaccurate without the long barrel. How? There we go. Jesus. Oh, God. Please don't kill me. Oh, there's another one. We're fine. Thirty-one. Okay, we're good. Sadly, I didn't work. Oh, Jesus. Listen, man, all right? I know these things can fuck people up, all right? I don't know. I have worried about it. I got PTSD in this church, okay? I fucking lost a character today, man. Oh my god, how many deer are there? Jesus Christ! <sighs> Bro, someone turn him in right as I... I need to hit 20. 18 and a half. I hope we get fucking... I don't think we're going to get a full level and a half here, but uh, if we got a full level, I'll be happy. Because uh, I want to get... Uh, I want to get the short circuit back in, man. Short circuit's fun. The ritual site has been prepared. The summoning shall commence once each of the pyres has been lit. Go! Ignite the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air! I'm kind of worried about this one. I don't think we have any crazy high levels here. There might be a couple, but... There's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple. We'll probably be okay. children! Breathe! See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes feel you. Let it soak into your Speaking of handmade. Let it show you the truth. Prepare themselves, for the heretic gym bonds will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. We must protect our sacred lives. I got you, man. I got you. You ain't dying on my watch. Oh, you're dying on my watch. 
The demons approach the church. I couldn't get you. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Oops, bad gun away, bad gun away. Boy, that hurt. Oh, water side's getting fucked. No one's over there. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, it's dead. Well, all right. No full, no full XP. No one's down defending that shit. All right. I guess I'm gonna be up here behind me. I got all the XP bucks I can get. I don't know how many brain soup, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we do. Shit. Well, as long as we get it before the actual event finishes. y'all out here, huh? Do you feel it? The wise one draws oh, there's all killed over. Alright. Quickly, children. Return to me upon the museum's rooftop. We must invite him to us. Uh, what up, Sully Sample? How's it going, dude? Our love and our gratitude. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope everyone is. Sing, shout, expel bile from your gut. Show emotion. Show. Can you hear us, wise one? Come unto us. That expansion you feel in your mind. That growth. <laughs> Level 20, let's go! That's what we wanted. Alright. Time for a circuit breaker. Now we gotta get asses out of here. Intellect. Come, children. Allow the wise one to gaze upon you. Bask. Bask in his infinite wisdom. Okay, we gotta drop some shit because we are over encumbered. Oh, we're over encumbered by a lot. Okay, uh, is there any fucking benches in town? I don't think there are. Okay, level 40 is useless. Um, metal left leg. It's gonna. We don't really need energy, I guess. Right leg's the same. We're not gonna replace that at all. Drop, drop, drop. I got a bunch of cultist blades that are absolutely useless. Fire axes. Beautiful. Alright. So, 
back to over here, and then we'll finally start working our way north. Good progress today. There's a bench right behind the Mothman. Really? Right below him? Okay. Because that would be useful. I don't really need the materials. Let's go scrap all this shit here. What pens up there? Is it behind or below, huh? It'd be outside. Ah, beautiful. Here we go. Yeah, these Gatling guns are useless. I mean, I'm not technically, you know, stuck to a build, right? But I do want to go pistol build. So, I think I am going to do that. Just because I got robbed in my last pistol character earlier today. Let's see. Uh, if you can get to work on a printer like Doom, I'll be impressed. Yeah. Fallout 76 on a printer would be very impressive. Because they can put Doom on all kinds of shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure they put Doom on a fucking graphing calculator, you know? Like... I feel like I saw it was a really small device. I think it might have been like a, a temperature thing, like, you know, like a small, like, digital temperature uh, thermometer. There you go, that's the word. Uh, I feel like I saw <laughs> fucking Doom being run on one of those recently. Something s super fucking tiny with, like, no more than, like, a 100 by 100 pixel screen. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, what? Why? 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 And I don't get me wrong, you know? If you're into, like, the tinkering, you know, and you're hacking devices to, like, fucking get some of that crazy shit going, by all means, you do you, you know? Hobbies are great. Uh, but, like, why? Why that device of anything, you know? Now, if they were to, like, go back and put Doom on, like, the front tiny, you know, screen on the front of, like, a Motorola Razor. You guys remember the Razor phones? Those things were the shit, by the way. I had one of those. Still have it technically in a drawer somewhere. I know exactly where it's at, but it's long dead. Um, if you could ha put that on the front of, like, a Razor, that'd be really cool. But, like, a thermometer? I don't know about that. A little weird. Man, the Razer was great back in the day, before we needed touchscreens and keyboards and all that shit, but like, the the, the way they did the, like the T9 keyboard on that was real good. Like, it was like a, just all metal, but with like a little bit of, just enough that you can like, felt good to like press them, and you could, uh, typing, god, I don't know how the fuck back in the day we typed with T9s. I mean, we did it, I got good at it, you know? Like, I could definitely do that like, super easy, one-handed, you know, like just walking, like, <laughs> I don't think I ever got to the point where I could fully do it, like, with it, with it like, in my pocket, but, you know. Uh, never again. Hmm, hello there. Now, if there's bee swarms, there should be some honey stuff right here. Beautiful. Might as well grab some. Because uh, I feel like we're going to be heading south in a little bit. I would like to have, I don't, I'm pretty sure honey just doesn't spoil. So, uh, getting some honey built up so that way I can turn in the daily by just walking by street water, or sweet water, is this, is this sweet water? Whatever his fucking name is, sweet, it's not sweet tooth, cause that's fucking, <laughs> that's, uh, twisted metal. I think it's sweet water, I don't know, whatever the dude at the, uh, the, the tea POI place is, walking by and just turning that in would be nice.
Have you seen the movie, uh, watched the movie Blackberry? It was really good if the subject matter interested you, Crazy Ryan Fall in that company. No, I haven't. I didn't know they made a movie about that. Uh, yeah, I don't, it's, do they, are they still around? Because I remember, obviously, Blackberries being, like, the craze for, like, city folk, you know, who actually needed, like, the extra, like, capabilities. Um, but, like, I think I only saw, like, maybe a couple of those going around, uh, during, like, high school, if that, you know? Like, I, I bought off of eBay, like, some, I don't remember the model, but it was an HTC that uses, like, Windows Mobile. Like, I think it was, like, Windows Mobile, like, 98. It wasn't, like, Windows, just Windows Mobile. It was, like, a, or, like, maybe it was, like, Windows 2000. It was probably Windows 2000 Mobile. It was, like, a really watered down, like, mega watered down version of Windows. But it was, like, a fat, like, the thickness of, like, a, not quite a hamburger, Maybe a thinner burger, you know? It was like the thickness of a thinner burger. But that's how thick the phone was. But it had a slide-out keyboard where all the actual, like, guts were. So the actual screen was kind of thin. It did have a touchscreen as well. But, uh, that thing was sick. I loved that. Because, like, I could take notes in class, literally just typing out. Because just using your thumbs was just so much nicer than using a fucking pencil sometimes, you know? You're just, like, not in the mood for that shit or whatever. It did have, like, a stylus so I could actually write on it. Although the, the touchscreen had, like, terrible capacity. So, like, the... It was just, like... <laughs> It was it was not great, but uh, that thing was fun as fuck, cause uh, I bought a razor as like my first phone for my job, and uh, that was all right, you know. Like the razor was nice, don't get me wrong, but uh, I usually ripped the SIM card out of that and I'd pop, pop it into the other thing, you know. And uh, that thing was fun. That thing was really great because it could also hook up to Wi-Fi. It actually had built-in Wi-Fi back then. So for me, as somebody who lived in the fucking boonies with only dial-up internet until like the last year of high school where we had satellite for not even, it wasn't even like the entire year. Like, we got it, like, like, come on, man. Anyways, I didn't have a good source to download patches for like Star Wars Galaxies or MMOs or whatever I'm playing, you know? So, I would usually take my laptop to places for that, but sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just fucking download all my school homework onto my phone and I'll just fucking plug that into a thing because it was just set up at the time as just a universal USB. Real easy to manage the files on that thing, man. It was just like, that thing was a great fucking phone. I miss that thing. I think it's, like, it was like the predecessor, I think, to like the Google G1, I want to say. It, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, because I remember my buddy, um, it was, like, the first, like, Android, like, phone, but it was very much the same, like, HTC uh, slide-out keyboard, and those things were sick, but, uh, my buddy in college had one of those, and I was like, ooh, that's nice, although that thing had, like, a weird trackball on it, that was a little weird to have, like, a trackball, like, a tiny little nub of a trackball on a phone, but that was cool still. You're back. Yep, I'm back. Well, no. But you did make it. But there, there too. You tried. Music to my missing per. Find them for me. No, find out. Listen. I was spamming through. She's fine. Uh, I think they finally completely shut down a few years ago. They all died uh, when the iPhone came out. I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Everyone had way more screen real estate, I'm pretty sure. Personally, I will say I much preferred the actual hardware keyboard versus the touchscreen keyboard. Now that said, I've gotten used to it over the years and the screens have gotten better, so the touchscreen keyboards have gotten better. But back in the day, the first few generations of touchscreen keyboards were just butt. They were not good. What a piece of shit, dude. I thought, because then I just saw a quad pipe pistol and I was like, ah, oh, quad explosive, oh my god. Nope, not good. Garbage. Oh look, another two shot. Another bolt as well. Fuck you, dude. Game just keeps giving me garbage. Alright, big bucks, no whammies. What are we getting? 
Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Ooh. Too bad I already have that maxed out. Go. Circuit breaker time, baby. Ooh, we need parts. Calibrated. So we need oil. We need two oil for that guy. I think I'll go true long. What do I do normally? True long is plus three. Stabilize long is plus two. I think we go true long. Grip, uh, ooh, minus cost, we like minus cost, oh, there you go, yeah, minus cost and that, yeah, we go with that, aligned, and go with dot, obviously, standard mag, we go keep standard, and then we go, I think that's it, then we just need to get receiver, so we need oil, right, just need two things of oil, won't be hard to get, I think it'll still be good enough for now, You know, that gold pistol kind of sucks, actually. Let's just put it away. Sell it off later. Alright. Fantastic. Um, oh, we're very low on ammo. Okay, well, this will be interesting. Didn't BlackBerry shift over secured devices from military government center? I think they eventually went under. Yeah, that does ring a bell as far as like what they started doing. I remember probably hearing about that a while back, but I didn't realize they went under. Womp womp. Kind of a bummer, but I don't know. I say kind of a bummer, but I never had one, so I don't really have a nostalgia for them. My bit boy to transmit signal. Yeah, blah blah blah. Okay, fine. But hey, if you guys have been enjoying the stream and you're new and you haven't done it yet, what are you doing? Hit that follow button. I stream most days, Friday through Tuesday, around the same time. So I realize that probably a lot of y'all are only watching because it's the weekend. But, uh, you know, if you're around the same time, available throughout the week, come on back. We do a lot of different fun stuff here. But, uh, yeah, appreciate everyone who's been hanging out regardless. Whether you're chatting, lurking, whatever. Appreciate all y'all. Kobe. Oh, I was really hoping that would get a car. Everyone on the rooftop. Okay, can we bounce off the sign? I don't think we got him on the sign. Oh, hello. Oh, this thing's so nice, man. trust those guys not to blow up on me. Okay. Am I allowing yourself to use legendary cards? Yeah. That's part of every run. I feel like legendary cards are like one of those, uh, they're not like build breaking. None of them are like broken as far as permadeath. There are technically a couple, but I don't use them because I don't use power armor, right? 
So like the whole like recharging your power armor core. Like if I were to actually do a power armor build, which I can, I'd have to craft it though. If I were to do a power armor build, I wouldn't use the cards up there because recharging your cores and whatnot, I feel <clears throat> God, I feel like that should be part of like the extra and uh, difficulty of the permadeath. But the big card that would be broken for permadeath would be um this one right here. 15% chance to auto revive to full health when you're down in power armor. Now, it's not 50%. You can only get it to 40 max. But uh, that would be kind of broken, you know? Uh, to have while I'm in power armor. Because that means I. Because there you can't. So there's a. There's a good perk on armor that you can get. Uh, which is great for permadeath, like I play. Because uh, it's the life-saving perk, which gives you a 50% chance to self-revive yourself when you're downed, right? I walked way past where I needed to go. Um, and I have to get lucky. I, my last two characters, I have, uh, the, yeah, last two characters haven't gotten one, and I haven't gotten one on this character yet either. Uh, but that's a really, like, a cornerstone of, like, keeping a permadeath character alive, because that means I get a coin flip on whether or not the character keeps going sometimes. Now, sometimes when I'm downed, I just get insta-gibbed, and there is no, like, downed state where someone could res me, or the perk could activate. So it's not always gonna like, even save me, you know? Hello, kitties. But, uh, it's a thing, right? So... But the thing is, the life-saving perk is only available on actual armor pieces. It doesn't show up because it's not in the loot tables for power armor so power armor is broken because it gives you a insane damage mitigation score because i'm pretty sure each piece is like minus seven percent incoming damage plus power armor has insane default resists even the low level stuff so if you have a full suit of power armor equipped that's minus 42 percent i want to say is the max total i think for incoming damage it's stupid so, wow, Jesus, look what he turned into. He just turned into a fucking skeleton. Can I even loot him? I can, but Jesus. <laughs> Dude, this thing fucked him up. What the hell? I don't know if I've ever seen that with this thing. All right. Um, anyways. Yeah, it'd be kind of broken to have that much damage mitigation as well as, like, just, uh, you know, the card and 40% extra, like, res. Like, nah. Nah. So, leaving regular, uh... Like, leaving most of the regular cards on, that's fine. I just don't, like, use the broken ones. Like, the one that auto-heals rads, like, eh. It's not a fast healing rate. It's not going to stop me from getting destroyed by a random, you know, influx of rads. You know? So. Now, that car perk card is nice. That blows them up on impact. That That's uh, only a 10% chance to proc, you know? So. Now the legendary cards are really broken in my opinion, so I, I kind of just like consider them to not really be an issue. But I guess if I really, really wanted to go crazy hardcore, that would be something else I would do. But if I really want to go crazy hardcore, there's other stuff that would have more meaningful impact on the character. The legendary perk cards aren't really broken. They're more like quality life stuff, you know? Like the uh, infiltrator perk card, which lets me not have to equip you know, lock picking or hacking cards. Is rifles or pistol butter? Um, if you were to like min max both builds, there's probably an answer to that. The reality is, they're both good. Like, you can get weapon combos and card build setups that will make both builds shine. So, personally, if you're going to be getting into the game, I would say just play with whatever archetype you and what you whatever you enjoy. Because leveling is not hard in this game, even when the double XP weekend isn't happening like it is right now. Leveling just isn't hard in this. So as you play the game, just explore and like collect stuff and try different things out and see if you like it, you know? Get a random legendary that has a cool effect and it's on a different weapon type, give it a try. Doesn't like it? Eh, fuck it, you know? Feels good? Maybe lean into that, you know? Um, I haven't like oh my god this confetti on the ceiling jesus <laughs> someone hit me with one of those uh perks uh lunch boxes earlier i think and uh it gave me that buff oh god hello i can't loot him all right whatever that's fine 
Shit, I missed the other one back there. Right? That's outside. Oh, if that's... Is that? It is, okay. I'm pretty sure you get a little bit of XP for doing these, so I do this now. But yeah, I don't, uh, I mean, rifles are probably a little bit better if you got a commando build, but... Hmm, I've, I did a, I've done a rifle build recently on my primary characters, so that's why I'm doing pistol. Because I had a pistol character that died earlier today that was, like, actually stuck to pistol because of my rule set. But, uh, I died. So, uh, I... Next character, I decided to just make it a pistol character. It's not like an actual restriction I have for myself like it was previously. This character gains mutations, but anyways. For the most part, personal preference. Uh, you'll find different stuff that you like or don't like. Hey! Uh, over here! Tell me you got a... Oh, so, uh... See the... Me and my... But I heard. And tell. Ooh. That was the last shot and I choked it. Someone there? I can use a lift. You are a sight for sore This is ten mil? No, this is yeah. a named, named pistol called the Circuit Breaker, which was available last season. Uh, that you can craft. It's an energy weapon that uses fusion cells. It looks like a ten mil, but it shoots like energy bolts and has like special effects on it. If you remind me after I do this like combat encounter, I can show you the weapon. He's alive? What did you get me? Back? You hear that? On, darling. Let's make sure these things never bother the wayward again. Bro. This thing sucks. I'm done with it. Yeah. When was the last time you watched these? I like how there's dialogue for like you not having our equip anymore. this easy. You know that, right? The explosion when they die like that, that's a legendary perk card, but when the last bullet of the gun fires... Okay, we're done here. Perfect. That's the big AoE with electricity. So this is the circuit breaker, right? Um, this is like the default skin that comes on it. You can change some of the mods around, but yeah. So it has 50% armor pen, reload speed, and then the successful final round shot will create an energy blast that deals damage and stuns enemies within 50 feet. Stunned enemies will be immune to being stunned again for 10 seconds. So basically, you can't chain stun people. But, good damage, AoEs as well at the end. Pretty cool stuff. 
pretty fun pistol that you can't get anymore. Well, you can't get it, you can't get it right now. It was part of like the last season or the season before. I think it was last season, and you had to like play through and like unlock it. But now it's like it'll it'll come up it'll come around eventually. When I don't know. Damn, ammo finally corroded. What cave really did a number on it? Because seasons are essentially like they, I, they guess they didn't used to be like battle passes. Now they're just actually just straight up battle passes. You get the thing for free, but like you go through and like you do stuff. So you go through like your daily challenges. Oh shit, we gotta do team stuff really soon. It's about to reset. Oh no, we need to do the creature stuff like right now. Uh, okay. We because this, the dailies reset at 9 a.m. Pacific, which is like 20 minutes away. I need to find what's the large source of 10 creatures. Um, I think I'm just gonna server hop. I think I'm just gonna server. I'm gonna swap to my main character real quick here, cause that way I can do it faster if I can fast travel. Cause I don't want to do that on perma. Play my main for like a split second here. But yeah, the, uh, the seasons, there are like daily and weekly challenges and you get points by just doing stuff essentially. And those will rank you up in the, the season, which is now the, which is basically a battle pass. And the uh, majority of the stuff is free. Some of the stuff is like, you gotta have Fallout First to get it, but like they don't lock like actual weapons, like that circuit breaker, that's not gonna be locked behind like Fallout First stuff. Most of the Fallout First stuff is gonna be like cosmetics or whatever. So like if I had Fallout First, I would have like, a couple extra skin types to go with that uh, pistol, but I only have one. Really? New catch team. Boom, joined. Perfect. Now we'll go and do this event real quick here. After I turn off the music as well. I need to kill creatures, and there's gonna be creatures on this team. What is this thing? Down the music so I don't get muted on YouTube. Alright, cool. This is like the stuff that you can get. So this season, the like special weapon you can get is the cremator, which is like a heavy flamethrower thing. So it's similar to if you played New Vegas, it's similar to like the the flamethrower that launches fireballs. So that's it right there. That's the cremator. It's kind of cool. But yeah, if you play uh, this season, you get far enough, which is not that much work to be fair. You can unlock that thing and you can craft on any character. That should be a lot of creatures, right? Challenges daily. Okay, one more. One more and we're done. Since we're here, we'll finish the, the event, but we'll go back to my perma in a second here. We'll definitely get one more creature throughout this thing, so we'll be good. This event was perfect, actually, because it gets me what I need nice and easy.
find I what? Oh, the golden cappies. Man, I don't fucking know where those are at. I don't remember. I thought there's supposed to be a bunch of cappies out right now. Oh, where, where are the gold? Where are the, like, where are we supposed to be looking for the golden ones? I thought we were supposed to be looking in the stands. I have no idea where those. Find golden cappies. They already got three out of six. They know where they're looking. I've, I haven't done this one enough to like really know. Oh, four out of six, huh? Failed. Womp womp. Golly. Level 39. Oh, the poor guy. Don't worry, I got you, man. You're gonna be fine. All right, there we go. The Boom. The Daily's done before, right before the reset. <laughs> All right. Captain, the fuel. Escape chat. Get what are we gonna do? Out of the area before the timer runs out. Area? Push. Wait, where are we supposed to push them? Oh my god, wait, what? It just kills them! And also that guy launched him a mile away. I've never seen this one. How have I never seen this one? I've definitely done this event a lot of times, just on permanent characters alone. Huh. Okay. Well, cool, that's something, isn't it? Alright, big boss time. Are we gonna be grafting probably? In accordance with the carnival safety. Fog crawlers, okay, never mind. Please do not get Dude's doing a bats melee build. Look at him, he's running around with a fucking bear claw, I think. No, that's a Yagua, uh, that's a Agua fist. That's a, like a giant turtle fucking fist. Look at that thing. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's a snap. Oh, it might be a Yagua one, actually. I don't know, doesn't matter. Amazing. Alright. Anyways, back to our main character, or perma character in a second here. Nuka stool? Okay, that doesn't sound do good. That. Can you get some free 308? Do you actually need some? Yeah, I got you. I'm pretty sure I use Ultra Sight, so I'm pretty sure I have a bunch on this character. Or I could craft some super easily, if you actually need some. Because if not, I'm going back to my permadeath. I don't know if you have me on uh, Fallout. If you don't, uh, add me. Same name. Yeah, I probably honestly got like a bunch just sitting in my stash, realistically. Because uh, my main, like the 308 that I use is Ultra Sight, so. Yeah, I use Ultra Sight, so. How much do I have on me? None. I dropped it off recently. But I don't think I dropped it all off. Either way, I can craft you up some. It's not a big deal. Plenty of bad travel in these lands. Lots of wonders, too. Every place has something special. Let's see here. Like Dash Baksu. Three, wait, 400 rounds. Not a lot. I will crank some out real quick here. Is there a board to swap? 
There it is. Fantastic. I don't have to go anywhere. Crafting. Most Smiths are equipped. Super Duper's are equipped. You're maxed out. Let's get to crafting. <laughs> okay, I don't have a lot of lead, so, uh, you know? <clears throat> if you got some lead, I can make more. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I had like what 400 something like that and then I just made some more. How much did we make? We only made like a hundred something. That's not a lot. <laughs> I can make more though. I just gotta get some uh Yeah, I just gotta get some other stuff. I need some lead. If you have lead, we're good. I can keep cranking. Or lead? Okay. I can do a farm run real quick here. I don't remember if they actually have a bench down there for me to use. I think they do. I, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've actually had to get lead farming, you know? So... We'll find out shortly, won't we? Nah, lead farming is super easy. This is gonna take me like a second to do. There's something weird going on with my, like my main character. Like these long load screens are happening frequently. Security doesn't happen my permit character. I don't want to. Oh, that's okay. That's just that's just rubber banding. That happens down here sometimes. Look at this lead farm. Achieved. Excuse me, hang on one sec. Alright, look at this beautiful lead. Lead, 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 lead. Lead. It's lead. And you can do this for three different silos. There should be a bench. Somewhere in here. To crunch it down. It's down here, maybe? No, barrel's the least one of those things in pass, right? Pretty sure there's a bench down here, right? Or we have to go deeper for it. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there's one in the main area. Fuck. Why do you always go and get a shelter first on my runs? Um, I do that because while I haven't actually had a chance to really build in the last couple characters, it's nice to be able to drop down just the shelter, and then I will put all of the crafting benches inside it, as well as a bed and my stash, right? That way, if I ever need access to those, like, really badly, I can just move my camp for a very cheap cost because it only has one item built. Because it has the fall shelter entrance, and that's it. And the rest is inside it, so it keeps the cost low for moving, and it also means I don't have to keep setting up, like, a whole house every time I move, you know? So, that's why I do that. It's basically just convenience. Eventually, I end up, like, actually using it. But... Where the fuck is this bench? You know, I'll just use a scrap kit. Doesn't even matter. I have a fucking boatload of these pieces of shit. Let's see. Scrap kit. Miscellaneous. Boom. There we go. But yeah, for permadeath, it's like... I always get that because I like just having all of the benches available because occasionally there's issues where someone's like I don't want to run across the map just to craft some shit oh he's already here oh 
Well, this is unfortunate. I guess I'm going to go back to my house then. Because I need to go to a crafting bench somewhere. Yeah, something's up with this character. I noticed this yesterday. Like, it just, it takes a lot of load on this character. I don't know why. <laughs> and it, it didn't do this previously, because I've been playing on this character a fair bit recently off stream. Here's move to camp here. No, it's all good. I have my camp up here. Okay, now let's see how many we can make. Nine? Okay. Nine times what? 53 plus potentially super dupers? That's pretty good. I heard super duper proc. I don't know how many it procced for, but we should have a decent amount of ammo. 1100 rounds? That's pretty good. I could change this over so it starts pumping out ammo for you. But obviously I'm going to be back on my primary character, so this isn't really going to be useful. Ammo, ballistic, higher power, 308. Nope. Okay. Brotherhood. Lower power. Wait, wait, there we go. Wait, I don't want to do that. I want to just. Oh, that's the wrong. I'm using the wrong terminal. I use this thing. The. Do do do. Select ammo type. Three wait. There we go. Now this thing's gonna make three wait randomly. Um. Here you go. Eleven hundred rounds. Hopefully that'll keep you good for a little bit. Uh, do you have a sniper? Uh, cause if you have a sniper, if you use that thing, you're gonna be getting, um, three-way ammo a lot. Which will feed any, uh, an LMG, which is, like, this thing, right? Uh, this bad boy. Cause that thing sprays, right? Ammo, you know? Uh, let's see. Do you want me to mod any- Okay, yeah, see, that's- that's exactly why you needed it. So keep using the sniper to, like, get the stealth kills. You want me to put a suppressor on that thing? I- I can definitely pimp that bitch out. I can't do the LMG, but I can pimp out the rifle. Because this character probably has most of the blueprints unlocked, so. Oh, no, not the machine gun. No, the sniper. Actually, before I waste resources, let me see if I have something better in the stash for you. Not that you might want it. Obviously, you might just want to use whatever you got, which is perfectly fine. I don't know if I ever actually got the instigating one like I wanted to. Nah, I probably took it on my other character. Alright. We'll just pimp out what you got. Uh... I'm guessing uh, you're going to want to keep this thing chambered in 308, right? Okay, you already got hardened receiver. Okay, cool. Long barrel. Let's see. You want a suppressor? Suppressor will be nice. I'm assuming you want a suppressor, yeah? Uh, let's see. Long scope. I can do full scopes. Uh, if you want like a long night vision or a long recon, I have those as well. I have the full scope gambit, you know? So, let me know. I think you got most of these good. Oh, you got to get a perforating mag. So, perforating mag gives you that extra plus 40 armor pen, right? So, right now you have a standard, which is like there's nothing there and there's nothing. Boom, perforating. Oh, it's going to fuck your AP, but I'm assuming you're manually sniping with this thing. But, yeah, plus 40 armor pen. I'm assuming you want that because that's nice. Um, that'll be a good solid sniper in the meantime while you level up. Aligned long. I mean... I think you already got a good barrel on this thing. Stock seems... Yeah, I think you're good on most of those. Do you want a suppressor, essentially? Yeah, suppressor? Probably for stealth? Okay, cool. Do I have any default kits I could I could give you? You want some gift wrapping on it? <laughs> you can take that off if you want it. There you go. I'll wrap up your present for you. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Oh, no. Are you sure? No. Never mind. Okay, it turns out I cannot trade you. <laughs> that that fucking <laughs> paint job. Who knew? Even though it's not there's no icon for it. It just doesn't let me do that. Okay. You know what? Fine. I'll just give it back to you. Hey, the daily's reset. There you go. 
Let me see. If I really don't have anything good here, I can yoink. I'm not really using it. You want an explosive vamp combat rifle? I could make you a fixer as well. That way you can roll fixers. You want me to make you a fixer? I have I have other fixers. This one's not good. I mean, it's not great. It's, it's okay. Crit damage, explosive animals. I don't know. I don't know what you're into though. You know, like maybe you want to earn your own. That's fine if so. I have a fixer plan that I have extra. Plan the fixer. Do I have one? I guess I gave them those away a while back. How about we'll go with the fixer here? In case you're into this thing. Uh, let me mod it up real quick here. Let's see. Calibrated. Um, I'll do a single. T uh, you're doing. Uh, this is. Um, what do you, do you want this thing to be a full auto or semi tap? Let's put it that way. Semi? Okay. In that case, we'll slap on a hardened, get that damage increase going. Do you want an actual scope, or do you want a red dot? Because I got, obviously, the full scopes for these as well. Wait, come to default with the red dot. I can put an actual scope on it if you want as well. Red? Okay. Let's see how much ammo I got for this thing. Some more here. Okay, gave you the 308, and here's some 45. And a fixer. I can give you some fucking shitty grenades that I want on my inventory. Now, have fun getting off of this mountain because I logged off. <laughs> You grabbed a bag because <laughs> if you didn't I'm gonna have to log back in for those that are new to 76 when a player logs off in the game if you're in their base the base will just poof in the thin air and you'll fall to the ground but I'm on top of a mountain which means he's stuck on top of the mountain also you did you got the stuff okay what a dick move no he doesn't have to jump all the way down to die he doesn't have to mountain go his way down all right back to permadeath What are the dailies? Nope, I'm looking for. Mothman Equinox. Okay, whatever. Cripple a mole miner's head. Easy. Human enemy. Easy. Plant a crop workshop. Eh, scrap rubber. Eh. Oh, we don't have a free rerolls either. Because it hasn't reset yet. Well, fine then. Wait. What does it say? Plant a crop? That's a shitty one. That is. Uh, that's lame. Whatever. Is what it is. Equinox should still be up. Oh, there's no way I can make it over there. No, the server doesn't have one. Nah, we missed out. We hit we've hit plenty of equinoxes on this character. We're already at 20, we're fine. We don't need a server hop and then rush over there. The likelihood of finding a server that has it plus rushing over there, it's like, nah, it's not happening. It's four minutes past. It's all good. We're fine. Just slid through a rock. Oof. Yeah, that, I'm not gonna lie, that mountain's kind of glitchy, you know? You're not supposed to be up there, which is why I built a base up there, because it's fucking hilarious. I actually need to do some actual, like, interior decorating, but I can't be arsed to do that, really. One of these days I will. I'm sure I've been saying that since I built the camp years ago. But, you know, one of these days. One of these days I'll be happy. You know, one of these days. It's just one of those things, you know? Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus! You're scaring the crap out of me, dude. Where the hell are y'all going? Get back here. So throwing mollies, they gotta be raiders. Maybe? No, they show friendly the map. Settlers. Really? Settlers throwing mollies, huh? Okay. Weird. I guess it's because they don't really fight settlers, so I guess I never noticed that they throw them. Okay. Fallout series is great. It is. The Fallout show is amazing. I love it. Uh, I'm definitely going to rewatch it soon. I've been saying that for a couple days now, but I need to finish Tokyo Vice first. But yeah. Show is great. Love it. Good stuff. That's all I'll really say on stream. If you want more information, which is still not spoiler free, or, or still spoiler free for the most part, uh, go to YouTube or exclamation point show in chat to get the link. But uh, yeah, I've been there and done that. I don't want to talk about it too much. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I enjoy it. It's very good. Can't wait for season two. Back at long last. But where's our girl? Oh right. Did you find Polly? Right, 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 right. Here you go. Yeah, I found her. Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why why don't you sit her down? Um Jug should do the trick. I never realized how jarring her head movements are when she looks around. This is real. That's not good. Probably because it's like the fourth time it's I've done this in the last uh, week. This fucking quest line. Three times in the last third right. day, three days. Oh. Solomon. Actually, maybe Look, more. I did it twice I'm yesterday. Sorry, even if I can. Please. Maybe not. I don't know. You here and here and and at the risk. <sighs> Okay. Over the hill we go. To, uh, what, Summersville, I think? I think that's what it's called. Oh, we'll find out. Anything to drop off? Probably. Ooh, duct tape. I forgot that fucking box has a bunch of good default stuff in there as well. I need the backpack still. Jesus, I still never did that. Uh, I read how they used a lot of CGI, uh, not a lot of CGI in a lot of the wastelands. Uh, I guess the country they filmed in, in Namibia or something near the south of Africa as a skeletal coast is perfect for its fall. Yeah, I guess. It looked real good. Whatever they did. Okay, I need to plant crops, right? Was that daily? Plant crops in a camp. Five. So I can have 
Do I need two per planting or one? I don't remember. I guess I could just do it in my camp. My camp isn't far from here. I guess we can just plant them here. Uh, I might have to just start doing that. Like, actually, I don't even know if I can plant these in my camp because I might have to get like fertilizer. Camp even not spawning in. My camp is not spawning in. Okay, cool. So someone else has it right now. All right. <sighs> you know what's fine. Didn't want to get that part of the daily done anyways. Where can I get a backpack schematic? Not the airport one. Um, so the good one is you have to go up to, to do uh, the uh, scout quest line up here. It's pretty long and involved. I say long and involved in that, like, you have to... Getting into the scouts is easy. It's more you have to get like a certain amount of merit badges for it and There's a couple that are easy But then the rest are kind of a pain in the ass and there's one that's the least pain in the ass But re it requires you to like res somebody while they're downed. So yeah But yeah, that's that's how you get the real backpack size that because uh, all the default one They either give you straight out the vault or the one you find at the airport or you used to find which they just give you now at the campsite that's the small backpack. The regular size one is, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the Pioneer Scouts. Oh, right, the music turned off because I was turning it off for the fucking event. I was wondering why it's so quiet right now. There we go, much better. I haven't gotten to Morgantown yet today either, Jesus. I do wonder, when does the daily reroll set? Like, set, like, because I don't have a free reroll now. I guess I can use a premium one since I have a handful. Fuck you. What do you get? Scrap drunk to produce fertilizer. Okay. Uh, I could see that one happening at least. I even scrap to get fertilizer. Now I gotta look this up on the wiki. Um, straw pillow. Okay. Pumpkin seeds. Bag of fertilizer. Bag of dogwood fertilizer. Yeesh. Huh. There's not a lot of things. Honestly, I'm gonna reroll that one too. Equip or build a turret or trap at a camp. Eesh, okay. I can do that. I think I'm gonna have to do it on my main though. That's a lot of resources. Maybe Maybe they're cheap to do? I don't know, we have to capture a camp to do that. I don't wanna build a bunch of turrets at my camp, but I guess this character scrapped a decent amount of stuff. I might be able to. I feel like it's a waste of resources though. I'll probably swap to my main and do that later. Maybe we'll do that like after the stream. I don't feel like screwing around with the uh, primary character anymore right now as far as wasting resources and that. Uh, they were paid 25 mil for California to actually film it in California season two. Yep. Yep. I mean, for season two, it's like they don't have to go to the same locations for a lot of stuff. Right? At least for all the on location stuff. Because there's probably a set somewhere where they built uh like the vaults or any interior shots, right? That's that's probably like a Hollywood lot or whatever, you know, a lot somewhere in like a city, right? But like the uh you know, the big like uh external shots, 
like I don't yeah I don't know I, I could I don't think them if they're filming like the entirety in California I don't think it's really a big issue there's a lot of desert out there so in the lower half <laughs> a lot of desert out there so uh, there's that which is fine but um yeah I mean I don't, I don't know I'm not really worried about that the fact that like we've kind of have like a soft confirmation on season two already is like it's good I'm down Shot. Of course, it missed. I need to start paying attention when the last shot actually is about to go off, so I can just manually aim it instead of having it get screwed by bats. Combat armor, though, huh? Right arm? Sure. It's better than that thing. Oh, actually, not really. It was a lot. I actually lose some kinetic, which is weird, but alright. I'll take it. I don't think I've looted that many laser rifles in this character yet. I need to loot a lot so I can actually start, like, getting my vamp fucking pistol ready. I need to get a scatter, a scatter fucking attachment for it. Jesus, that far away, huh? Okay. Bro, how it... Oh my god, he moved! The last shot was about to be the AoE as well. It won't move at him, hello? Now it does, Jesus. That was so fucking weird, dude. It was okay, but haphazard for you? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, don't. We don't talk about the outro or any of that. I, I don't want people talking about the show at all, because people will be like, what? But what, 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 what about that? And it's like, nope. Season two is basically confirmed at this point. That's about it. It's all really to talk about it. Oh. What do we. I can. Hmm. I am. Now. Well, as such. And you, uh, but he, you, but it was bio. Spirit, are we to be your new haunt? Delightful. Oh, you're talking about like changing perspective on people? Yeah, I mean, I could get that not being a thing, but like nothing a thing you're not a fan of. But I don't know. For me, I was I was loving it also. I feel like you're gonna get less of that in season two. I feel like that was a lot of like. I think like you're gonna have to get a lot of that in season one while they set up the the universe for all the non like gamers. You know, they're doing a lot of like showing different perspectives to like 
show, hey, here's all the different rotating pieces of a story as they slowly come together, you know? I think that's what that is, but eh. Oh yeah, but I, overall, I love the whole thing. I wonder what the score is at now. Because uh, I checked it yesterday. And I'm just curious at this point. Like, I don't actually care if like the, it gets highly rated because I love it. So fuck it. Fuck the ratings. But I'm curious, generally speaking, what the rest of the audience thinks. So on Rotten Tomatoes, it's still 94% critics, 86 reviews. 87% still after 1,000 uh, actual like audience reviews. But on IMDb, I feel like yesterday I was like at 20 something K already. And it was still at 8.7. Which for IMDb, I feel like they, they rate stuff a lot lower. Yeah. 33K reviews now. Or 33K ratings, 8.7 on IMDb. That's kind of hard. I feel like, I don't know. I don't, I don't look at IMDb much. Because like I said earlier, or before, I, I just prefer Rotten Tomatoes for my ratings and shit. But I'm curious because more people use IMDb. And IMDb, I think, is actually built into the Amazon video player, because I think Amazon bought out IMDb a while back, actually. Somebody. Put it down below. Blood Eagles fear nothing and no one! <laughs> Is that me? That's rude. Oh, let's get away from those. No, thank you. No, thank you. Boop. <laughs> Listen to the tank. I don't want to be next to that thing. Has it already blown up? It hasn't. Okay, good. So, yeah, see, no, I don't want to be next to any of those explosive barrels, man. That shit's sketchy. Okay, now. Heard another one. I think he's inside, and I'm just too lazy to stay around for that. Hmm, 800 XP? That's not bad. That's not bad. Not a ton, but eh, not bad. Ooh, we're sitting on three level ups, huh? Okay, let's get out of here so we don't actually get walked up on by a raider or a blood eagle dude. Which is that? They're realistically they're raiders. Um, what are we grabbing? All right, gunsmith, figured out. Uh, we got two levels of that. I think we can start getting some luck cards, right? Psychopath, yeah. Nothing I really need elsewhere. I mean, yeah, we could start pumping this stuff because we need more concentrated fire and shit. Get some crack shot too, probably.
Ey, oh. Traum da was. I'm gonna wait a second. After dying to one of these things, nuking the other day, and then uh, another one that wasn't legendary trying to nuke me yesterday, I'm gonna wait. Just to be sure. Because I want the ammo from these guys, because I kind of need it, because I'm really low on fusion still. Alright, we're good. Anything good in here? Nope. Does anyone know if there's any good plans to be gotten from the Mothman Equinox event? Because, uh... I don't usually care about most of that stuff. Like, everything I've been getting thus far seems like camp stuff or, like, outfits, you know? Is there anything, like, good from it? Probably not. For me. I don't know. Uh, is it worth starting to play Standard 6 if I don't plan on spending extra money on shop items? Nah. You don't have to worry about that at all. You can play the game. Shop item stuff is literally just like extra cosmetics and whatnot. And on top of that, you can earn the currency for the shop by just playing the game. So like, the shop uses stuff called atoms, right? All right corner. But you can get atoms from just- Ooh, hey, free- speaking of free dilly. Let me grab this. What do you get? Free lunchbox. Ooh wee. Um, you can literally get it from just playing the game, right? So if you go to the challenges, like using photo mode around this region, boom, atoms. Using like there's so many different things you can do to get atoms and like doing combat, like, oh, mod these many pieces. Atoms. Like just doing stuff and just playing the game will give you atoms. And then on top of that, some of them are account wide, but some of them are per character as well. So you can earn the currency by just playing the game. On top of that as well, like they have the free like battle pass stuff. You get free atoms as part of this as well. Like let's see, page two probably has some. Yeah, 200 atoms on page two, which does not take much work at all to get to page two. So, and the battle pass is free. There's like a paid feature you can do to get like some extra cosmetics from the pass. But for the most part, it's all just like, yeah, no, like you don't have to worry about that at all. The game is perfectly fine to be played out with, with, without uh, worrying about that stuff. Uh, there's a Tommy you can place in camp that gives an XP buff that you can get from the event. Wait, I think I have that. Wait, what? I might have it on a different character, but like, yeah. The Tome is an XP buff? How much is it? Because that's nice. I need that on a perma character. Uh, I'll just look up Tome on the thing, see what it comes up with. Sacred Tome. Uh, <laughs> no. Night of the Moth, let's see. Hearing public event. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how much XP that is. Sacred Moth Mantel. There we go. Uh. Okay, but like, doesn't say, the wiki doesn't say how much it gives you. Cause I definitely have that, I think. I think I may have accidentally learned it on one of the characters I deleted. But that may have been one of the things I transferred over. I don't know. Um, hmm. Wiki's not saying how much it has. Interesting, though. Now I gotta look this up on Reddit and see what they say. Cause yeah, I didn't know about that. That's actually worthwhile for a perma character. I mean, obviously it's worthwhile for a regular character as well. 5% XP buff at all times. Wow, that's actually pretty big. Okay. I mean, it's only 5%. Like, ah, oh, 5% is a drop in the bucket. Yeah, but you can stack with other stuff. So you can stack with the rest of the buff. Well, that's being 10%. 
Stack it with a cobbler. Oh, look, 15%, you know? Like, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. They let you start from level 20, level 20 now, if you want, yes. When you're at character creation, you'll have the option to start level 2, which is usually when your character starts anyways, because you come out of the vault, and, but as you walk out, you level up for, like, walking out the vault, right? So that lets you pick your first, like, perk card. So, really, you start level 2 or 20, right? Uh, I don't do the 20s because I do permadeath, so it'd be kind of weird and kind of lame to circumvent that, you know, because, like, I'm only just to 20 now, right? I'm 23. Like, that was, and this is a double XP weekend, so 20 in one day without double XP is, like, it's a long stream, you know? It's, uh, yeah, but today it's, like, yeah, not a big deal, but if you are starting the game, if you're curious about that, then, yeah, you could start at 20. And on top of starting at 20, you can, like, pick a build as well. Well, it'll give you like a handful of cards already towards whatever, you know. It'll only pick like a handful of archetypes, and I don't know how good the setup for the cards are, but they are a thing if you're interested in that. When you're making character, you can just like jump up a little bit. Frankly, I don't think you need to do that. I think you can experience the game just fine, even without the double XP mode. I think you can experience it just fine, you know. Uh, the 1 through 50 experience, but um... The gear does soft cap at either 45 or 50 depending on the item. And you stop leveling up special points at level 50. So that's like when the quote real game begins, some people will say. I think that's not the case. Like sure, that's when the end game starts, I guess, where you like now gear you're not gonna out level it, you know? Now you're getting max level gear whenever it drops, but still, whatever. Anyways. Hey, you got one. Uh -huh. Signals coming through loud and clear. Uh -huh. You know, I don't throw the word hero around a lot. Come over here and let's discuss, huh? No. No. It's true, but... Crane, you ready to... Oh. Ooh, sorry. Follow me. So, I've known where Crane is. I know where his treasure is, but... Well... There's a problem. Look away if you haven't played the game. Minor spoilers for the starting quest right here. Although I've done this a ton of times. Hell, I did it yesterday and I did it the day before. But, you know. On uh, the Entombed Shop, uh, how do you know what the new added Wasteland Exchange is or just another campsite um, item? Uh, what are you talking about? Like Wasteland Exchange? What are you talking about? What thing? Where is it? Was it under? And I can look at it. Now I'm trying to know what the new added wasteland exchange. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe. Wealth exchange bundle. Oh, so this is just a, it's just cosmetic. So you can see what it says right here. Included Santomatic Perfume Dispenser. Don't know what that is. Uh, a vendor bot, which is basically a skin for your player vendor at your base, right? An open and close sign. Wealth Exchange. So Wasteland Wealth Exchange looks like a building type. So if you want to have like, it's literally a cash for gold like building. So if you want to like, hey, I want to, I want to set up my own cash for gold shop, you know, you can do that. So basically it's like a, it's a prefab building you can build inside of, right? That's what this will be. Um, Centomatic. I don't know what the fuck this does. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna douse you with perfume. There's probably a buff related to that. I don't know. Or it's just like a weird thing you can use, like how you can hop on like rides inside of camps. Plus two to charisma. Oh, there you go. Plus two to charisma. There you go. Uh, and then there's the door shit. And there's open sign. There you go. Yeah. So I'm assuming you meant this thing. Yeah, this is just a building archetype. So just another skin for a house. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a prefab. But prefab is prefabricated, right? So that means like instead of having to build uh, like you know four foundations and then building uh, like you know eight or seven walls and then a door frame and then the door and then all that shit. Like that'll just basically plop down as one big fat building. So that's what prefabs are in a lot of games actually. But yeah, there are a lot of different prefab houses that you can use instead of having to build them yourself. Come on, buddy. Jesus, Duchess. That thing is praying, Solomon. You agree? 
Exactly, Hot. Duchess. Of course. You? <sighs> All right. Sorry, pal. Bro, you're not gonna do it again like yesterday? He chickens out, man. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Like I told him to do it, and he just Would doesn't do it again. If we just, according to that, golly, ma. Son of. Suppose. Solomon. Sorry. Now, you're old, so I will let you. But I. Good. Now, there. Good luck. Yeah, most everything in the atomic shop is gonna be like skins for armor, skin for your character, like apparel or like armor skins, power armor skins, fucking base stuff, base like goodies. That's pretty much all it is. Occasionally there's like, you know, lunch boxes, but they give you those for free for playing the season as well as for like daily freebies occasionally, you know? Um, and there's like scrap kits and stuff, but for the most part, it's all like the vast majority of the item shop is all just cosmetics. Some stuff does have functionality. Like if you want to get a fusion core recharger, you got to get it to the item shop. But it's probably mega cheap, I'm pretty sure, which you can just get from just playing the game. So it's like whatever. question. Doesn't matter. But hey, if you guys are enjoying the stream and you haven't done it yet, uh, hit that follow button. I'm here Friday through Tuesday doing something of some kind, so if you've been enjoying it, don't be a stranger. Appreciate sure who's been hanging out today regardless, whether you're chatting or looting. It's been a pretty chill stream, as usual. But yeah. around here. Two star. All right, cool. Uh, if you have a vault first, you can get your own vault as well. Fall first. Yeah, well, I mean, you can. The, the, the default shelter is um, a fallout, like a vault uh, utility room, right? But there are various other. Oh, it's one star. Hey, look at that. There are various, like, pieces you can get inside there, right? Like how. Uh, let's see. Skin. Come on. Uh, no, camp. Right? Camp. Shelters. There you go. Like, uh, if you have first, you get the lobby, right? But you can also get the server room for a vault, uh, the storage facility. But the first is first is only for, like, the lobby. There's a lot of different parts to a vault. So if you actually want to make, like, a full-on vault, you can do it. You can grind the atoms and get it for free. Be yeah, like, utility room, the storage, server, lobby. Like, you can, you can chain all these together as well. Like, and just go from door to door, which will load you into interior, interior, interior if you're really into like the decorating stuff, you know? So there's a lot of stuff for that.
Yeah, the shelter's a freebie. That's what I get every time I uh, start a fresh character. Very easy to get. I mean, it's just the utility run, so it's a smaller shelter, right? But it's still a shelter, you know? And there's still a decent amount of space in there, but it's not a lot compared to, like, the atrium or whatever, you know? What? Didn't want that meat anyways. I'm hearing shots. Hey, uh, Mortvask, appreciate that prime sub. Uh, thank you for your support, dude. If I'm hearing gunshots, these, these guys aren't normally hostile to each other, so I think it did it spawn a cultist inside? Why else would they sh be shooting? Very weird. Okay. Weird, but all right. Oh, you know they're shooting at mole rats. Okay, that makes sense. Come on, I know you're here. Hip boy. Detected. Registration. Countermeasures. Disabled. You may now present Pip Boy at access. Valid Pip Boy detected. Access granted. Welcome, prospective Robco customer. I think there's two ammo boxes in here. There we go. There's one. That's a bag, but still. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's uh, another one in here somewhere, because I want to stock up on some extra ammo. Eh. Nope, nothing. Okay, fuck me. Right. You know, I don't want to loot those anyways. There's an ant. We're fine. Although, to be fair, while it's a small ant, it's actually like the size of, like, my thigh. You know? So... It's not small, per se. Like, if I saw an ant that big in real life, I'd fucking lose my shit. I don't know about y'all. That's, that's too big.
Just think the straight thing. Like that? Yeah, yeah, because ants are normally like pretty strong compared to their size, right? I think they lift like ten times their body weight or some shit like that. I don't remember the fucking number, but uh, wouldn't surprise me if uh, your radiated versions are fucking nutty. Could be the size of the ants in Fallout 3. Fuck those things, dude. Uh-uh. Eh-eh. Uh eh-eh. -uh. Uh -uh. No. No, I'm good. Pass. Uh, might not be a thing, but have you seen the game Manalords? It's a medieval strategy game featuring in-depth and in large scale of tactical battles. Uh, I can't wait for April 26th release. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of Lyric playing that. It's not really my thing, I don't think. That said, I do enjoy stuff like Banner Lords, which is Mountain Blade 2, um, and Mountain Blade games in general. So, maybe I could get into it eventually. It's not really on my radar. Like, if I, if a key comes across my desk, I'll give it a try eventually, but... Not at any time soon. Um, like, I should have access to Grey Zone Warfare from the 18th to the 25th. So technically the 26th is right after, but I might still be on that follow hype. I don't know. Um, so it's definitely not anything I plan to stream. I've heard a lot of people hyping it up, and a lot of people seem excited by it. I haven't seen a lot that makes me like, ooh, you know, I gotta play it. Uh, to be fair, I haven't watched much of it, though. Because I'm usually not into city builders. Does not say I couldn't get into this one because of like the whole you know strategy game aspects because I do enjoy strategy games. It's been a long time since I really delve into those, but I mean that's my fucking intro music from fucking Tiberium Sun, you know? Like I love me some Command and Conquer and fucking I got fucking alerts for fucking big donuts for fucking Starcraft. It sounds like I've played strategy games. I love them, you know. But uh, the strategy part of that, for, like the you know the the big old tactical battles, that would really have to grab me to make me delve through all the city building stuff, you know? And I'm not saying it couldn't. It very well could, but at the moment, I don't plan on playing that anytime soon. Not gonna say never, because that could change, but yeah. At the moment, nah. So yeah, I don't know. Doesn't say it's worse. Oh, the kinetic goes down a little bit, but we get way more energy. level we can use that
All right, let's finish up this quest and then finally start making our way to Morgantown. It goes to fall, it's going good. And then I died at the start of the stream today. But hey, I've made some good recovery. We were at like level 30 when I died and I started for a new character. We're at 24 already. So, uh, you know, solid recovery, solid recovery. The intrepid Still pissed explore. I died. Cause I could definitely be closing in on like 40s at least and if not closer to 50s. But uh, you know, stupid mistakes. Well, what up? Honestly, you took. There's 25. Yep, solid stream. Solid stream thus far. Just some chilling with some Fallout. Good stuff. Okay, you're back to work. All right, have a good one. VOD will always be there if you're bored. VODs are always there on YouTube as well. But hey, if you guys have been enjoying the stream in general and you haven't done it yet, hit that follow button. I'm here uh, Friday through Tuesday uh, doing something. We play lots of different stuff, but we do lots of Fallout and Bethesda games in general because, uh, you know, there's a nice, uh, cozy, you know, stable game that we chill in. I say stable, but obviously, you know. You know what I mean? It's the this is the fallback game, you know. So, you guys been enjoying the stream today? Whether you're lurking or chatting, appreciate y'all. Uh, but yeah, come on back. I'll probably go in for this a little bit still today, before I call it. I'm not starving just yet. Do need some water. We don't need it though. Luckily, uh, they changed the game a while back, so uh, being like low on water doesn't actually give you a uh, downside, but being hydrated gives you a buff. So if you're all, if both bars are all the way empty, you just don't get the buffs at all. The buffs are extra. Disease resist, which is nice, but obviously the AP regen is a big thing in match H match HP. Max HP is real nice, but uh, yeah, they're not really required. Back in the day. If you didn't have water, your AP would start turning red. Like, <laughs> you would lose max HP when you didn't have uh, water. Like, at least a decent amount. It was it was a pain in the butt to Sore really juggle. It's been over. out for at least like a year, Building probably longer at this point. Work. But yeah, that was uh, that was a thing. I don't remember what hunger was. <laughs> Hunger, I think, was AP regen, maybe? I don't remember exactly what it, 100% what it was, but yeah, there was, there was a downside to both.
Yeah, like... See, the thing is, the food mechanic, like, giving you just bonafits is nice, right? But the stuff like Valheim, I don't know. Because um, stuff like Daisy, it's like you'll straight up die if you just don't eat or drink, right? Valheim, it's like, you don't eat or drink, you'll be fine, but you're going to have, like, 2 HP. You got to eat food buffs if you want some extra HP. It's like, ah, it's kind of annoying to juggle, you know? Like, it's a better system than stuff like Daisy, but not by much. Like, I get it, you know, part of the progression of Valheim is, like, hunting down better recipes and, like, setting up your farm and, you know, getting the resources to make, like, uh, the sausages or whatever, you know? Like, I get it, you know? And those better food buffs means more HP, which means you can take on tougher content besides, obviously, having better armor that will mitigate more, you know? I get all of that. But it's, you know, I don't like having to, like, the thing is, I'm okay with using the food, to like buff up to HP to get and like having the the stuff for that, but I don't like having to constantly juggle it because it, it it borders on uh, the juggling you have to do and stuff like Daisy, which is just it's a pain in the ass, you know. So I don't want to do that. Ooh, pocketed leather armor chest. Hey, all right, cool. Why have a food mechanic if you have no deficits? Yeah. Yeah. Like in 76, they used to have deficits, right? But now it's like, if you're completely starving and dehydrated, it just... Your character will make like, oh, I'm hungry. You know, his stomach will be growling. That's about it, right? But you're not going to get the bonuses. And that means you're going to get diseases a lot more. Like a random mob hitting you, like a random like animal, could give you disease, right? Now, there are diseased variants of mobs that will have higher chances or like guaranteed hits of like giving you diseases. But, you know, if you actually have that food and drink in you, you're going to have the extra HP, the extra a re AP regen, and the disease resist. And apparently disease resist is pretty huge, because I don't really get diseases on my primary characters much. I do get them, but it's not much. And it's usually only from, like, the diseased variants of mobs. So, I don't know. Why have a food mechanic when it takes you 30 minutes to go from full stomach to starving? Yeah. Yeah. That's what really pisses me off the most about like stuff like DayZ, man. They make you pound like, you know, entire weeks worth of food just to top your stomach off, you know? It's like, oh, hey, my character's starving. Time to eat, uh, you know, the entire, like, a full family of four meal, you know? Like, get that out of there, man. So yeah, the way they've done it in 76 is nice because it's like you're, you benefit if you decide to fuck with that shit, but if you don't, you're not penalized, you know? You will be perfectly fine to play without it. At least with Valheim, it's like, sure, you're not required, but you have like 10 HP or 15. It's some ridiculously low number if you don't, which is annoying. Where are you? Hello? Oh, there you are. Damn it. Dailies. Oh, we haven't done anything for dailies. Human heads, turrets, okay. The rubber stuff is happening on its own. That's good. I gotta remember to do my dailies after I log off the stream. I guess I could just, right when I'm gonna call it a day, I'll just hop onto my main and just do those real fast. That could work out as well. Hey, hardcore bozo. Appreciate the sub, dude. I uh, thank you for your support. I don't think I'm really deserving of that because I haven't really been doing any crazy content, but hey. Thanks for spending that sub here, whether you're doing it just to help me out or you're doing it for the backpack. Uh, appreciate you either way. Now I'm wondering if that's an account named at me. 
because I'm playing permadeath hardcore bozo because I die to stupid shit all the time. Probably not. Nope. Since so count mates in 2012. Nope. Okay, we're good. <laughs> all right. Fitting though, you shut your goddamn mouth, KG, right? <laughs> Listen. At least today's death wasn't an AFK death, alright? It was just the mobs were smacking me hard. I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I was, but like, you know. I mean, clearly they were hitting pretty hard if they killed the other, like, level 400 or something like that was next to me. I'm just saying. Holy potato, Batman. Was it not one on the back side? I guess he flanked to the left over there. Alright, whatever. Should make a mod how the way he shows the lost permanent characters? You can't. Like, I'm sure I've lost permanent characters that people haven't clipped. And I've been doing perma for years, so... Otherwise, I, I could. If actual, like, clips of every single one actually existed, it wouldn't be that hard. Because exporting a clip and just, like, tossing a bunch of clips in a sequence... I mean, it'd be, it'd be a little bit of a project for one of my off days, but like... Yeah, I don't I don't feel like spending my off days going through every single one of my clips to uh, catalog them and then make a montage. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 watch out with that one, buddy, all right? You could have poked someone's eyes out. Dude, swing a goddamn pitchfork at me. Uh, wait, I thought this hole puncher was a 9 mil. It's a laser. What, you mean what I'm using? The pistol? Yeah, no, this is a laser. Uh, typically, this is actually a 10 mil. As you can see, like, the body type is identical. Obviously, this one has extra mods, but no, this one actually shoots lasers because it's a named pistol that you can unlock last season. So it has special effects, right? It has armor pen, reload speed, which are just regular legendary stars. But the last effect is the final shot of the mag will create an energy blast that deals damage and stuns enemies within 50 feet. Then it's obviously a 10 second cooldown on how often they can be stunned. Yeah, it's a, it's a snazzy little pistol. It's fun. Sounds cool. Has some really cool like particle effects when it like you know electrocutes the fucking bodies and shit. You know, turns them to ash. Sometimes just like leaves a skeleton. I had that happen earlier today. That was oh oh. I didn't want that barrel blowing up, man. I'm gonna just do it myself. There we go. Get out of the way. Shockingly good. All right, shut up. Make me wrong. Oh, 
Thor's interrupting a good time here. Get out of here. <laughs> Watching the one over the fucking plane just like slowly collapse over. <laughs> that was good. Have you made it to the DMV yet? Uh, on a perfect character? Yeah, I've done that like a couple times. Yeah, my most recent character, I think uh, my stealth fixer guy, I think, was there. Pretty sure. It feels like it wasn't that long ago, so yeah. The thing is, the stealth fixer guy was like, um... It wasn't at, during double XP, so him being like level 50 something when he died was like, he definitely, he definitely had been around a little bit, you know? As far as like, number of streams and shit. No, maybe it wasn't, you know, maybe it wasn't him. It may have been... I'm probably thinking of the 104 character. I know, well, the thing is, you go to the DMV twice, technically. Well, you go to the Charleston Capitol. The DMV's in it, right? But you go to the, yeah, I don't know. I've been to the DMV recently somewhat, in the, sometime in the last couple months. Maybe last month or two. I remember uh, dealing with the fucking ticketing system. I was like, oh, God. I, but, yeah, I've done it before, obviously. I've played the game a ton back in the day. But <clears throat> that's definitely one of those quests that I don't get to as much because it's deeper in and usually I lose a character before I get that far. Oh, this guy? No, 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 no. I usually do some, I typically do quests in a certain order. The DMV is like, I usually only go there when I'm like required to go there, which is like when I need to get a military ID, which is like Enclave stuff. Maybe you could RP as a ghoul from the series and wear his clothes. I could, but I need Fallout first for that. Which I don't have. And I'm not spending $7 on a, an outfit. But I could get that. His outfit's available if you have Fallout first. I could uh, cosplay as an NCR Ranger. I have it that outfit. I could get a different outfit. Cause like I probably do have a cowboy hat on my main character, and I probably have a different duster available. Cause you can just get regular dusters. Like that's like the specific outfit of him is you gotta have fall first. It's half price right now. It is. You ain't wrong there. I still don't know if I feel like playing that. <laughs> They're paying seven dollars just to cosplay. Some people will. But, uh, yeah, not the moment. I may snag, uh, first, like, right before the deal's up, but I don't know if I'm going to. Ooh, is this, we got, I see a star next to his name. It doesn't have a legendary, though. It just says Scorched Wanderer. Interesting. Yeah, the ghillie is beautiful. You ain't wrong. The ghillie also means, uh, if anybody's actually familiar with the game, has been playing a while, that when they walk up to me, they're like, oh, it's a reroll. It's not a new player. It's a new character. It's not a new player. Which is a nice dual functionality of the outfit, because I don't want people giving me stuff, because I can't take handouts on this character. You not. Ah! Crown icon? What do you mean crown icon? Hmm? Man, she seems to be that the right leg piece is being targeted a lot more by NPCs. Are pair of three to hundred more than other pieces? Interesting. Is it... Are your pieces, uh, like... Min like different mismatching as far as like max durability because you see look at my max durability here See how some of them are like Like tiny amount of durability versus like much higher, you know, it could be it just has lower durability, you know Wish you could create ghoul characters. I'm pretty sure that was a plan back in the day I can hear them clawing at the door I'm gonna have to look this up now, but Locked there was concept art. Fallout 76. Uh, mutant concept okay. art. Acute stress reaction. Panic. An 
emotional distress. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, so I wasn't quite mutants. I guess it's been 24 hours since the attack. The sound of combat has... Is it stopped? They're still outside. I have roughly 8 to 10 weeks. Provided source of fluids. Starvation onset within so yeah, you you could have become a super mutant or a mole rat. Effects of psychological that this is like ongoing. official like con or maybe not official. Uh, this is concept art made by the devs later. at one point, but they came in the future. I'm pretty sure. Obviously, it'd be cool if it came in down the road, but uh, that's I think that's how the mutations were supposed to work initially. Was that kind of stuff? But uh, yeah. But yeah, not wrong. That would have been cool for that to come in. It didn't. Every day brings the end a little closer. All special ops same durability as left leg. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Are you jumping all the time because of marsupial? Maybe like the right leg is like the one that jumps out like the most. And so if you're like jumping in the air constantly when they're shooting up, they're hitting your legs more than your actual body. And therefore like the right leg maybe is one that's further forward more. I don't know. That is weird, you ain't wrong. Could you imagine a super mutant with marsupial? Oh my god, it'd be so fucking funny, dude. Imagine being a super mutant already gives you like marsupial jump, but then you have marsupial on top of it. You're like Superman, you're just jumping over trees and shit, you know? Uh, it wouldn't have even been that hard to balance, just make humans flat level and others have plus or minus stats. Yeah. There's like a whole bunch of stuff with that design document about it, you know? Because like, I feel like in the design document, I could be wrong maybe i'm thinking of like the discussion i saw around it on the subreddit when someone brought that shit up but i feel like it was gonna allow you to stop at certain phases so instead of becoming a full-on super mutant you could be like partial super mutant so you could still wear like some armor but you couldn't wear all of it you know you could still use some weapons but uh, i don't know okay let's sell off the garbo Garbo on this character. Now that we're finally at a fucking station to sell off. I assume the Mothman NPCs would be targeting the leg. I uh, do a lot more Mothman events than anything else. Huh. Yeah, it could be. Could very well be that. I noticed when I looted a lot of the Mothman earlier that a bunch of them were dropping Gatling guns. So it's possible that, like, maybe certain weapon types target the legs. Like the Gatling or whatever. Mm hmm. All I know is uh, we're going to go hop onto my main and get some stuff taken care of. Actually, I'm going to hop on my alt and do that because now I can do a little bit cheaper. Take care of the dailies before we call it a day. I could get a bunch of them done tomorrow's stream, but some of these might be a pain in the butt. <sighs> okay, so what are we looking for? Challenges. Moment head, easy. Human, easy. Turrets or traps. Okay, let's do traps. It's probably easier. 
Uh, challenge. Birds and traps. Okay, so that's a lot to craft. We don't have any traps. Oh, spike board. Easy. Look at that. Wooden steel. Boom. That done. Fantastic. Uh, I could leave those there, honestly. What's next? Rubber. Mole man. Equinox, I can get my perma tomorrow. Because it's going to be 45 minutes for the next one. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, let's see. Human, rubber. What do we kill? What do you scrap for rubber? The wiki. Rubber. 76. Basketball, basketball, bone saws, coolant, deflated kickball, extinguisher, large baby bottle, like preserver. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff that will have it in there. Draft in high school has a lot of basketballs. There you go. Easy. Um, and then human mole miners. Mole miners. Boom. Cool. Let's go down chaw. Let's not. Let's not. Oh, it's so nice having marsupial back for a second. We'll be fine. about what he did. Okay. So we need to find a, let's see, is it just kill or cripple? I think it's just kill, right? So we just need to find a raider, which there should be some pretty close, so. We'll be fine. How many things do I need? For the rubber? Scrap two more, easy. Deflated kickball, yes. No? Is that not a deflated kickball? It's not. Okay. Does baseball have it? I don't remember. I think baseball's cork. Cork, yep, yeah, cork and leather, okay. Ah, Bashki Bear. How many does basketball have? Two! Hey, perfect. No, that's leather. Oh, rubber. Cool. Three. We're done here. Fantastic. Leave the rest for other people. Let's see. Blood Eagles. Someone's jamming out. What the fuck is that thing called, chat? That that uh, that instrument. It's like a it's like a mouth harmonica. It's not harmonica. It's like a mouth something. Mouth harp. Is that what it's called? I'll show you the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's mouth harp, I guess. Oh, it's a ghoul, it's not a human, so I didn't get credit. Bro. There we go.
Daily. Mothman Equinox. Easy. Boom. Tomorrow. Fantastic. All right. Hop back to my perma. Where are you? I don't know if they call it a day just yet, so we're going to do that. I thought it would take a lot longer to get all those done. Mouth harp? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Didgeridoo? Is it? No, didgeridoo is the, uh... No, that's that's a rain stick. Didgeridoo, I'm pretty sure... Isn't that? No? No, maybe it is. I thought didgeridoo was, uh, like a hollowed out piece of wood with a bunch of fucking... Yeah, it's a bunch of fucking, like, beads or, like, rocks or pebbles or whatever in it, you know? No, it says Digi is a wind instrument? No, what the fuck am I thinking of then? Okay, maybe you're right. I'm looking at the wiki page. No. No, it's a wind instrument. No. It's like a flute, it looks like. Ah, uh, we were both wrong. <laughs> Juice harp. Okay, that sounds a little more familiar. A new weapon from the season? Uh, only incident, only hard card run, maybe? Um, I could. What level is that? What level is a cremator? I don't know. This is, this is a weapon bench in here. I think I could try it. I forgot I actually have access to that on this character. No, that's not a weapon bench. Uh, there's a weapon bench out here. Yeah, um, because yeah, heavy incinerator and incinerator is new Vegas. The cremator is essentially the same thing, but it looks like slightly different. So they called it something different. I don't know why they did, but they did anyways um yeah i have it unlocked but i don't have the mods for it unlocked it's pretty solid but it consumes a lot of ammo it is not ammo friendly at all even with contextual drops it requires 15 fuel per shot which on my main character that's heavy it's perfectly fine and not an issue i've had tons of oh ha hot 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 uh, I've had, you know, fuel on that character for ages because I used to use a TSC fucking flamer, you know? Back when legacies were a thing. But, uh... Oh, he's throwing another one from downtown! Bro, right in the doorway! Fuck off! Bloody drill. I can't wait to fucking go bloody build because I get a drill, guys. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Let's see. Because it doesn't count white. I could see if I could actually do a cremator. I don't... I mean, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Level 30 is the minimum. Uh, I mean, so you can't do a cremator only run just because it requires level 30. I could lean into that. Um, the commander is pretty solid though. I don't know. Only it only says it does 40 on a sheet of paper, so maybe it's not that great. I don't know. But uh, I'm not technically stuck on this character, right? I don't have an actual archetype. Sure, I'm leaning pistol because I was enjoying a pistol one previously this morning before I died. Um, but yeah, I don't necessarily have to stick to anything this run, so I could. I could fuck around with that, just to see how if how it plays out on like a not fully juiced out heavy build character like my main is. Vampire drill is kind of fun, yeah, but that's not a vamp. Uh, I'm not spending my sorry fucking hiccup slash burp going on trying to whatever. Anyways, I don't feel like spending my uh, legendary modules on that at the moment, you know. Call me crazy, not really keen on uh, re-rolling a drill, you know? <laughs> uh, I'll pass. Cremate yourself down to make it interesting? You're right, I already hurt myself a lot with that on my main character. My main character wears a dense chest plate, which is less explosive slash fire damage. As well as I have like level two of the fire starter perk or whatever the fuck it's fireproof perk. So yeah, that actually be kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, I'm not into that actually. Responder 
sir. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. You know, maybe maybe we don't run cremator on the heavy, water permer. I should say. You know, uh, we're fine. We're fine. Hey, Miguel, did you hear something? Of course not, because you're dead. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program hollow tape. Find them and return here. We find the candy guy? Yeah, but to be fair, the explosion radius on the grand finale is very small comparatively to the cremator. Miguel, I told you, don't make that chili nearby. It smells too good. I could detect it from the airfield. Why didn't you listen? Go over to that nearby clearing and set up your camp. Make Wait, what? Deploy your camp a cooking fire in the stash box? Wait, they changed it? It's always a generator. What? Why did it change? I mean, okay, cooking fire. Okay, crafting. Okay, cooking fire. Here we go. What a simple stash box. Why? It's so weird. It, it has a random objective? Like, I, I've done countless permadeath characters at this point. I... This has maybe popped up, like, two other times max. Hey, look at Pocketed Silver Lining, even though I'm way over the level. 
Why did it give me pocket silver line this time as well? Sure, I mean I'm taking it obviously, but like it's weird. Whatever, man. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like a level thing. It's like, oh, he's you know they're they're higher ish level. They don't need power for a base. They need the basics. They need a stash and a food thing. Like what? Ah, okay, whatever game, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Dude, are you getting any good cards I need to use? Cause I need to, I need to change some perks around. Need another crack shot, probably. Or we can get tank killer. I think tank killer is much further in the. No cover drops yet. In the psychopath, I guess. Covered ops, there we go. Beautiful. Twenty-seven, hey, we died at thirty today, start today. You know what? Solid recovery thus far. Solid. Appreciate everyone who's been hanging out today today regardless, because I can't speak right now. I'm gonna talk real slow. <laughs> If you've been enjoying the stream and you haven't done it yet, uh, give me a follow. I'm here Friday through Tuesday doing something. So if you've been enjoying, uh, you know, I realize it's the weekend, so a lot of y'all probably aren't watching during the same time slot on the weekdays, but appreciate you hanging out regardless. But yeah, if you've been enjoying the stream, don't be a stranger. Come on back, you know. Probably be calling it as soon as we run doing this quest here, because uh, I am getting hungry, and it's getting later in the day already. Surprise Assault Tron. Bruh, it's not a great day. I died at the start of the fucking stream, man. Like, within the first hour to some stupid shit because I went to the Mothman Equinox event at a, like, lower level. And I wasn't paying attention to my HP. It's like, I got complacent because I was like, ah, this character's been going real smooth. And then I fucking died because I wasn't watching. That and, I think, a bunch of high levels fucking cult destruction, which is not fun. But, uh, yeah. Kind of annoying. But... We made a decent recovery. Hold still, you some bitch. I have an idea. What if you would be able to teleport between train stations, but only when you're on railroads and when you're on a station? Um, I think it's a little too easy. I prefer, like, walking around the map. The only, like, the train isn't, like, a, a functioning part of 76, right? Like, there's a train wreck, like, right here. Right here, along the tracks. Like, it's a huge wreck. And there's probably some messed up tracks along the way as well. Like, the train's not actually functioning. I do I allow myself a, some fast travel in the game, but only after I get far enough in the quest that the mother load is a thing. Because it's a legitimate built-in mechanic where, like, the drone will, like, go into the ground and go across the map, and it'll let you select, like, locations. That is the only fast travel that I allow. 
and it works nicely honestly uh, because it's only for like higher level stuff but it lets me travel from like down here was it third hump up from the, the rock here so it's like right around here or so it let me travel from here all the way up to the deep and get out if I want to or I can travel all the way up to about just east of Atlas or up here I think those are the spots I think those are them yeah like there's two that are pretty close but like still it lets me go from like the top of the map to the mid or the bottom once I actually get that far in the quest and I have unlocked that see that one makes sense because it's like an actual in lore like the mother load like actually gives you the option to do that right so that fast travel I'll allow, but train stations, I mean, yeah, you know, it's something, but eh, it's not really needed, honestly. Like, a lot of the permadeath is great, in my opinion, because I'm constantly, like, running into random encounters because I have to walk through the entire map, you know? Like, I'm constantly running into, like, a cliff and I gotta figure out what the fuck's going on with that I gotta figure out if I'm gonna try and park my way down and potentially die or have a close call or if I'm gonna go all the way around and that means I'm gonna encounter two other random things as a result you know now start heading over to the medical center you want to Uh, like watching hardcore streams, it's more interesting. It's always nice to see someone die too. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy my death from earlier today because I don't. It does uh, it is nice though having the uh, extra added layer of like urgency to stuff, you know? Because like just warping to like the latest public event that pops up is kind of boring. No gear, okay. It's kind of boring, you know? But uh. If it's like, oh shit, I'm actually close to this event, I could actually make it in time to get to the end reward, and maybe even make it for longer and get more XP. It's like, you know, it makes it makes events special, you know. Like eliminating fast travel changes the game a lot. It makes a lot of stuff that was otherwise meh in, in a lot better. Hey, Kingsta, appreciate that prime, dude. I thank you for your support. I don't really deserve that, but thank you. Appreciate y'all. I don't want to add it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they have hardcore, you have to have like hardcore only servers, I think. Otherwise, people who aren't hardcore could figure out someone's in hardcore, then grief them. Um, but at the same time, if you're in hardcore, like, do you have PvP still a thing, or do you strip out the PvP, you know, with it? There's a lot of like things to figure out with it, you know? They had a survival mode a while back, but it was not good. I didn't even play it. Like, it was that bad. It was just not... Yeah. They could have a fun survival PvP mode and whatnot, but it'd be very different still. <sighs> I don't know. I think if they were to do, like, an official mode similar to what I have, I think that'd be cool, but... Eh, I, you know, I'm, I'm streaming it all, so, like, I hold myself accountable, and if I don't, the stream can... Uh, so it's like, meh. Not worried about it. I think it would be cool. Because ima imagine this. An entire server. Because if you join a game as a perma character, you're only put on perma servers. Sure, maybe PvP is turned off so you can't greet people. That's fine, right? But imagine this. Someone launches a nuke and it's on perma server. And like, <laughs> suddenly Scorch Beast Queens are like hard fights. Because not just you, because like right now, when I go to like big events on the public servers, you know, like I have to worry about myself, but other people don't have to worry, right? Imagine if every single person there has to worry about getting fucked, you know, and losing a character and losing days, weeks, months of a character, you know, or years even. Like suddenly it's crazy. If you see a player go down, you it's like your duty to run over there and res them if, you're, if everyone's on perma, you know? If you see a skull, meaning like a player just died, it's like, it's traumatizing. It's like, oh God. <laughs> like, people agree for events, sadly? Probably. The Earl fight would be horrible? Yeah, no one would do Earl, probably. Only min max characters would, and they would do it like in a full group, you know? So, yeah. I think the content that could come off of that would be amazing. But 
I don't think there's really much like uh, demand for an actual like hardcore mode. Personally, I would put my demand at a PvP mode between like you know uh, a Daisy or a Tarkov hybrid that kind of thing. I would love don't that. Face the wasteland but uh, yeah, we're not there. Not there. Not yet. Maybe they'll maybe they'll work on it. Who knows? Hey, maybe with this resurgence in population, if the population like stays actually built up, you know. Uh, then maybe, uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some cool stuff down the road. Who knows? All I know is I am calling it a day here, folks, because I am hungry and tired. My voice is, I can slowly feeling it going out. So, uh, I'm going to rest it up and call it a day here. So thanks for chilling. More tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh, good times. Good times. Minus the death, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Appreciate everyone who's been hanging out regardless. If you're new, like I said, I'll feed the peoples up. I could run that. No, we're not going to. Uh, if you're new, follow the channel. I'll be back tomorrow. We're here Friday through Tuesday doing something. So, until then, you have a good one. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope your Sunday goes swimmingly. Till next time, folks, good night.